Onyendirinche nawa te chimbaba anga na iruka ingi komo choria babeli jambarole babe no kumbarole amona bandi bamenye taroro dole no mogoko kogotera mo korende wango iga gotiga na tore Quero yo marare y me ascenderá, voy a socorrar, seré tal un monene. Yo aye aye da, oye tigense, erina go semeria, ense en go sambueri, aye ve que ange, se chinchera chansi, de conuge coba, como roto tomonene. Ei na go semeria, pense em go sambueri. Ai e ve que ange, se chinche a chansi. E con o ve coba, como roto tomo de me. It's a place that called heaven for you and me. It's a paradise for everyone who believe when we all get to heaven. We will sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Aye, 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 Terinago sendo media, consigo sanguere, ai e ve que ame, se chinchera chansi, e con un eco a tomoro to tomo ne ne. Ai e, ai e, ai e, ai e da, ai e. Thank you for thy tender care, thy mercies, and thy love upon us, O oh God. We have gathered here, Lord, as we go through the prayer service of our late brother, Newborn. We pray for the comfort of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. We pray for the family members, wherever they are, God, that you may comfort them. We pray for our brethren on the way, Lord, that you may hasten them and you may join together. As we go through this song service, may you give us a voice to praise you and a heart to rejoice in thee, even though through a somber mood, we know that God, you are in control. Be with us and guide us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you and welcome. So I will welcome all of you as we start our song service. Please uh, feel free to sing to the Lord. Uh, we have our lead chorister, Sister Jen, lead us. Sister Jen, please guide us. We'll start with song 181, Does Jesus Care? <coughs> Does Jesus care? Three sing. Does Jesus care when my heart is bare to deeply for my Let's lower it 
a bit. Does Jesus get three sing? Does Jesus care when my heart is paid too deeply for my
it is well with my soul, even when things are dark, it is well with my soul, because I know the Lord is in control. Number 427, there is a land that's fair. In the land, in the land, oh, in the land. Says, lies the city for square we go in the land of headless death lies the city for square he shall never pass away and there is no night there go shall City for square, all the street with all the land, and there is no night there. Go shall walk by way of tears, there's no death, no pain, no tears, and they come no time by it, for there is no night there. City for square. There's a street so river flows, and there is no night there. Go shall wipe away your tears. There's no death, no pain, no tears, and they go no time for it. For there is no night there. And pride in the city for square for the lamb is for the light, and there is no night there. Go shall wash away your tears, there's no death, no pain, no fear, and the Fedless days lies the city for square. There is no death, no pain, no tears, no mourning, and that is our hope. Song number 99. <coughs> Be no dismayed, whatever be tied. Be no dismayed, we go. Be no dismayed, whatever be tied, God will take care of you. Be ye these wings of love abide, God will take care of you. Leave. 
what may be the test, lean upon him because he will take care of you. Even in such circumstances that we are in, let's continue leaning upon the Lord. He will take care of us. Number 476, before we change over to Kiswahili, number 476, we will change to the Kiswahili uh, hymns. Eh? 476. Bald and solid, days are filled with sorrow and care. We sing. Days are filled with sorrow and care. Hearts are lonely and rare. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very is very near. No matter what troubles your soul, no matter what pardon, Jesus is with us here. It is painful, yes, but the Lord is with us here. Nyimbo sa Christo nambali miyamocha tisini nambili. Mwa mamba wenye imara Twende Mwa mamba wenye imara Kwa koni tajificha Majiha yonadamu Yali yotoka humu Sharia, need. 
japo fanya bidi Nikungojabo hapa chini hata kwenda kaburini raha yangu na iwe katika wewe Bwana 14 uh, nyimbo za Kristo nitembee nawe Bwana nitembee tembe nitembee nawe Mungu ali yote to have uh, the opening prayer so I'll request that we stand up so that uh, we can pray we are praying our heavenly father this afternoon we have come gathered here together to come and uh, condole and mourn with the family of newborn and Lord, we invite your presence that, Lord, the words and the songs that are going to be spoken and sung, that it will give comfort to the family. We thank you for the journey mercies that you've given everyone, including the family, to be able to gather this afternoon here. 
And Lord, as we continue the program, Lord, we pray that your name be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Back up. We are all rising up with song number 181 as we start the program. Does Jesus care? Does Jesus care? Number 181 we sing. Does Jesus care when my heart is pain? To deeply for my dance song as the burdens press and the care, distress and the way grows weary and long. Oh yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grace. When my way is dark with an endless flood and fear, as the day lies fast into the night, does He care enough to be near? Oh yes, He cares. I know He cares. Is all. With my grief, when the days are weary, the long nights dreary, I know my Savior cares. Does Jesus care when I say goodbye to the dearest on earth to me? My son, I tell you, you repent. Is it all to him that he sees? Oh, yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. When the days are weary, the Lord. Let us bow down our heads. Lord, as we begin our program, and as we have sung, that Jesus cares. We pray that the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ will give comfort to the family, comfort that is beyond the human understanding. And as we start our program, Lord, we invite you to lead us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Lord is good, and all the time, uh, greet your neighbor that is next to you, and tell him God loves you. God loves you, and so do I. Thank you for putting a smile next, oh, 
uh, to the neighbor that is sitting next to you. Uh, my name, let me start by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Elder Joseph Anyange, a servant of the Lord in uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Sukimao East Adventist Church. We have come here for a memorial service for our uh, dear brother, uh, the late newborn Mokaya. My task is to introduce the church uh, community. But before I do that, I want to make a remark that newborn was like a brother to me. We worked at the same place. I work at Wilson Airport. Every time in the morning, as he was going to, uh, for the flight uh, instruction, we would meet. We'd also meet in church. We also met as a community in Sokimao. I've lost a brother. Uh, having said that, I want to welcome the church community that is uh, represented here. Uh, let me start with our members, uh, Sokimao Adventist uh, members. Do you have the East members, Sokimao Adventist uh, uh, members? Are we there? Let us stand so that members can see us. Uh, we are quite a number. I know we might not, uh, we would have loved to talk or to give a speech, each one of us, but it might not be possible. Just uh, I will uh, uh, ask, let me say two, two, uh, two persons, one lady and one gentleman to greet us on behalf of our church. Uh, I want to ask uh, Elder Ken to greet us. Thank you. I want to uh, call, I want one lady to greet us. A lady, uh, Sister Fires. Where is Fires? Good afternoon. We can sit. Thank you for coming in uh, good numbers. I want to uh, welcome those churches that uh, are also in Sukimao uh, community that are represented in this uh, church. Do we have uh, people from Sokimao Central? Anybody from Sokimao Central? Thank you, thank you. Uh, I want to request Pastor uh, uh, Machuma to greet us. Good afternoon. Thank you. I also want to uh, ask if there's any person that have left out from uh, uh, the churches that are around uh, Sokimao. Let me go to churches that are around, uh, that are outside Sokimao district. Do we have any person that is representing a church? Thank you. Just stand up so that we can recognize you. Uh, I will allow you to speak, both of you. You can say your, your name and a word. 
all the time. God is good and that is nature. Wow. Thank you. All the time. All the time. Thank you. May God bless you. Uh, I want to come up front. I hope I have not left some, uh, uh, any person out. That is my prayer that I have not left any person. I want to come up front at the pulpit. We have uh, uh, the servants of God that uh, God had set apart today to come and minister to us today. I'll start from my far uh, right and uh, far left on your side, uh, Elder Isaac Omeke. Greet uh, the congregation. Good afternoon. God bless you. Thank you. Next to, next to him, we have our district pastor who is going to break the bread of life uh, for us today. And uh, I know when it, his time comes, he will speak to us. I just want him to, to wave. Next to our pastor is our associate pastor. He ministers together with our past district pastor. And uh, he is also to, uh, today with us, ministering uh, uh, to us today. His name is uh, Pastor uh, George Maneno. I normally forget the first name, but today I've gotten it. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Be blessed. I think we are moving on well. I want to, at this moment, I want to request uh, the MC of today to come up front. We have uh, several uh, 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 sections that we will, uh, uh, that he will address. He will introduce the family, he will introduce the friends, and uh, at the school where newborn was working. Thank you, and may God bless you. Amen. I want to introduce myself. Uh, uh, sorry. Thank you. I want to introduce him before he comes. Sorry for that, uh, Mishap. Uh, his name is called Joash uh, Nyasende Karibu. Thank you. Thank you, Elder. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon once more. I have a lot to say, but there is very short time to do, and I will choose not to say anything because you equally have a chance to speak. Uh, there's always rules of engagement, which I think is good to make them clear to all of us. One, we may not have chance to give to all of us. So we'll just give a few of you chance to speak, but please feel recognized even if you don't get that chance to speak, because time may not allow us to speak, all of us. Number two, if you are given chance to speak, kindly be as brief as you can so that we can accommodate your brother who is going to speak. So when you're given chance, please don't exploit everything because there are other people speaking after you. Number three, we are going to speak using this microphone. All of us, whoever is coming to speak, will use this microphone, not this one. So when I call upon you, kindly uh, 
take that chance and utilize the moment. I think that is so clear. Uh, I'll start with newborn's friends. Rafa, where are you? Kindly come with all the friends and we'll give uh, just two chances for you to speak. As he comes, if newborn was to be here today, he can for sure tell us and confirm to us that this is his best friend. If you knew newborn, you could not meet him twice or three years without meeting Raphael. That one, I stand to be corrected. And this young man uh, trying to hold the microphone is a true copy of the original. That is uh, newborn is uh, blood. Raphael, take it up and kindly take the shortest time possible. Fundi Omitambo, can we have this mic on? All right. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon once again. Uh, as just you've been told, my name is uh, Raphael John. To me, newborn was not even uh, a friend, as it's been said. Um, really, that was my brother. We've shared a lot. We've gone through so many things together. If you go to their school, school here in 99, most of them knew me as his brother, actually. So, as even we here to mourn newborn, we just ask for your prayers, that you may put the family in prayers, something that has come as a shock to us. Didn't have any expectation to such kind of a gathering today. But anyway, it's God's will. We just need prayers. Now, on a quick note, I'll try to introduce some of the friends that are here. Uh, I can start with Humphrey. His name is Humphrey. He's a childhood friend to newborn. They grew up together back at home. Then uh, to the two gentlemen, uh, one of us is our treasurer. He's called Ronnie. I don't know, Ronnie, you can just put up your hand. That is Ronnie. And this other one is called Jibril. We were together in the same high school, Kanyawanga High School. So that's where our friendship grew up to now. They've just represented just a small part of our high school. Then uh, we also have a small business community. As you know, we were having a business together with Newborn. We have a small company. So the two are our, are our business friends. Uh, number one is uh, Loisa. She also comes from Kisi, but she's also a, our good friend. Loisa, you can just carry up your hand. Maybe people put to see you. Then uh, I have Lovina. She's also our business friend. Uh, Lovina, you can just carry up your hand for people to see. Okay, so these are just a few friends who came to be with us on this day. We thank all of you, everyone who has taken his time to be part of this. We've not taken this for granted. We are so, so happy. It's not easy for anyone to come and leave their work just to come be with us. But you've taken your special and precious time to be with us. From us, we just say thank you and may God bless all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raphael, and your friends for such a, a, a tribute. You've spent uh, the right uh, amount of minutes. I think uh, you, you are holding the trophy as at now. I am yet to know who will uh, take it up. Newborn uh, and his young family uh, was staying at Siokimau. And as neighbors, they usually have 
other people who are neighbors, and we'll be so selfish if we can't let them uh, give their tribute. So we are calling upon the neighbors, led by Walter Orato. Where is Walter? Yes. Majirani wa newborn. Tunawamba kwa upole mje. As a Kama mpo, tunaomba mje upesi. Uh, maybe uh, members of uh, our prayer cell, I think if we narrowed it down to members of the prayer cell, it makes it a little bit more exact. Members of the prayer cell, low, uh, lower community. Thank you. Uh, uh, good afternoon, church. Good afternoon once again. Uh, let me also uh, follow in the steps of uh, 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 the speaker who uh, came before me. I'll take the opportunity to introduce uh, members of, of the press cell. My name is Walter Orato, as has been said. Next to me is uh, my wife, Jacqueline Maeri. Uh, next to Jacqueline is uh, Sister Priska Maiz. Uh, Elder Isaac Omeke and uh, Sister Deborah Chisang. Now, um, it gets a little bit uh, difficult and emotional to speak about uh, some of these things. Uh, but for me, I've known newborn for just about uh, under three years, I think, or just about two or so years. But if you ask me, uh, newborn is a model of a child that you'd want to have. I call him so because uh, if he was my son, then he would be like my fourth one or something like that. So uh, this is the kind of a son that you'd want to have. Newborn was both good in nature, but also very good in nature. Uh, I think the, uh, the parents must have done a very good job in bringing newborn up. Because at that age, in fact, we have just been speaking out here uh, with uh, one of the elders, and I was asking me, at 26, uh, what were you doing? And I'm, I'm struggling to find out what I was doing at 26. But at 26, new, newborn was already through with college. Uh, he was already married, already had a child. Those are not very common milestones that you'd find. But as members of the same prayer cell and members of the same church, there is not a single thing that those of us who are old enough were doing that at his age he would shy away from doing. I happen, I'm privileged to uh, be teaching in one of the colleges in town. And children or people at that age, uh, when you ask them uh, even why they are in college, many of them tell you they don't know. They don't even know why they are in college. Uh, and if they know, they say they have been forced by their parents to come to college. But here is a 26-year-old uh, boy who already knew what he wanted. I know it's painful, but I know it's also God's will. So to, uh, to the newborn family, uh, we can only help to pray for you, take heart, and God will not let you down to newborns, friends, really other relatives who may not be here, let us take it to God in prayer. Thank you, and may God bless you. Thank you, Walter, and your group for such a, a commendable use of uh, the few minutes. Uh, There is an a cappella group. Where are you? Kuna kwaya up. Yeah, a cappella. Are you somewhere? Naomba mje. Just come.
the a cappella group. You got uh, a chance to do one item, kindly do. <laughs> yes. Uh, the tension is so high, so we can... Uh, Hello, good afternoon. Uh, we were to be four here, but two are not yet here. But we can do a song. We can sing. So we're going to do a hymn, 633. And we'll ask that you put it on the screen that we sing together. 633. When we all get to heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Uh, you'll join us together. Uh, we'll do a song later, I hope, because our friends are not yet here, but we'll sing this hymn together. Sing the wondrous, let's sing. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We'll see. And shout the victory While we walk the pilgrim pathway Clouds will over spread the sky But when traveling days are over Not a shadow, not a sigh when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that to be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serving every day. Just one glimpse of him in glory will the touch of life repay. When we all get to heaven, what a day Rejoicing that to be when we all see Jesus, we'll sing as chapter victory. On what to the prize before us, soon his beauty will be. Soon the party gates will open, we shall tread the streets of gold. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. 
when we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Soon we all get to heaven and there'll be no more shedding of tears there and we'll sing because Christ will be there with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for such a wonderful item. Uh, the father to newborn is known as James Omote Mokaya. I am not just saying that for, for nothing. But uh, there is a group that has come specifically to condole with uh, James Omote, who is the father to newborn. This is uh, the 1990 Kenyatta University cohort. Those who are classmates to Mze James Omote. Kindly, but expedi expeditiously, you come in front and uh, you give a tribute. 1990, many of you were not born yet, and some of us were born. Just a minute, you can use this, oh, one. this one. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. For the first time, I've made a mistake going to the public. My father was a church elder for 60 years, and he always told me never go to the public until you have reflected what you did the whole week. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We were in the same class with James Omote, with the Ruth. We were a class of 175 from Kisi and Yamira. We are surviving 155, and we have a good group. The name Newborn, it's us who know it, because Newborn was our chaplain at the university both the University of Nairobi and KU. So when you talk about newborn, the man that the lady is named, it gives us big memories because newborn always inspired us. Yesterday, when I was thinking about James and what one of has just said here about newborn, if for sure, I've never met newborn. If for sure newborn is like the father, That's how James was at university. We were joking with him. Matiang was in our class. So I was telling Matiang last night, you, James, and about five of you, you were waiting for the second coming in 1990 of Jesus and God. Some of us, when we were in university, and this is can tell you, we, we postponed about attending the church because we had just reached the university, we forgot. But James and others and Ruth and uh, Matiang, they never forgot that there were seven Adventists. Uh, a young man of 26 years. What I've come to reflect is that good people don't live for long. Good people don't live for long. But for us kisses, if somebody dies and leaves a kid, we have hope. But more than that, we have hope that one day we will meet the newborn in the second coming. Our class, we are very supportive of each other. The whole week, for the last 10 days, they have been visiting uh, for Mota at home, and I want them to continue. And, and let's pray for the family. Let's pray for the family of James, and let's pray for the kid who has been left. Dead is a mystery. We can't understand it. And being gender sensitive, let me allow, she's also my boss at government. Although I've retired, she has been our director of human resources at public service. She's a lady that we all, we all admired, but we never told her. Good afternoon, congregation. just want to 
give my sincere condolence and I represent all of us, the class of 1990. And our condolence to our brother and friend, James Omote Mukaya, and the entire family. Very sincere condolence to the family of newborn. And I can assure the congregation that there's something in a name newborn, whatever the name was got from, turned out to be the newborn we knew, our chaplain in the university, a man of God, very neat, truth in his journey of life. And that's what newborn, the later, turned out to be. We really thank God for the opportunity he gave the family to be with the newborn. Just like my brother has indicated, good people don't live long. Probably it's because they don't need to sin. The longer you live, the more exposed you are to the toils and turmoils of this world and they may rub you the wrong way and you may end up sinning. So we take it with a stride and a positive mind that though he's gone to soon, probably he has been saved from the troubles, the turmoils and sin of this world. We just hope that the family will be able to be consoled, to feel comforted by God, and to, be, to get that positivism Mm, it's not easy, it's not as I put it, it's tough, but speak to yourself. You are the best counselor for yourself. Have a meeting with yourself. And I am speaking more on the people this side. And if you do that, you will be able to overcome and forge ahead and move looking forward that one day, one morning, you'll meet newborn and speak to him. But he was such a fine, neat person. From the talk from his father, and from what you know, he was a nice, fine person. These are the kind of people you see, they rested. May God give you the strength to overcome these awkward moments. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we may, we may not get enough to say about newborn. Uh, newborn before he became a captain, he must have gone through some training, and that is uh, the 99th school, flying school, if I can put it right. And fortunately, that's where he got a job. It's not easy to get a job where you've schooled unless you are, you are one of the fine products of such a school. It's my assumption. The school leadership and community will come and affirm what I'm saying, if it's true, or they will tell us to the contrary. Kindly, I call upon uh, Eva and your group to come forth and uh, have a chance to give you a tribute. Good afternoon, everyone. Ipana, 
you can have it, you can remove it and just hold it to the mic. Yeah, it will be easier that way. Thank okay. you. Good afternoon once again. As you can see, we are the administration, management, and the family of the 99th Flank School, where a newborn schooled as a student and very well ended up being one of our best instructors. I'm going to introduce the administration, our management. I will start with the accountable manager, Major Amin. And to my left, we have our head of training, Colonel Ali. We also have our ground instructors. Raise your hands, ground instructors. Our flight instructors, raise your hands. Our management and, and your group. Our former CFI. And our students. Kindly our students, raise your hand. You can wave to the crowd. So I'm going to give our head of training the microphone to say a word before we read the tribute. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I think uh, I'm not used to uh, this kind of uh, service because of the faith I come from. So please bear with me in case uh, I make some mishaps here and there. Uh, as mentioned, my name is uh, Kanul Ali. I am the head of training at 99's Flying School. And uh, on my behalf, and uh, on behalf of the management of 99s and the 99s fraternity, I wish to take this opportunity to convey our heartfelt condolences to the family of Mze Joseph Omote, Mama Omote, the family of uh, newborn, friends and relative, relatives following you know, the demise of our son, our student, our instructor, Captain Newborn Mokaya. It's indeed been very tough on us for the last couple of weeks uh, because I have been in this industry for a long time. I started my aviation career in 1995 at the Kenya Air Force. My colleague here, Major Amin, started even earlier. And of course, over the years, I've lost friends in the aviation industry. I have lost colleagues, but none has hit me this hard because the two persons on board those air that aircraft were not ordinary beings. They were both exemplary in whatever they did. And therefore, as people say, there were only two, you know, that person for us there were more than two. If I start with a student, her name was Mariam Omar. Mariam was not only our student, she was equally our daughter. Just like every other student that comes to 99s becomes our son or our daughter. With newborn, he was initially our student and therefore, by extension, our son. And because he was such a fine uh, young man, when he completed his training, we did not hesitate to give him a chance to become an instructor. And being an instructor, I'll tell you, without mincing my words, that he served with dedication. He was a team player, and uh, coped well with everybody. And if you'll allow me, I know we are short on time, 
but I would like to mention one or two qualities about him, which honestly, as a person who having been in this industry for a long time, and a trainer as well, that made me uh, like him so much. He was unlike the current breed of young men and women. Among the many qualities I found in newborn was one, that newborn was always, always smartly dressed. His white shirt, I'll tell you, was whiter than white. Always well ironed. No stains whatsoever. His hair was neither long nor short. You know, when we go to fly, we put on headsets. And those of us who keep hair, I know I've gone bald over the years. The headset has a way of deforming your hair. I guess Captain Newborn always carried a comb with him. Because I've never seen his hair deformed because of a headset. So that was how neat he was. His shoes, of course, he liked the moccasin type. I have one pair of the same. And on one of the occasions, he told me, eh, mwalimu, umeanza kuvaa kama kijana. And, and my answer, very jokingly, was, you know, mimi ni muze kijana. And he said, ya kweli, mwalimu, we ni muze, muze kijana. So that is how well turned out he was all the time. In addition, newborn will not carry a beak in his pocket. He will carry very fine pens, the designer pens. Newborn did not put on any ordinary watch. He, has, he had a taste for class. If you doubt me, please have a look at his portrait. It is right out there. I'm not making it up. And believe you me, you will confirm what I'm telling you. Number two, newborn was very respectful. Cheerful all the time. He won't hesitate to say hi to you. And because I was an instructor, he would always call me, hi, sir. And maybe to take you back, my history with newborn goes a long way, back in sometime 2018, I guess somewhere around July. I gave him the first solo. I think the pilots know what I mean. This is a stage in the training where the pilot is led to fly on his own. So I was the one on one Sunday evening who let him take a plane by himself to go and fly. So that is the history I have with me. So I know him more than many do because before I release a student for a first solo, Many of them are here that uh, they know what I take them through because it is my responsibility to ensure that the student I'm releasing is fit enough, safe enough to carry out that exercise and come back unharmed. It doesn't come easy on the instructor. It doesn't come easy on the student. How to ensure that he is professionally competent to do that. I have to ensure that he has the ability to assess risks and put in mitigation measures. I have to ensure that he is able to make decisions, decisions that are sound based on knowledge. And most importantly, he must maintain a cool head in the event things go wrong. The aviation industry, uh, those who might not be um, well versed with it, has a lot of variables. In the morning it is cool, in the afternoon it is hot. In the morning the flight is smooth, in the afternoon it is rough. Sometimes it is windy, sometimes it's not windy. So there are a lot that changes. 
in the course of just one flight. And therefore, before I release you, I must make that overall assessment to determine that you'll be able to address all these scenarios in the right way. So that is how well I knew him before I released him. And of course, newborn did not disappoint. He did an excellent job. And all through his training, he's always been a good guy to the extent he became an instructor. Now, going back to the qualities I noticed in him, is that, of course, very respectful. But even then, newborn spoke his mind. When he felt he doesn't agree with you, he will tell you in a respectful manner, with a smile. We'll always have meetings as instructors, and he'll tell you, Malimu Mimi, Noana Hio Sesawa. Smiling without being rude. And if you can't convince him, believe you me, he is not a pushover. He will stand his ground respectfully, calling you sir. And, and that is how, how he was. And, and we really liked him for that. And a story he shared with me, maybe the family might know this, that newborn has been applying for a visa to the U.S. Uh, he went there the first time, and he will come back and ask me for an off, can I go and do that? So he went the first time, and uh, he came back in the evening very disappointed and said, you know what, these guys uh, refused to give me the visa. What was the issue? He said, I do not know, because I talked so well, and Adjustin to me, in the next pool was a guy who was, you know, saying funny, funny things, and they let him get the visa, yet they denied me. I told him, take her, don't worry, you continue with your, with your life. Then he was given a second chance. This time around, they equally again rejected him because they said you've come back too soon for the, for the interview again. Uh, Madam, I guess I'm, I'm saying what, what really happened. And he told me, you know what, sir? This time again, they told me you've come in too soon, but I gave them a piece of my mind. And I told the lady, you're not being fair. So I looked at it and I said, you know, this is a very bold young man. Ordinarily, when we go for these visa applications, we all get timid, and we always are the master of the, you know, the visa officer. But here was a young man that could not take it, you know, uh, it down that easily. He had to give them a piece of his mind, and that is exactly how he was. He will not hesitate to call you to order in a respectful manner. Uh, to tell you, now, I think this is not right. Number three is uh, Newborn was a hard worker. Very hard working indeed. And uh, Mr. James will tell you that even when he had challenges with his fees, we never stopped him. We let him continue without even James talking to us. The other day when we met, he said, you know what, I've never been here. And even when my son wanted to become an instructor, I told him, I have no resources. What will you do? And he told me, you know what, I have talked to the management and all is well. That is courtesy of him, not courtesy of, of, of the museum. Because of the qualities he had, we felt that this is a young man that requires a helping hand. And we did so without any reference to anybody. I knew also during uh, his time with us that he had a lot of side hustles. And one particular one, which we joked about it, is, 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 is one that I know of. But I'm happy to hear that he was in other businesses and had business partners. So Newborn was a hard work. He used to, to do Uber business. Maybe to share this with you. And I'll tell him over the weekend, ah, how was the Uber one? He looked like you made good money. And we laugh about it. So it used to be a part of a way to encourage uh, the young man. So it is not easy getting people of uh, these day and age who are that hard working. And finally, and most important about Newborn, was that he was a staunch follower of the SDA church. Newborn will not come to school on a Saturday. Come rain, come sunshine. That is who Newborn was. So making him an instructor was no mistake. It was deliberate. We saw what this young man was capable of. 
And because of that, we made him an instructor and he served diligently as an instructor. I wish one of his students would be given a chance uh, to say the experiences they have had. And, and therefore, uh, we grieve with you. Uh, we are equally in shock. Some of us were wishing that this is just but a bad dream, that one day we'll wake up to the reality that nothing happened. But of course, this is the will of God, and we'll just have to accept it. Sad as it may be, I think we equally need to thank God for giving us that opportunity to have lived, to have worked, to have stayed with newborn. He was indeed a very fine gentleman. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was our head of training. And on behalf of 99's family, I would love to read our tribute. We gather to remember our dear colleague, Captain Newborn Mokaya Omote. Though his passing grieves us, we celebrate a life well lived, recalling his kindness and passion. As a student, Newborn pursued his love for flying to becoming a respected instructor who trained others with passion and compassion. He taught us that true success lies not in possessions, but in the relationships. We will surely miss you. Fly with the angels, Captain Newborn Mokaya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Na sante sana kwa kuomboleza nasi. Uh, I know this was uh, your part to play, but kindly, with your kind permission, allow me give a chance to one of the students that Newborn had a chance to train. Just one. As you get me the name or the person, a student, Siokimau Choir, kindly come for an item. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Tutu Minor. I was a newborn student um, uh, for the past year, since uh, January 2023. Um, I think he happened to be the first instructor that I, that I met. Um, he walked into class and I was, uh, for context, I'm 29. I may not look it, I don't have the height, but uh, that's my age. I was 28 then, uh, and I think he was 24. And I realized almost instantly that he was younger than me, so I was in shock. It didn't seem <laughs> uh, possible that someone as young as him could be, could be leading uh, you know, someone as old as me. Um, but almost instantly he he cemented just how, just how knowledgeable, how intelligent, how made to be a captain that he was. Um, and I knew from then that I wanted him to be my instructor throughout. And so fate would have it, he was also my flight instructor. And um, so I, I was able to foster a really close relationship with him to the point where my parents um, would constantly call him, not for my sake, but also, also to find out how he was and uh, whether they could meet as well. I feel like I've lost a friend. It's not easy. <laughs> mm. 
but I know he came to do what he was meant to do. And the impact. The impact that he left will be felt for a very long time. So to newborn, I know you're watching us from heaven. Fly with the angels. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Waswaili wanasema, aisifuye mvua, imemnyea. Uh, we wouldn't have known how impactful our brother was until we listened to one of his students. Karibu kwae. Shani kunduka, kuna a 
asubuhi kwa kila usiku Asante kwa wimbo huo wa faraja Natumaini kwamba yapo usiku uzidi bado kutapambazuka na asubuhi yaja na kwa misingi hiyo basi tunatumainia siku ambapo asubuhi tafika tutakapo shiriki na wote wale ndugu zetu waliolala wakimtumainia bwana ndugu captain Niubo nakiwa mmoja wao ni nafasi ninayochukua kwa kuwaita familia kindly come up front we are running against time i am tempted to speak in uh, in a language that is spoken in heaven as they come mnakuja hapa hapa niliko uh, my brother bogita ungeri uh, kindly come you have a minute and a half uh, to speak this is a brother to to the late in our language we call them brothers but in this other language they call them cousins <laughs> thank you so much uh, director of ceremonies my name is bugita ungeri the late is my cousin and at the same time is my nephew. I think the father understands this very well. I don't want to waste time but I just want to point out on three key things and the first one I want to also register my condolences to my uncle James Omote I know it is very painful, very, very painful to lose your child. I may not say whether it is biblical or it is African, but it is good when children parry their parents than parents parrying their children. So we know how this has happened and uh, it is very, very painful. The lead person from the school has explained very well, and I'm happy that uh, he is a colonel retired from the Kenya Defense Forces. And I know what the pilots of the Kenya Defense Forces are made of. And indeed, that is why the young newborn picked very well a distinguished captain and there is that evidence speakers have come here and they have pointed out that good people don't live longer so i am surprised now do i become a bad person so that i can live longer what do i do because uh, this is a gentleman this is a man who was focused, he had his own vision, and the qualities that have been pointed out here, that is what their parents, even the old family, the Mokaya family, we know that is what they are made of. Very humble. They love even assisting the community where they can. 
So I register my condolences uh, to the family. The second thing is that I also want to thank, I, I was sharing the Nairobi team so that we can put our heads together and ensure that we have given our young newborn a befitting send off. So I wanted to thank that committee, um, uh, the Nairobi committee. Let us keep on. And thirdly, so that we can save time, I also wanted to announce that tomorrow, tomorrow we'll have a funds drive at Provisional Center starting from 4.30 to around 8.30. So kindly, I request you to join us as good friends. Wish me my friend here, Mr. Sagero, and other friends, you know them. Let us um, come together in one accord and assist the family because we know what it takes to make the funeral um, ceremony um, successful. Thank you so much, and may God bless you all in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you, my brother and uncle, Bogita Ungeri. I come up front, kindly assist me with this mic and uh, a few others. For the interest of time, uh, I'll uh, I'll try to make it short in uh, the shortest time possible. Uh, before we even say who is who, I want to invite my nephew, Iman, to give a tribute. This young man, uh, they were good friends with uh, his uncle, who is my brother. And uh, I know the keyboard this young man is using right now, it was a gift from his uncle. And uh, it so happens, son, just take heart. We give him a chance to read a tribute. This man is uh, the secretary, uh, a group you bear with us. This young man uh, is reading a tribute and we We'll talk after him. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, church. Well if you have a Bible, can you open James chapter one verse twelve? Because as it says Great blessings belong to those who are tempted and remain faithful after they have proved their faith. God will give them reward, the reward of eternal life. God promised this to the people. God promised this to the people who loved him. So from what I read in this verse, that I should have hope that I'll meet him once in heaven. So, yeah. so just continue loving each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. Which verse are you reading? Just, just the yeah. Hebrews. And also, if you have a Bible, open Hebrews uh, chapter 13, verse 1. It says, continue loving each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. So we should just continue loving each other, knowing that we'll meet him in heaven. We should have hope. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. And bear with us. It is that emotive. 
uh, I'll introduce a few and give chance to a few to speak because of uh, time and uh, the emotions. Uh, Susan, come. Just come. Job. Uh, who else? This is uh, Susan. Is there someone coming? This is Susan Bosibori. This is her son, Eman. This is the brother to Susan, Job Moturi. This is uh, his son, together with uh, his wife, Philnik. Uh, this uh, young man is called uh, Momanyi. Momanyi, famously known as Mo, is named after the grandfather. So, uh, newborn is father, and uh, Job and Susan is father, they were brothers. So I don't know what you call them. In English, you will say they are cousins. In our language, we, we don't use cousins. We say these are sisters and brothers to newborn. This young, beautiful queen is known Anne. Just wife, thank you. You can uh, take your positions. I call upon uh, Martin and the likes Sasa Nini Kuja Kujeni Yaboke Emmanuel. This is another group. That one is known as uh, Naomi Bosibori. This word is a common name in our family, so you may get them like every other time. That one is Martin Mosetti. This is Bernard Nyangwechi. This is Alice. Uh, this is Nyaboke, uh, second youngest in this group. This is uh, Obed Nyanumba. This one is Emmanuel Atuti and um, Joash Nyasende. We belong in this group. This group, our mothers are sisters to Omote James. Omote James is the father to newborn Omote. So we are cousins in uh, that language. But to us, we are sisters and brothers. You can take your positions. Uh, Naomi Kwapi, wewe umefanya makosa, just come. Uh, this is my Shemeji, husband to Naomi. We were almost losing cows. If we could not introduce him, we could get punished. Uh, thank you so much, my Shemeji. Uh, then, uh, we, no, Kuja Kwanza, uh, Jared, come. Uh, of all the cousins that are here today, Jared is the oldest and the most experienced. Si waswaili wanasema kuishi kuingi ni kuona mengi. Sasa kama ameishi kutuliko wengine si ameona mengi. I will give him a chance to speak sometime. This young man, he was uh, my classmate in nursery school back in the days. And he's my cousin. Baba ya Hawa na uh, Baba ya Newborn, they are first cousins. And so we become 
castles. But I have severally said, we don't have castles in our language. We have brothers, okay? Uh, you can take your positions. Uh, Uh, this is Matara Brian. He is my Shemeji. He's a brother to Newborn's wife. And this one is a brother to Simon. He's uh, the immediate follower to uh, Immaculate. So, our and your Toto are Misho Misho. This one and this one, they belong to this one. <laughs> Are we together? Yes. So, thank you. Take your positions. I am now starting giving people a uh, chance to speak. Uh, this young man, he uh, ananizidi urefu nandevu. Nikijaribu na izafuga ndevu, lakini urefu sitafikia, sindio? I saw this man akizaliwa na kumbeba. I can tell you the story. So if I can tell you the story about this one, how much more about newborn? Because newborn is now uko chini. He is Elphaz, actually, he is pastor Elphaz Nyabuti Omote is the elder brother to newborn. He landed uh, this morning at around 11. So if you see him not so stable, bear with him. He hasn't had enough time to, uh, to ventilate. Okay? Uh, welcome, brother, and uh, take heart. Uh, I uh, think I'm almost done. This one is uh, Immaculate Kerubo Orori, but uh, when we change documentation and everything, it becomes Mokaya, taking the name of newborn Mokaya. This young man, come, 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 we go. Okay. He likes travel, so when you tell him, come, we go, he just comes. He's uh, innocent as he is. Kindly pray for us. Pray for him. It is trying moments. He's adding. Omote Mokaya, named uh, after the grandfather who is alive. Nowadays we name people who are still existing, right? Yes. So I'll give my sister to just say a word. Just a word. Just a word. Good afternoon. First, I'd like to say thank you for making your way here, for leaving your work and coming here. One thing, as Colonel Ali was talking, I remembered something that Newborn used to tell me, that uh, I knew him as somebody who is very strict. He feared him, but he, to he always told me that was like a motivation to him. I remember one time, he used to joke like, do you know that I'm a boy from the village? No, my, my, my instructor, uh, who is uh, Colonel Ali, uh, could tell me when we fly <laughs> that <laughs> you're very, okay, that's not, uh, no offense. You're very stupid. Actually, your dad will take back his fees. That's like, he told me that was a motivation. It's not like he meant it. Because, you see, flying, it's about life and death. So if I tell you, like, you're flying very well, what will you do tomorrow? Will you be able to fly? You'll be very overconfident, isn't it? 
So he used to tell me, I'm a boy from the village, and I used to tell him, people have never seen pilots. Myself, I couldn't have seen a pilot if it were not him. So we used to joke with my sister, who is in absentia, that uh, my sister could call him and tell him, Unajua tujawa yon a pilot? People, we don't, uh, I mean, uh, from where we come from, we don't have pilots. I remember when I went home, sometimes when you're seated with people, people could say, eh, kumbia pando pilot alikuwa natoka. Because I don't know what we view as pilots. Is it meant for people who travel outside? So you don't, it doesn't sit well with us that a pilot could come from the village who was very determined. He loved aviation. I could tell him on weekends, do you have to go to work even on Sunday as early as six? And he could tell me, I just love flying. It's just a hobby. Uh, sometimes he could make jokes like, I, I love sleeping. So he could, he could tell me, just like you love sleeping, I love flying. So he had passion in aviation. He had bigger dreams. I don't know if the young man can just hold the legacy and I hope one day he'll be a captain because myself, I'm so traumatized. I don't know, I just have a phobia for flights right now. When I first learned about his death, I couldn't believe because I knew him as somebody who was very strong, somebody who could fight. When I first read the message, it was all over the news. When I first read, I just said, it's not newborn. The newborn I know could not allow himself to die in a flight. I'm sure he fought for those who saw him. <laughs> he must have fought for his life. How I hope that God could just let him for even a minute to tell us what happened, because we don't know. I just saw him that morning at five as I prepared to leave for work. We were up with the sun. We prayed together that morning. And I remember telling him, don't leave before I get into the house, because I feared. And the moment I opened the door, I closed the gate and opened the door, he left. I didn't know that was the last moment I'd see him alive. <laughs> Some few hours later, <laughs> no one was no more. <laughs> Just pray for us. We have so many questions to God. Why did he allow him <laughs> to go that fast? Many say that, that went down in history, they've never heard of a collision of the planes. People can talk, people can doubt his experience. I'm not a pilot, I don't work in that line, but what I can assure you, you won't love flying. He actually had bought a, I don't know what you call it, a joystick or a simulator in the house. So when he comes back at night, we could fly, the three of us. He could show us on how to fly. And uh, uh, as Colonel said, he had so many hassles. Newborn really loved farming. If you come to our compound, we also have poultry. He had love for aquariums. He always consulted me on so many things. I don't know why he didn't consult me well. I was ready for him to leave. I've asked God so many questions. At least he could have given me a sign that he's going so that I say a proper goodbye. It hurts saying goodbye for somebody that I laughed with the whole night. We laughed. I don't know whether that was a goodbye from him because that day we shared a lot, we laughed the whole night, only for him to leave and never come back. Thank you.
uh, it's better that way than not speaking. I want to believe. Uh, These two, uh, they are our aunt and uncle, brother to James Somote, who is the father to newborn, uh, this one, and this is the sister. This is number 10 out of 10, and this is number 9 out of 10. So, number eight, sorry, there's number nine here. So, number one, all through, our kuja, wengi wa konyumbani. We have them as a representation of other members. I'll give a chance to them, just a word. It's hard, I know but it's necessary if we can speak. Mungu ni mwema na siku zote. Eh, hakika tuko na uchungu sana. Hata hatuna hatuna lua ya kueleza yale ya koroni mwetu. But eh, eh, jambo moja ningependa kuwaomba ya kwamba uweze kutuambia sababu maombi yataweza kutusimamisha yataweza kutukomfort kwa hivyo ombi langu ni ya kwamba mnapofanya maombi tafadhali mtukumbuke kwa maombi na Mungu awabariki kwa ku spare your time sio tia Mungu ana kazi ya kufanya ama shughuli za kufanya mkaona ni vema muuje hapa kwa ajili ya kutufariji Mungu aweze kuwabariki Good afternoon. My name is Lamek Ongera Mukai. Newborn, his middle name is, is named after my father. So I live in America and uh, <clears throat> one thing I remember about to live uh, about Newborn for the first time in a long time, I had to look for a friend to pick me off the, from the airport. It always, always, all I do is just send him my, my itinerary, and that's it. It tells me I'll be there. I was once in a soil class, and uh, some of you have been too, and there's a saying that uh, Chema Hakidumu. I don't know how to translate that in English, but Chema Hakidumu. So, something that's precious never lives long. I have a lot, if I get a chance to talk about, live, about uh, Newborn, but uh, for now, I will thank you for coming. Thank you for taking your time and sacrifice, but I, I'll take these um, few things I love to talk about him. He likes animals. He, uh, the animals of all, like you come, you find a duck here, you go around, you find another aquarium here. He has even a, some cows at his age. Those old guys here who know to have a cow is not easy. You have to struggle to tame a cow, but uh, as I speak, you got a few. So, one of the instructors, uh, I think, he knew him very well. Very well. He was a very neat guy. Always very neat, we call it um, sharp. Here in, in Kenya, we say smart, smart, I think. But he was always, he likes being very neat. And he doesn't like things done halfway. If I instruct him or ask him to do something, if he's not done well, he say, Uncle, that's not the way to do it. I'll take my time 
and I'll make sure it's done well. So, in brief, it's a painful, death is always painful, but this one I think is more painful because of its nature. But I'll take this time and thank all of you for taking this time to condole with us. And as you go back, don't forget praying for us. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle. We, I call upon uh, the brother-in-law, just a word. Good afternoon. Yeah, my brand, I'm Brian Matara. Newborn was like my brother. <laughs> I knew newborn when he was the size of the son, who is my nephew. Was when he was very young, we used to sleep together when the father used to go to university to further studies. <coughs> we grew together up to when he was coming to university. The first person who consulted which course can I take is me. Is me. Then told me I want to take aviation. I'm <coughs> So all through, we have been knowing newborn has been my person. Even newborn wakes up, knows my lifestyle, how we grew, and where we are. When newborn was marrying my sister, he asked me, I remember that time he called me in the afternoon. Can I be a Brian? No, I got to go now. I can't be any job. I would call you in the evening. Then told me, "The my mother will come. My sister, I can't be a girl now. To be kind, to be kind now. Now my mother, I can't be a sister now. At your young age, so I've given a tip." I take because it's somebody we were growing together, I know the father and the mother. So this guy, the last time I saw him is on January when they were coming from home with my sister here. I work in Narok. Then I told them, it was early in the morning, I told them you will not go to Nairobi. Mukifika Narok, Musimame, I get out of the house and come and greet you. That's the last time I saw a newborn face to face. I've lost a very serious person who was having a very bright future. Very bright future. To me talk and bury na our jama. Natuna song and bele. The only thing I believe, prayers will work. Wherever he has gone, one day we'll meet again. Newborn, wherever you are. Know that the family you have left up behind will take care. Thank you so much. Thank you, my brother. Uh, you can take your seats because I, I can see it's overwhelming. Take your seats, except a few who are here to speak. I, I call upon... Uh, she's... Uh, tasked to read the tribute from the uh, father and mother-in-law. So kindly do it. Okay, church, good afternoon. First, I take the opportunity to thank the friends, the church, and the school to stand with us, especially during this time we are in the morning. I don't have much to say. As I'm thanking you, to my side, I've known newborn since 2014, January. Newborn, when he joined the school of pilot, he could come back home. He was more of a brother, not just a brother-in-law. He could come home with special gifts. He could buy a watch for me, a necklace, of which I'm aware, he never bought to my sister. And then later, I have a good nail cutter, 
which I'm using from 2017 till today. So as a sister-in-law to the wife, I'm missing him and I will miss him greatly. Being an elder sister to the family, I'm standing here on behalf of the family, of the parents, the parents to Immaculate. I'm reading the tribute from the parents and this is what our mother and our father said. Mm, our mother used to call newborn Aka newborn. Aka newborn in our community is a young, as a child, is a child. We are aware from the Bible, a child is somebody who is righteous. If God comes today, mm, attend a bingun. So this is what the parents said. More than a son-in-law, he was cherished and lovely family member. His laughter illuminated our lives, his kindness unwaveringly. His absence will create a void that will be impossible to fill. Yet, his spirit will reside eternally in our hearts. We will hold dear the memories we shared, drawing inspiration from his legacy. We will miss him, our dear son and a friend, until we meet in the glory, parents-in-law. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we are about to finish, and uh, I'm requesting Naomi just a word. If you can take a minute, it will be so prudent. Okay, praise God, church. All members, praise God. We thank God so much for your presence, and we don't take this for granted. May God bless you. If I will say a word about newborn, newborn loved the family. He loved everybody at his or her own measure or level. As uh, others have remarked that um, he was hardworking indeed. He was so determined, I can attest to that. There's a time I called him, asked him, newborn, can I, get, can I get somebody to help me in some work, in some business, somebody to keep some business for me? Then he told me, sis, that's a small thing. And in a little while, in a minute, in, in a, within an hour, he was at my place of work. Asked me, show me the place of your business. I took him there. And then when he looked around, he told me, I have a nice boy who can do this work. And indeed, he brought the boy. That man was so ambitious. My mom is uh, somewhere sickling. When he comes over for his, uh, for her appointments, before even I organize myself on how I can fetch her or I can pick her from town, now apata tu wako kwa nyumba. Newborn loved his family. He loved the wife and the son. They were ever in company. They were ever in company. A very obedient young man. We've lost an asset, but we know God knows why at this time. He was our treasurer. He was that type of person who won't beg. Hata kufuatilie tia ujatuma pesa fulani. And kwa ile imebaki ya top. Na namaliza kazi. But we know it is well. God knows why. Though ningum, we've lost a great man of God. We usually have meetings as a family, as sisters and brothers. 
he may be in attendance on his own together with the family. Like the last, which it was on 24th, most of us didn't make for our meetings. We usually have, Nairobi, we call ourselves Nairobi Block. Mamokeira family. He was in attendance on his own together with the family. He could always be in meetings. He never failed. That's the type of man we've lost. But God knows why. It's God. Our prayer, our request, continue praying with us so that um, those of us who are alive may make our ways and be ready for our death when it comes because nobody knows the time, nobody knows the hour. May God bless us. Thank you, sister. Uh, Brother Nyabuti. First of all, I just want to say thank you to each one of you for being here. In my family, there's three boys. There's me as the oldest. Uh, there is Crispus. And then there is a new one. I stand here today as a representation of me and my second brother, Chris. And wherever, Chris, you are, I just want to commend your incredible strength. And as I represent you in honor of our brother, that I pray that pray that you will find strength as I also look for strength. I have been traveling for the better part of the last two days um, to be here. In many ways, I actually envy a lot of you because you had what I didn't have with my brother, which is time. I left to the U.S. when I was a very, at a young age. And uh, I left newborn at age, he was probably around age five. And 20 years lapsed. It's one thing to grieve and um, to grieve what you've lost. It's another thing to grieve what you could have had. And um, I was fighting so hard to get my brother to join me in the U.S. And so we tried, we tried over and over again, time and time again, because I know how talented he is. He, he was a fine pilot, an incredible pilot. When I was here last October, uh, we had the opportunity of of uh, going on a flight with him. So he took my brother and I on a flight. And I recorded the whole thing. And on my way here, I was watching that. And I, don't, I didn't know what to think of it, but right before we pulled out of the, where the plane was parked, right behind was the Safari Link plane that was just passing. It's in the video, and I, I just couldn't help but just kind of think of, was that like a prophetic thing of what was to come? So we started climbing. 
five feet, a thousand feet, all the way to 10,000 feet. And I can tell you that kid was fearless. Newborn was fearless. I remember discreetly during that flight and, and I asked him, he did something, you people from uh, 99 Flying School, you can tell, you, you can probably understand this a little better. When the plane, you have the ability to stagger the plane. It's almost like it's shutting off and then you just turn it right back on. And he's talking about doing a 15 degree angle turn, 45. Now, 45 degree turn is, you almost, your stomach is almost falling out of your, out of your body at least for me. So what I could stomach was 15 degrees. But he's like, no, 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 let's keep going. That's nothing. And my brother and I in the back are just saying like, yo, chill. <laughs> because you're about to make us fall at this guy. But newborn, I took a screenshot on my phone how comfortable he is, he was in that cockpit. At one point during the flight, he literally took off his, his hands off of the, the control thing and he just crossed his hands and he said, and, and he did a thumbs up. If you drive, you know, without hands, it means you're pretty comfortable driving, driving the car, right? Now it's one thing to do that, but it's another thing to do that while you're in the air. My brother was, Incredibly, incredibly talented. I, I am sorry to each one of you because you have lost, have lost an amazing young man. Our family has lost dreams. We had a vision for him. He had a vision for himself. <sighs> to my little sister Immaculate, you are now my responsibility. And whatever newborn was going to do, the visions, the dreams that he had, my brother and I, our family, we are going to ensure that that comes true. To your son, my nephew, more of the same. Our love doesn't change no matter what. And as hard as it is for me to stand here and to, to imagine that something, something hurt my brother so bad that it killed him as an older brother, We're supposed to protect our younger brothers. I truly hope that for my sake, let me speak selfishly here, that the school and the other airline that was involved, that they will provide answers, because I personally need them. There might, this, this might not be the right time, but I feel like I need to say that, because it's one thing to question his skills, and it's another thing to recognize negligence. So to you all, I am sorry for your loss. And I pray that as you live here, you can find someone to comfort you, get yourself into counseling. I'm a firm believer in grief counseling. Talk it through. I work as a chaplain in a hospital in, in, uh, in, the, in, in the state of Minnesota, and so I, I, I deal with death all the time, but this is... You know, there are words that you, there are things that are not supposed to go together. The, for instance, you don't think of the color red with, with an avocado, for instance, right? Because they don't match. And 
to hear newborn and dead and newborn and so sorry for your loss and newborn and take heart and newborn and this and newborn and those things don't make sense to me right now. So I pray that you, you do that for yourself. Because I'm seeking answers too and I don't have any right now. But I pray that as you grieve, that as I also try to make sense of this somehow, that you will be kind to yourself on the journey to heal. And I pray that God gives you healing. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Uh, it's that serious. Kindly find it with the, within your hearts to say a prayer for us. Time is against us and uh, we should be stopping by now on that part as we welcome the pastor. But kindly allow me to recognize the presence of uh, two people who've been so instrumental in uh, newborn's life. Just wave to us. That old man is the father to newborn whenever he is in Nairobi. He guides him always, even before we get word of anything, he will have uh, sorted it out. Thank you, Mwaka, for coming, and may the good Lord give you comfort. Wakili uh, Tom, that uh, is a very instrumental man to our family. He's a brother to Onyancha. And before we come from Kisi, some of us who are in Kisi, they will have solved whatever he wanted some themselves. They are actually a link between us and the young man whenever we can't reach him. May you be comforted as well for this big loss. I am now speaking in my capacity as a brother and not as the MC. And before I do, I was uh, almost uh, losing focus because you can bear with me. This is Job. Some of us don't know him as such. We call each other fondly as Sokro. He's named after uh, one of the grandparents, grandfathers, and I am also one. So whenever we call each other, we don't call ourselves the names. I call him Sokro, and that is exactly what he calls me. Uh, he is a brother to newborn. In fact, we look for newborn. If you don't look, find him, then you look for a job. When you miss the two, then you start looking for Susan or anybody else. My brother is not easy, but uh, just a word. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. Uh, let me take this opportunity to thank all of you for showing up for this uh, prayer service. This shows how our brother touched your lives in various aspects. Dutes Yokimau Church, thank you so much for standing with us. Without you, it could have been so hard for us. You have lost a beacon of hope. And to my little brother Elphas, after losing 20 years and catching up with your brother for almost a week, I know it tears you apart. But we are with God. 
to my sister Ima. I know you have a lot of questions without answers. But with God, all will be well. For those of you who are here, please remember us in your prayers. You have seen there's a son who's going to grow without seeing his father. It's a challenge. It's going to be tough. But remember us in your prayers. Remember also our father who was back at home, Mr. James. I remember when we lost our big brother, Emmanuel. The life of my father changed until he passed on. It's going to be tough. Please remember us in your prayers. Thank you. Thank you, my uh, younger brother. It's not easy, but uh, at least we are managing. Uh, sorry for almost forgetting you. I can speak and speak and speak, but uh, it's not necessary to do that now. I have been uh, knowing uh, fellowships in churches, many of them. But I can say, without mincing my words, that uh, the Sokimau Church, your fellowship is a true fellowship, that which is in the Bible. I want to thank you on behalf of our family. We have experienced true fellowship. And uh, may the good Lord uh, keep you and bless you in abundance. Uh, to our family, now that we are mourning and we are so feeble, the Bible does not allow us to make promises when we are in this state because we may not keep them. But nevertheless, my brother Nyabuti, you know how much we've done in the past to have a newborn join you. In the same strength, we will do whatever it takes, humanly possible, to make sure that uh, anything good for our sister and our son is doable. That count on us all of us collectively. Immaculate, we may not be able to fill the gap, but at least we will lessen the burden. You have us, and you can count on us at whatever level. Thank you to our parents, Uncle Lamek, Uncle Moti, and all the rest. We will remain to be your true obedient sons and uh, daughters. Even when you are mourning, we will still be that obedient so that we don't make this void so big count on us and we will do our best as your children. To the friends who have sacrificed their quality time and uh, resources for this noble cause, may the God of blessings bless you in secrecy so that you don't lack anything for supporting us and standing with us in these trying moments. To the school, we have learned your laws as well. We pray that the good Lord may help you overcome this loss. And uh, we are believers in the Bible. 
whenever there is a loss of Moses, God brings up a Harun in his place. May that be realized in your school. To every one of us, even as we mourn, we pray that uh, you find time to pray with us. And uh, we have a great hope, the blessed assurance, the resurrection of the faithfuls. And when that comes, try and put yourself in perspective that when he comes, calling the names of those who slept in him, yours may not lack. Thank you all for coming and sparing your precious time. And uh, may the Lord of all blessings be with you till we meet when he has planned and seen fit for us to do so, for we trust in him. Thank you, each and every one of you. I call upon the choir to come and usher in the pastor who will speak to us kindly. Do.
Thank you, choir, for that wonderful song that our life is so short. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I think if you have sat for quite some time, can we rise up as I call upon the choristers to read us in uh, CDA Emino song number 428. First, the stands and chorus as I pray to welcome Pastor Choristers. Father, we are shedding tears of pain, because of death. But in this country, we know it's not our home. You are preparing a good place, a better country, where there will be no death, no pain, no weeping. And we are looking for that better country. Now that we are in this country which is painful, we ask for your comfort. We ask for your comfort, Lord, that in time like this, you are promised that you are so close to those who are brokenhearted and you pine their wounds. Lord, we ask that you pine the wounds of this family. Death has dropped them, a very young, vibrant man who had a future. A young family have been left behind, and you are promised that, Lord, Widows and orphans, they belong to you. You take care of them. Lord, we ask that you come down in a mighty way. And Lord, be with them. As a servant of God, Pastor Philemon Kiton comes to bring words of comfort. You see, Master, for a vessel and speak to us all. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Uh, thank you so much for being patient. Uh, now time has come. We want to listen from the mouth of God and uh, to the family, uh, my personal and sincere condolences. But there's hope in Christ. There's hope in Christ. All is not lost. Let us fix our hope in the Lord. Let us trust in the Lord because soon he's coming to take us to a better country. For the young widow and the young woman, God is going to be with you and he has promised 
that we will never leave you. Uh, it is my pleasure now to welcome uh, my senior pastor, Pastor Philemon uh, Kitonga, uh, to speak to us. Pastor, welcome. Thank you. Um, good afternoon to all. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to take this time and opportunity to pass my condolences um, to Immaculate, that is wife, to newborn, um, to the school, 99S Flying School. I believe that is the best pronunciation of the title of the school the students, the church, the friends, relatives, cousins, and all those present here, friends, parents to newborn, the late, and also parents to my sister, Immaculate, brother to newborn, Eliphaz Nabuti. May God bless you. May God comfort you in a special way. You know, uh, it was a, such a moment, um, it happened at that one time. Um, but you know, the work of the pastor is to comfort all those who are bereaved. But one day, now, the pastor got involved. He lost, actually, his son, he's my friend. And um, many people came and they were asking, so what shall we share? To comfort our pastor. He has been there with us. He has been preaching the word of God. But now one of the elders, not the ones who are here, stood and said, now pastor, you know, after all this, all the verses that you've been preaching to us and reading to us, now we pray that you go and read all of them. <laughs> you know, okay, they were trying to crack a joke that, you know, uh, you know, it, it is a bit tough, let me tell you. I was bereaved and I lost my brother, actually in December. And I know it is not easy. It is not easy. And uh, my prayer is that God will comfort all of us. Allow us to take just the shortest time. And I believe that no one will move out because we come to the best and uh, actually to the real, the real um, issue and the reason why we are congregated here. Just to offer prayers for this family and all of us irrespective of our denomination where we come from, we have come as a team to just whisper a word of comfort to each and every one of us, specifically to the family of the late newborn. So allow me say that um, sometimes I normally say, blessed are those who preach short sermons, for they will be called again. So, how I pray that I do it, that I may be called again. Amen? Psalm 30, verse 5, part B. Psalm 35, part B. Psalm is a book of David. And uh, these are, you know, they are songs, they are hymns. And uh, I love uh, this book. It's my favorite, especially when it comes to such a traumatizing and uh, uh, such times. I normally uh, take my reading from the book of Psalms, and uh, because uh, we classify it in the wisdom literature, and uh, the main uh, theme of this book says uh, it's all about the worthiness of God. Despite the tears, the worthiness of God. That is why we have to praise him, no matter what. Um, this is a psalm that has been written by David, but remember, the book of Psalm has been written by many authors, uh, including Jeduthun, Solomon, Hasab, the sons of Korah, Eman, and Hithan. But this one specifically is written by David, and I'm reading part B only. And it says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Praise the Lord. May we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Indeed, it is sure that we are weeping and we are mourning. But thank you because of the assurance that even 
while we are still shedding our tears, you have promised us that uh, uh, the joy will come in the morning. May you assure this family so. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The someone says, weeping may you do for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I'm taking it, actually um, synchronizing it with the book of Luke. And this is chapter 7. I'll just read view verses to comfort this family. Luke chapter 7, and this is verse uh, 11. Um, as we comfort the family of newborn, we also say, take heart even to the school for the loss of the student. And uh, we believe that God is with you, is going to stand with you. Allow me to read the book of Luke chapter 7, verse 11. It happened the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and a large crowd. And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crowd from the city was with her. Verse 13 says, When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. Verse 14 says, Then he came and touched the hope and coffin, and those who carried him stood still, and he said, Young man, I say to you, Rise. Verse 15 says, So he who was dead sat up and began to speak and he, present, he presented him to his mother then verse 16 says then fear came upon all and they glorified God saying a great prophet has risen up among us and God has visited his people my prayer is God to visit this family indeed weeping may endure for a night some versions say it may tarry for a night but joy comes in the morning. Friends, it was at a time when a widow who had only son, I remember this was a widow, uh, where they were, it's, it's known as a city of Nain. And in this city, which is actually um, interpreted as a, you know, a happy place, eh? a place where you can get comfort, and no wonder death is happening. The widow loses her only son, his only son. Now what is happening? She is mourning. The only son, she's a widow and nothing. When she looks ahead, nothing. When she looks back, nothing. All her life has been closed. She is traumatized and this is the situation that we are in. Now, my brothers and my sisters, allow me to comfort you with these words. At that particular moment, when they were moving out of Nain, Many women came the way we have come as friends to stand with this family. And they said, our sister, the widow, we want to assist you to bury your son. But friends, when they were moving out, I can see and I can imagine many of the women coming together, having a budget, the way we have the budget to go and bury our friend, newborn. They started moving. Actually, during those times, the cemeteries were outside the town. And this is what happened. They moved out in a slow motion. In, you know, in the Jewish culture, the person who is believed should be in the front. So I can see the woman shedding tears. The way I can see Immaculate shedding tears, you know. And even our school, and all of us as friends, and even as parents and as brothers, shedding tears and moving. You know, all the hopes have been dead. So what happens, especially when you trust God, when you believe God, like our pastor, and then all of a sudden, tragedy eats. This is what is happening. At the gate, the crowd is meeting another crowd. Jesus coming from Capernaum, actually from healing the sojourian servant. And when they are coming, they are meeting the two of them. The crowd from Capernaum and another crowd from Nain. When they meet, one of the crowd is carrying a dead body and another crowd is whispering and very joyous and laughing and saying, oh yes, we have a man who can resurrect the dead. Friends, look at these two crowds. Then when they reached at the gate, the Bible says, allow me to read 
verse 13 says, When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her. My prayer is may God have compassion on us. May God have compassion on you, Immaculate. May God have compassion on our brothers, on our sisters, and all of us having lost. He can read our hearts and even our minds. You know, sometimes, yes, it can hit. You will find just shedding tears. Because when you look at the young family, the young boy, just one year, eight months, who has been left, yes, it is something to be sorrowful of. But now Jesus is coming in. He is saying, have my compassion. Amen. Can we have the grace of God? Yes, it is tearful. You know, it is traumatizing. But my prayer is, may the compassion of God fill all of us in Jesus' name. He had compassion. And then he said this, do not weep. Do not weep. In the Jewish culture, it was against the law to tell someone who has been bereaved, not, don't weep. How can you tell me not to weep, yet I've lost the only son? In the Jewish culture, you know, men who are here, men used to provide for the family. And when the man dies, the son would now provide for the family. If the son happens to die, the woman starts begging. This is the Jewish culture. Now, the husband has died, and probably they buried this husband at the same place near the gate. And now, this woman is going to bury now the last hope, the son. It is so tearful, and the men who are here, imagining that, you know, you brought up your son, and now this is the last moment. You are seeing your son, the only person you can depend. I want to tell you, when he said, do not weep, he meant this, that no, the giver and the provider of life and the compassion. My prayer is, as we weep, may we weep like those who have hope. May we weep knowing that one day, those who have rested in Christ will be resurrected and they will be caught up together with us. Amen. This is the greatest hope. I want to give just four points on this story. Just four of them. And after this, I'll be calling all of us to come and also to pray for this family. Allow me to say this. Just four things that I can observe from this. There is Jesus who sees what the crowd cannot see. Amen. There is Jesus, there is God who sees what Immaculate is going through that we, we cannot see. There is a God who sees what you are going through, what makes you to put on hold your office work and to leave your places of work to come and stand with this family. There is a God who sees. How I pray, may this God see you. May this God comfort you. There is this God. He saw the widow and he had compassion. Say, do not weep. Something else. Jesus saw her, uh, her and he had compassion. Friends, it is only Jesus Jesus now comes in, he says, let me have the coffin. You know, they used to make one that is open. I know many of us, we fear the coffin, eh? Yes, and even dead bodies. In the Jewish culture, you are not supposed even to touch a dead body. But Jesus goes against the culture. He goes and even touches the, the dead body. You know, it is only Jesus who can touch what is unclean and it becomes clean. It is Jesus who can touch what is dead and it becomes alive. How I pray, may God, may Jesus touch even our dead plants, our thoughts. May God touch, you know, our sorrows that they may become alive again. Praise God. He touches the young dead man and he says, arise. He arises and he sits up. Can you imagine? They were coming out, coming to bury someone. And then Jesus touches and the man comes up. He resurrects. The plant they had and the women, they had prepared meals to eat even after the burial. Now they are going to eat after the resurrection. Praise God. Can I tell you that the son of the mother has death in him. But the son of the father has life in him. It is only Jesus who can restore our brokenness. 
How I pray may Jesus restore our brokenness. Indeed, we are broken up, but Jesus can restore our brokenness. Immaculate, allow Jesus to restore your brokenness. Elphaz, Crispus, allow Jesus to restore your brokenness. Even to our dad, you know, it is traumatizing, but allow Jesus to restore your brokenness because there is the one who can see what we can't see. Friends, it is true. And allow me to say this, to give this point, our God can do anything, and this is the compassion of Jesus. May God have compassion unto us. Touching a dead person, and then he comes back to life. I remember one of the men here in Tanzania, um, just last month, he appeared in the, in the news that he used to sleep in a coffin. He could marry a wife, a girl, then when he, she comes uh, home and finds the man, you know, sleeping inside a coffin, ah, the girl says no. Then she goes, and then the media came to interview this man, and they were asking this man, why do you sleep in a coffin? Then he told them, why are you shocked? I'm just reflecting. What will happen when I will be long ago dead? <laughs> so I don't know how many can do that. I don't know. I don't know. It is quite traumatizing. You know, I met someone there outside and he was asking me, by the way, pastor, you know, this was a pilot. Can we ask our pilots who are here, even our captains, how do you feel when you are there in the air? So how do you feel? What is the experience? Because uh, I remember one day, story is, is given of a husband and wife traveling in a plane. But now, the, the attendants in the plane uh, noted that something was in a mess and the plane was almost crashing. So they give the announcement, guys, the plane is crashing. So if you have to repent, repent. If there is something you can say, last words you can say. Man, <laughs> man turns to his wife and says, now we are done. What can we do? Nothing, no questioning. Should we repent? Yes. Who is going to start? Me. Then the, then the wife starts, you know, my dear husband, the plane is crashing. Indeed, we are dying. So what should we do? What should we do? do you know, um, let me remind you, that man, the garden man, you are asking and doubting about me. Do you know that when you are away, I normally sleep with him. You know, men, I know it is difficult. You know, sometimes, because it, we, they are dying, of course, I'm asking a question. If today, if right now, you will be told you will not reach your office, what is it that you can say the last one? You know, I forgive you. I forgive you. No question. Then the man says, you know, <laughs> that son of our maid you were asking about, do you know that he is mine? Oh, I've been asking about this. And then this is the last moment. Oh, my husband, I forgive you. I forgive you. Then the story went on. You know, that money, you know, uh, the husband was telling this, uh, the woman and the, his wife, you know, that money you are questioning me about, the money that I was telling you, I don't know where it is. I have, I have it. I have another wife. And that is where it is. Oh, I forgive you. Then the lady comes in. That main money you are asking me about, 2.5 million, where it went. I went, I bought a plot, I have it. So the plot you are questioning about, it is mine. Although I hid from you. Oh, I forgive you. So they repented so many things. You know, a lot of dirty things that they had hid from each other. And they were spouses. At the time, they were almost doing that. You know, the others were doing, making noise from the plane. You know, the plane is coming to crash. And all of a sudden, announcement comes in. Friends and guys can see now the climate is coming down. So the plane, we are safe. We are landing safely. <laughs> and they have repented. Everyone has repented, you know. Now, can you imagine <laughs> the plane landing safely? And you have repented everything that you had hid to your spouse. The man stood. He just stood and spoke loudly and he said, No, it can't happen. The plane has to crash. I want myself dead. You know, I want myself dead. I don't want to leave. 
How can I leave staring at my wife yet my deepest secrets have revealed to them? I want the plane crashed. If now the plane will be crashing on your side, which sin would you repent? All of us. The chapter of newborn is closed. Newborn was a Christian. I love, you know, the, the, the statement from our, from, our, from our director. He says that, yes, he was staunch. He used to come to church. You know, our friend, indeed, even the church has lost. Mano, if today were your last day on earth, how would you do? I would like even to be a pilot because I believe pilots, when they are now starting to fly, uh, they normally repent at first. Because they don't know, you know, what a garage. So they have to be sure of it. You know, you know, having having to fly is a serious thing. More than even being a medicine, you know, I have a, um, I have a bit of uh, no of, uh, of medicine, but now flying is a serious thing. Yes, sorrow, pain, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The woman meets Jesus and things change. By the time she was coming to bury the husband, Jesus was not at the gate. But now this time, she is coming to bury her only son, but she meets Jesus at the gate. Amen? Jesus is the giver of life. Jesus is the carrier. He is our burden carrier. How I pray, may Jesus carry our burdens. Yes, they are too heavy for us to carry but my prayer is, may Jesus carry our burdens. He carries the burdens of this widow. He just tells the lady, you know, you know, don't weep. He touches the grave, the coffin, and then the son resurrects. He holds the son his hand. Then he presents the son. You know, he doesn't leave it at that moment. He presents the son back to the mother. What a joy when Jesus comes presenting back our brother newborn to us. Amen. What a joy will it be? You know, my Bible tells me, and this is the last uh, point that says, you know, when we feel forgotten or overlooked or insignificant, we must remember Jesus came to the widow in a time of desperate need, and he will come to us as well, even during our desperate Need reaching out to bless others around. Thank you, friends, relatives, for coming to bless the family of newborn. It's a great love. It's great grace. How I pray, may the love of God and the grace of God cover you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, it is only Jesus who can replace the despair of death with the hope of life. This is the only Jesus. God knows and understands the details of our situation. The woman was no stranger to sorrow. She had gone through that. When we are hurt, God hurts more. He understands our hearts. What a joy to know that God understands our heart. You know, we may say we know how our sister is feeling and how our brothers are feeling, but God understands how we are feeling more than the way we understand. My prayer is, may he understand and rescue you in Jesus' name. God will do unusual and crazy things to interrupt and change your situation. Friends, God is very intentional about dealing with your situation. That is why he says, don't weep. God's word is powerful. Let me tell you, friends, we might ask questions. Somebody has said, I still have questions to God. But friends, can I tell you something about God? Sometimes when God seems to be late, he is on time. We might ask ourselves, where was God when the plane was crashing? You know, where was he? Sometimes when God seems to be late, he is on time. Friends, allow me to tell you that sometimes when God seems to be absent in our lives, he is present. He knows, he understands, it does not get him into surprise. He was there. That is why he says even when you go deeper into the oceans, I am there. Even when you go higher to the heavens, I am also there. So what do we do? We just present ourselves to him because he knows us in and out. Friends, allow me to tell you that when God seems to be doing nothing, he is doing something. 
God is doing something on us. God is comforting us. The school I know we have lost. God is doing something on you. The family, God is doing something on you. The church, God is doing something on us. My prayer in Jesus' name. Sometimes, when God is silent, when God seems to be silent, he is speaking. Yes, God might seem to be silent, but he is still speaking. And maybe I can say, when sometimes God seems to be wrong, he is right. We might question why God allowed it to happen at such a tender age. You know, I know and I believe that many of us, we are young people. Such a tender age, 26 years. We might not fathom the understanding of God, but allow me to comfort you with these words. That when God seems to be wrong, he is always right. He knows. It's only that we, can fathom, we cannot fathom the understanding of God. And that is why he says, I need to give you the comfort. Let's allow God to comfort us. Immaculate. Allow Jesus to love you back. Sometimes we detach ourselves from God. We get bitter with God. But allow God to love you. Indeed, death stares at us. Death stares at us. But friends, allow us to be comforted by God. Allow me to say that weeping may tarry for the night. Weeping is a reality in a fallen, sinful, sorrowful world. There is sadness in this world the way we are sad today. You know, friends, things are not whole as they should be. There is mourning in this world. There is mourning in this family of Obote. Omote. There is mourning, I think, about the people I know who have lost precious loved ones who re over recent days. And I think about others I know who have been hurt in significant ways, you know, by relationship and things that have been done to them. And there is such grief and hurt and sorrow and sadness. Friends, allow me to tell you, weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes in the morning. The Bible records that Things that the Lord has prepared for us, no eye has ever seen it. Things that the Lord has prepared for us, no ear has ever heard about it. Things that the Lord has ever prepared for us, nobody has ever comprehended. The good things that we know that are in this world, nothing that we can compare to the things that the Lord has prepared to us. And that is why he says, let not your hearts be troubled. For I am going to prepare a place for you. And once I am done, I'll come for you. I'll pick you that where I am, you may be there also. Amen. What a promise. How I pray. May we stick to this promise of God, of Jesus. That one day when he comes with the trumpet of the sounds, where and what we are sharing, the grave, you know, and the coffin where we are going to lay our brother is not the hand. Amen. That is not the hand. The grave is not the hand. And Muslims can, con even they can uh, confirm this with me. Even the Islam, we believe and they believe that there is a new heaven. Amen. There is a heaven that God is preparing for us. When you ask even the Buddha and the Hindu, they will tell you that you know what? We even in our religion, we believe and we trust to karma, doing good things, doing good things for we believe this is the only thing that we can give to our blessed, to our people and to our relatives. When we go even to other religions, name them, you will find that there is something that they affirm. Can I read this one from one of the others who say that? This uh, uh, got my attention as we come now uh, for prayer. This is one man who is known as Jean Paul C. Sartre. And he says, I know I shall die in hope. Amen. He is an atheist, but he can attest that I want to die in hope. And he says, I know I shall die in hope, but hope needs a foundation. Atheist is speaking. Friends, Thank God we have a foundation, and our foundation is Jesus Christ. Maculate, your foundation is Jesus Christ. Friends and my brothers, Elphas, Crispus, our foundation is Jesus Christ. Cousins and friends and relatives, our foundation is where God is. As long as we are on Jesus' hands, we are safe.
May God bless us. May God comfort us. May God be with us. May God take care of us. May God sustain us. May God wipe away our tears. For he assures us that one day when the heavens and the, you know, the new heart and the new heavens will be there. He says, I will wipe away our tears. He will wipe away our tears. There will be no more death. No more sorrows. No more pain. No more hearts. No more coffins. No more hospitals. You know, for the former things will have gone. May you be comforted in these words. It is my prayer for you in Jesus' name. Albert Einstein says, learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. May we live for this hope that is, has been given to us in Jesus. Then Franklin Roosevelt says, we have always held to the hope, the belief, the conviction that there is a better life, a better world beyond the horizon. How I pray, may our eyes have the glimpse of this better world. May our eyes have the glimpse, you know, and our memories to this better world and the better beyond the horizon in Jesus' name. May God bless you. May God bless us. May God take care of us. May we be comforted by these words that indeed weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Jesus resurrected the widow's son. He gave back to her. This is an illustration of what will happen when Jesus will come. All the tombs, hata kama ulianguka na ndege, hata kama ulikuwa wapi, hata wale wanaanguka na ndege, they get to the ocean deep that nothing we can bury. Let me tell you when Jesus comes, even the oceans where our people have died, they have no power. Jesus has the power. We just call upon, arise, and they will come from where they are. Even those who burnt beyond recognition, when Jesus says, come up, they will come. This is the hope that we have in Jesus. It is my hope. May it be your hope in Jesus' name. I call upon um, our sister, uh, Immaculate, Elphas, come, Crispus, the cousins who have been here, the family members, just to come, our elders who are in this congregation, kindly come, we whisper a prayer, um, it will be so good, it will be so good. Pastor Stanley Machuma, just come, I'm so happy and glad to see you. We want to whisper a prayer to this family. And from where you are seated, because normally as we come to these prayers, this is the most important session. Just whisper a prayer. Just whisper a prayer to this family. Uh, ask God to bless them with the comfort. Yes, indeed, right now they are mourning. But how I pray, may joy come in the morning. Yes, we might not see newborn right now, but we are assured when Jesus will come, we shall see newborn. This is the assurance that we have. Friends, indeed, it is true that our Jesus and our God cares for us. All the holders, even in our congregation, just to come, we pray uh, for, for, for this family. Um, thank you so much, our elders. We can stand behind uh, the family. Thank you. Okay, one, two. Thank you. Um, Pastor Stanley, welcome. Um, we present this family to prayers. Elders, you can stand behind uh, the family. Uh, sisters, kindly just come, come, come here. Um, don't mind about the camera. Even elders, you can come this side. We just um, surround them. It will be so good. Thank you. Family members, take a heart. God is with you. It is not easy. It is not easy, but God is with you. Our pastor, Pastor Stanley Machuma, will pray, and then I will conclude. When we are doing that, congregation, whisper prayer. Whisper prayer. Whisper prayer to this family. Whisper prayer. We have a fundraise. Whisper prayer for it. We have a burial scheduled on Thursday. Whisper prayer about it. Whisper prayer even to the family, even to other family. Just whisper prayer to them. Even to the school, whisper prayer. I know we have been hurt. Whisper a prayer. With a prayer, everything is well. Let us pray. 
Our merciful and loving Father who art in heaven, it is only you and you alone who knows what is in the heart of Immaculate and the family members of the late son who has slept. Yes, there is a lot of bitterness and discouragement, but Lord, you have told us that a time is coming when joy will be in their hearts. Amen. For now, our prayer is, Lord, continue comforting them. Let them, they may, let them lose other things, but not hope. If we lose hope, we have lost everything. Yes. Our Father in heaven, thank you so, so much for your word. Because it is only your word which tells us the truth about our lives. There is a lot of uncertainties in our lives. There are many things which we do not know in our lives. One of them is why good people, close, closest people, loved ones are separated from their loved ones. Lord, Thank you for your word which says we may not tell, we may not know, but they have been saved from anything wrong which could appear, which could be uh, bad than, I mean worse than what has happened. It is hard. It is hard to comfort the bereaved ones. But Lord, thank you so much because you have given us your word which does a lot in our hearts. We pray for this family as they prepare for that day of their son to be put, I mean to be laid down, Father in heaven, we pray that you may be their closest friend. Other friends, we will be with them in absentia, but we know there is one who will be closer to them, and this one is Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ is, is always with you. May he continue keeping you and blessing you and comforting you. This is our humble prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Together with those prayers, our heavenly God and our Father in heaven, you are so gracious, so merciful, and so kind. How I pray may your compassions be restored, bestowed upon this family. For your compassions are new every morning. Oh, yes. Lord, how I pray, may these compassions be afresh. Even after the sorrow, after the tears, which may you do for a night. Lord, may these compassions come in the morning with the joy that you have promised. My prayer is that, Lord, may you comfort the wife to newborn in a special way, immaculate, their son, their brothers, their parents, the nephews, the nieces, the friends, even the school, the workplace where anybody used to work, and all of us who are here, Father, may you comfort us in a special way, Father. Because comfort comes from above in heaven. Lord, thank you because you resurrected the name, widow's son. Indeed, it was joy. For we believe that God, when you will come again, oh Jesus, you will resurrect all those who are dead and you will bring them. You will rejoin. It will be a moment of rejoining. Lord, how I pray. Father, may you give us this encouragement. May our hope rest in the resurrection morning where we will meet all our beloved friends, our brothers who have slept in the Lord. Thank you for the elders who are also praying in their innermost hearts. Thank you, Father, for the congregation who are also praying. Even as we also pray, I also pray for the logistics, the preparations to go and to lay, to rest our brother and our son. Father, may you give us success. The fundraise that is due tomorrow, may it be successful. Those who will be traveling, many of us, to home, and even back, Lord, how I pray, may you safeguard our travels, that we may be going well and coming back safely under your glory. Amen. 
Lord, may you secure us, save guard us from the evil one. And Lord, even during the material day, the burial day on Thursday, we call upon the Lord who may secure us too, that you may be with us, that everything will go on well as planned. Father, as the family comes into terms with the laws, Lord, may you remind them that they have to fix their eyes on you because this is where they can get their hope. Thank you, Lord, because you promised us not to let our hearts be troubled. How I pray, may you comfort them. Thank you for hearing. Thank you for answering. Lord, take care of us even as we go to our respective destinations. Safeguard us until we meet again. Our prayer and my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you. May God take care of you. May be held us. We can shake their hands. Then as we shake their hands, uh, held Isaac, Isaac, you can be doing announcement or our MC as we shake their hands. Those who wish to shake their hands, a representative from the 99th, you can come. We shake their family hands. I've seen friends, you can come. We shake their hands. Then from there, the program is over. I'm happy just coming to sit, even if you have not talked. God and Jesus, is, Jesus has recognized your presence. Kindly, may God bless you. Thank you for your love. May God bless you. May God take care of you. Thank you, Pastor. I want to call upon uh, my sister Susan to come and give a vote of thanks. Good afternoon once again. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for finding time to be with us since this happened. Most of you have been with us every evening for prayers, and we've spoken so much, and we feel comforted. We don't take it for granted that you took off your time today from work to come and mourn with us and comfort us. We sincerely appreciate. To the church, I think my brother said that, and I want to reiterate that you've You've fellowshiped with us, and you've touched many hearts. Not only us, but the other people that you have been interacting with. It gives us a reverence to remind ourselves that we belong somewhere, and the church is the foundation. We sincerely thank you. We know you're going to be with us through the process. We appreciate that. We don't take it for granted. To the Adventist men, we know you've done so much. You've talked so much about our brother, how committed he was. I believe you've given him a befitting send-off as the Adventist men. The women ministries, you've preached far and beyond. I have seen most of you dedicated coming to Siokimau every day, every day, and we really appreciate that. We thank you. To the children ministries, we appreciate your support. And you have a young member to nurture. And we believe that it will continue. We are a family founded family that is in church. So you will see a lot of us singing and giving praise. Not because you are praising of what has happened but what we know who God is. You saw a young man read a Bible, a verse this morning. I learned that from him, saying we continue the brotherly love. In time of grief, it is difficult. It is very difficult and there can easily be conflict. But whatever Iman read for us this morning, Hebrews 13 verse 1, is what that is going to continue encouraging us. To the school, we really thank you. You've seen us in our most vulnerable time. You've seen us broken. 
We've taken you through an emotional turmoil, but you've stood with us. Most importantly, to appreciate that the senior management, you from another religion that totally does things different. But it's humbling to see you sitting with us here. It's your commitment and your dedication. And we appreciate the 99 school. Colonel, you described my brother exactly so. A neat boy. Sorry, I call him a boy. He's a married man with children, with a child. But to me, he's a little boy because I brought him up. I'll miss most calling him Ayesokoro when I want him to do anything. So that description you heard from the school is exactly so. A neat, a neat guy who loved fine things. We thank you so much for the support. We thank you, the students. To the neighbors, Nairobi is having high walls, but the walls for Sionkimau were not there. You've been with us all through. We really appreciate all the support, all the care that you've given us. We don't take it for granted. I take this opportunity also to thank our friends who have been with us, who have spent time to come and mourn with us. We thank you for your presence. As a family, I want to say special thanks to two people. First, to Tatalamik. You've been a pillar to us. Even when you're our broken most. Thank you. To our auntie Thabita. We never call her auntie because we are almost age mates. We always joke. In fact, when you call her auntie, she doesn't even respond. She has been with us ever since and guided us and supported us. Auntie, even if we don't call you auntie, we give you the respect and we love you. And we thank you so much for the support and the guidance. I'll finally say a few announcements. Tonight, we're having a night's vigil and prayer at home in Siokimau. Uh, if you're able to, please join us. We want to fill the night and the heavens with song and hymn. Come with a candle, come with a flower, or just come. We'll be there from 6 to 10 p.m. Tomorrow, We'll have a fundraiser at Professional Center starting at 4.30. This is mainly to cover a few costs that come with the funeral arrangements, as you may know. It will be great to see you again supporting us. The family will be traveling home on Wednesday morning and in readiness for the burial ceremony on, on Thursday. We'll have a night vigil at home. We, have, we, we hope we'll have song and praise at home on, Thurs on Wednesday night. On Thursday, courtesy of the school, they will fly our brother's remains home. We'll have a funeral service at Rigoma Market, which is about a kilometer away from our home. And we'll then proceed home for the interment at 3.30. Those are the main things that maybe you need to take note of. And once again, thank you so much for mourning with us. Thank you, sister, for such an emotive uh, vote of thanks. You bear with us. We are a very jovial family. When we manage to do it, we can speak well but we are unable to do it right now, so you bear with us. Otherwise, we are, we are so uh, coherent when it's not such a hard time. You bear with us if we stammer or we miss anything. The choir will be doing uh, one last item as we live at uh, our own pleasure. Kindly take the stage. 
Thank you each and every one of you for your time and unwavering support, especially during these very trying moments. May God bless you. You are free to live as the choir presents. Keep it going. 
kulako kwa mahitaji yako usiache kumtafuta mokozi hata anapotelewa kukujibu usiofuka mwe atakujibu atakuacha kamwe atakupungukia alikupenda kwa pendo la gape asema omba ndugu omba kwa imani mungu anaona moyo ni atakujibu atakuacha kamwe atakupungukia alikupenda kwa pendo la gape asema omba ndugu omba kwa imani Mungu anaona moyo ni atakujibu Atakuacha kamwe atakupungukia alikupenda kwa pendo la gape asema omba ndugu omba kwa imani Mungu anaona moyo ni atakujibu Mataifa ya kashanga Moyo wangu wakutamani sana Fariji na mponya wa roho yangu Mungu mwenye nguvu siyashindwa Nani kama wewe Uliwapigania wa Israeli Walipokuwa safari ni kwenda kanani Kwa mkono odari ulichetemesha Mataifa ya kashanga Bwana Yesu ndiye mchungaji wangu nikiwa na Yesu fungu kiwima kitu matendo yake hayachunguzi kikamwe kamwe mikono ni mwake niko salama nikiwa na Yesu mimi sitaogopa kitu kamwe Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu ndiye mchungaji wangu nikiwa na Yesu fungu kiwima kitu matendo yake hayachunguzi kikamwe kamwe mikono ni mwake niko salama nikiwa na Yesu mimi sitaogopa kitu kamwe Bwana wewe ni kimbilio langu msaada wa karibu siku zote mwanga wako uniangazia kwenye njia zangu maadui wataponi inukia bawali wako wewe bwana unanificha jemendari yesu akiwa pande wetu jesi situmwogope nani bwana wewe ni kimbilio langu msaada wa karibu siku zote mwanga wako uniangazia kwenye njia zangu maadui Japoni inukia bawani mwako wewe bwana unanificha jemendari yesu akiwa pande wetu jesi situmwogope nani bwana yesu bwana yesu ndiye mchungaji wangu nikiwa na yesu fungu kiwina kitu matendo yake hayachunguzi kikamwe kamwe mikono ni mwake niko salama nikiwa na yesu mimi sitaogopa kitu kamwe Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu ndiye mchungaji wangu nikiwa na Yesu fungu kiwina kitu matendo yake hayachunguzi kikamwe kamwe mikono ni mwake niko salama nikiwa na Yesu mimi sitaogopa kitu kamwe Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu ndiye mchungaji wangu nikiwa na Yesu fungu kiwina kitu matendo yake hayachunguzi kikamwe kamwe mikono ni mwake niko salama nikiwa na Yesu mimi sitaogopa kitu kamwe and we want to commit everything to the Lord so that he can uh, uh, guide everything and control everything. Yeah. So uh, I want to pray to welcome our senior, Pastor Machuma, yeah. to give a word of comfort. Shall we believe and pray? Kind and loving master, we come before you. You are the master of storm and we are in a storm. Lord, come this storm. 
And we invite you in every program as we start, Lord, from here until we reach Kisi. We ask your journey masses, and as the man of God comes to speak, Pastor Majuma, may he speak words from you, words of comfort. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Pastor Majuma. <coughs> Uh, the family of the late friends and uh, church members uh, I'm here only to lead uh, a prayer which we are going to make as we leave this place for home so now it is not time for preaching but time to pray, to comfort the family as we live. <clears throat> One writer told me, or uh, advised me, when we pray, pray the word. Pray the word means pray what God says. Kwa hivyo tuko hapa, tuweze kuomba. Lakini there is a question I want us to answer from the word of God as we pray. This question is how long, how, how, how permanent, how strong are we as human beings? If we only know that when we encounter anything in our lives, we will know that our lives are not permanent are not permanent. Human beings, as human beings, we have many, many enemies. But the worst and the greatest of all is death. Death <clears throat> is an intruder. Death is an intruder. An intruder is something which comes between your program. Death comes at any time and it interrupts our programs. An intruder is something which comes and stops your plans and your plans and your future plans. Secondly, death is a, is a, is a, a terrorist. Death is a terrorist, meaning it attacks at any time. It attacks whoever it wants. Death is a terrorist. When it comes, it fears none. Death is no respecter of persons, my friends. Death does not respect who you are. Kifo akina ubaguzi, kifo Aki, akijali ni, wewe ni nani na hakuna mtu the word of god says from the book of uh, of psalm 89 psalm 89 uh, verse 48 uh, here are good words or a message we need to know as we mourn and as we also uh, wait for our day to come the bible says in psalm 89 verse 40, uh, 48. What man can live and not see death? Can, what man can deliver his life from the power of the grave? In another way, these words mean who is so strong for death? Who cannot die? Who has power to restrain himself or herself from the grave? None. None is so hard. Nobody is so hard for death. As I have told you, death is an intruder. Kifo kina uwezo na hakuna mtu hata mmoja atazuia kifo. Yes, all of us are prone to die. It doesn't matter which age you are. It doesn't matter what you have done so far. 
Each and every one of us, as human beings, we have our day to die. And nobody, not even bribery, nobody will say no. Nobody, there is no, no amount of money you can pay that you may not die. So as we live in this world, let us know that nobody is hard for death. Death is there to take all of us, except it takes us when your time reaches. Why? Because the answer, the last one I'm going to read is from the book of Job. Why are we dying? Job chapter 7, Job chapter 7 verse 5. The reason why all of us die the reason why our brother has died is that our days, as, we, as, as human beings, our days are swifter than our weaver's shuttle. Some of us have seen matatus which are written shuttle. Have you ever known what does that mean? It means it goes very swift. It goes very fast. Your life and my life is we our lives, our days are swifter than our weaver's shuttle and are spent without hope. Our days are spent without what? Hope. Hopelessness. It is only one way we can have hope in Jesus Christ. But without Christ, our lives are hopeless. Eh? It continues to say, sorry, uh, yes, it continues to say, my eye will never again see good. The eye of him who sees me will see me no more. While your eyes are upon me, I shall no longer be. Those who saw me yesterday, they will not see me today. Did you know that? When I listened to the testimony, Mrs. Uh, 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 Newborn said, she did not know when she left, when they left each other by, I mean, uh, with, the, with, the, with the, her husband, she did not know that he will not come back. Kumbe, it is a prophecy that death, can take someone whom we were with yesterday, who we talked with yesterday, but tomorrow we may not see him. Why? Because our lives are hopeless. They go very swift. Had we known that, my friends, had we known that, we could prepare for death. Because as we die, death is not the end. The grave is not the end. Jesus has promised us, as he died and he was resurrected, all who die in him, they will be resurrected. So family members, your beloved one, and also is our beloved one. Yes, he has slept one day, one time, you will meet him. For now, what we are supposed to do, my friends, is to commit our lives to Jesus Christ. Because we are not permanent in this world. We are not so hard for this enemy called death. So all the time we should know that it, it, it may meet us anywhere at any time because it is an intruder. It is a, also, it can attack whoever and whenever it, 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 it wants. So uh, my friends, as we prepare to leave for home, may God continue helping us that we may have hope that death which occurs to all of us is not the end. It's not the end. One time, one day, one morning, the one who is, who conquers faith, I mean death, who is above death will come and he will remove all corruption. He will remove all shame which death has brought to us. Death brings shame. It takes 
a father and leaves children. It takes a mother and leaves children. Death takes a husband and leaves a wife. Death leaves a wife and, uh, I mean, takes a wife and leaves a husband. When will this shame be taken? It is when Jesus will come again. So let us believe in Jesus and let us know that wherever we are, let us not be proud in any way. The lives we live, the bodies we have, are not permanent. They are temporary. God bless us. It's a lot when our beloved friends, relatives, our loved ones sleep in the sleep of death. Especially at such a time when we are mourning one of us, our young man, newborn. And Lord, we thank you because you have spoken to us in a special way. That for indeed, yes, death is inevitable. But Lord, you are giving us the courage and the encouragement and the hope <clears throat> beyond death. Hope beyond the grave. Hope beyond the coffin. Hope beyond the congregations of mourning. Hope beyond sorrows. Hope beyond pain. Hope beyond what we can see. And this is the only hope that comes from you, Father. How I pray the Lord, may you give this hope to Immaculate. May you give this hope to Eliphaz and his brother. May you give this hope to the dad of newborn, to the mom of newborn, cousins, you know, nieces, and all those who are closest friends and relatives of newborn. May you give them this hope that surely this death is not the hand. Indeed, we are starting our journey. Lord, we commit ourselves to your herbal hands, that you may lead us safely to our destination. All this is only to support them with the prayer. But Lord, be in charge. Lead us, Lord, until the end of it. Not only even after tomorrow when we have the burial, but for the rest of their lives, Lord, may you keep reminding them that one day when you come again, you, we will meet with our beloved ones. Thank you, Lord, for the friends, the relatives who have come in so large numbers so that we can give our brother a decent send off. May your name be glorified. Mm -hmm. Even as pastor prays, Lord, I pray that your mm -hmm. hope, the encouragement that comes from above in heaven will fill this family. You have promised us that blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. How I pray may this comfort be calm to each and every one of us. The Lord, even as we witness the death to our beloved one, may we also cling to this hope. May we cling to this comfort of Jesus. And we thank you because you have already done it. Bless the young one. Bless each and every one of us. My prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you for, your, for the word, I mean for your word, which you have left for us that it may comfort us and it teach us the truth. Thank you for you have told us. <clears throat> when, we know, when we will know the truth, the truth will set us free. Amen. How we thank you because you have told us that our lives are very short in this world. <clears throat> they are swifter as a shadow. And also you have told us that nobody, nobody, nobody is strong for death. Death is waiting for each and every one of us. So how we pray that whenever we encounter this death, Lord, let us know that the prediction which says that we will not live for long when we are in this world mm. until when you will change our bodies and give us new bodies and give us immortal, immortal bodies, that is when we will never die. But for now, let us have hope that whoever believes in you even if he dies, he does not die. Amen. Lord, let us fear only the last death which sinners will die. But today, what is happening is that we only sleep. Father, now we are starting our journey mm. for home. We pray that you may take care of us. Mm. We pray that you may save us from harm and danger <coughs> as we travel. And all, uh, all the family members who are here and others are not with us here, Lord, wherever they are, give them hope and courage. This is our humble prayer, for we pray trusting in the good name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It's okay, it's okay in the train.
It's okay, my dear, it's okay, it's okay. In the land of paradise, where there is no surprise, no sorrows, no worries at all. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay in the train. It's okay, my dear, it's okay, it's okay. In the land of paradise, where there is no surprise. Asante baba Mungu, uishie mahali pa juu, jina lako litukuzwe. Sifa na utukufu ni zako tangu mwanzo wa dunia hadi wakati huu. Ni wakati mwingine tunaenda kufanya kipindi kifupi cha kuwasha mshumaa, kuwasha taa ya newborn ambayo milana. Tunaomba utupatie moyo wa ujasiri, moyo wa kustahimili uchungu ambao unatukabili. Tunapofanya hivi baba yale yote ambayo tunanena hapa heshima ambazo tunatoa kwa haki za mwisho zikubalike hapa duniani pamoja na mbinguni utuongoze ni kwa Yesu Kristo tuomba na kuamini amen nadhani watoto wale ambao wameenda CBC wameniambia wanaweza kuona nini mimi mshumai naashiria nini imewekwa katika pattern fulani mpaka imetoa jina hilo jina ndio nataka munisomee jina lake limeandikwa pale. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha huyo ni mtu alikuwa amewaka. Alikuwa mtu wa maana sana kwetu, lakini amefanya nini? Ametuacha. Na kutuacha iko kwa kusudi lake, haikuwa kupenda kwetu, yani ilikuja ghafla. Na waswahili wanasema ya japo yapokee. Sasa vile yamekuja ndivyo tumeyapokea. Kwa hivyo tunataka tuangalie fungu moja ambalo litatutia moyo. Lakini kabla tuende pale wakati mtu ambaye ni mkubwa katika hii serikali yetu ya Kenya amelala. Huwa wanainua bendera nusu mlingoti, si ndio? Kama si nusu mlingoti, wakati tunaenda shughuli fulani wanapewa muda wa kusimama kama dakika moja kwa heshima yake. Sisi kwa sababu hatuko upande ule wa serikali, sisi tuko hapo kwa sababu ya upendo wa ndugu yetu. Ndio sababu tumeamua kufanya jinsi ambavyo tumefanya. Nyote mnafurahia ama kuna mmoja anakasirika? Kila mtu ame huzunika. Lakini ni furaha kupeana heshima kwa mtu ambaye anastahili heshima. Hiyo ndio jambo la kwanza. Kwa hivyo twende katika kitabu ambacho kinaitwa Muhubiri. Kulingana na Biblia ya Kikisi inaitwa Homoraandia. Na mzungu akisoma itasema Ecclesiastes. So, umurandia hiyo kumina moja, nitasoma fungu la saba, fungu la nane, hadi fungu la kumi. Kwa hivyo tutege masikio, tuweze kusikiza. Bibilia inasema hivi, kweli nuru ni tamu, tena ni jambo la kupendeza, macho kutazama jua. Saizi jinsi tulivyo hivi, ikiwa bahati mbaya, uondolewe macho yako. Utafuraia? Utafurahia? Hakuna mwenye atafurahia. Kuna kijana mmoja niliangalia kwa TV alikuwa anaitwa Sagini. Alitolewa macho na hakuzaliwa kipofu. Vile macho yalitolewa kweli yeye ni mtoto hakujua kwamba macho yamefanya nini. Alikuwa tu anaongea kila siku akisema nirudishie macho yangu. Ingewezekana arudishiwe? Hivyo ndivyo ilivyo wakati ambapo ulikuwa umezoea, umejipanga vizuri. Halafu Huyu mwenye mmejipanga na yeye vizuri ama huyu ambaye mnaishi na yeye kwa njia ambayo ni ya kupendeza anatoweka anafanya nini? Anakuacha. Unabaki kwa giza. Kuna yeyote anapenda giza kweli? Hata mchawi ambaye anakimbia usiku sikudanganyi. Apendi giza. Lakini anakimbia kwa giza kwa sababu hataki kufanya nini? Kujulikana. Hiyo ndio sababu. Lakini hata yeye hiyo giza haipendi. Kwa sababu Ukifuata vizuri kuna wakati ambapo wameshikwa mara kadhaa mahali fulani wameketi wamewasha taa wanaandika vitu yao sasa mbona basi wanawasha taa kama wao wanapenda giza 
inamaanisha hakuna mwenye anapenda nini giza hata mwizi chenye kinafanya anaiba uziku ni ni kukua ataki afanye nini atambulike kwa hivyo hata sisi hatupendi giza namu na vile ambavyo hatupendi kifo kifo ni mgeni asiye pendwa na wengi ama kuna mwenye anampenda ingekuwa kuna uwezo ndugu yetu apewe nafasi ya kukubali kuenda au kusalia angechagua nini kubaki hata mimi hakika ninasema nitabaki lakini jinsi ambavyo imetokea hatuna shaka tunaambia Mungu kama hivi ndivyo ilikuwa vyema machoni pako iwe hivyo halafu fungu hili linatuambia kuona nuru kweli ni tamu tena ni jambo la kupendeza macho kutazama jua hili jua ni haya maisha yako ambayo unaishi kila siku bila ambayo hata ikiwa ya shida ikiwa ya taabu lakini unaamuka kila ujao unashukuru Mungu kwa sababu unaona siku nyingine kisha natuambia na mtu akiishi miaka mingi na aifurahia yote lakini na azikumbuke siku zijazo za giza kwa maana zitakuwa nyingi mambo yote yajayo ni ubatili kuna mtu ambaye kweli anaweza kuwa ameishi miaka mingi sana katika hii dunia huyo mtu ameishi katika ile maisha ya kujifurahisha maisha ya kujigamba maisha ya kufanya vile ambavyo moyo wake unataka lakini huyo mtu tunapata kwamba siku zake za usoni ambazo tunaambiwa ni za giza zitakuwa mingi sana ni zile siku ambazo atakuwa anangojea nini hukumu yake kwa hivyo hakuna haja utamani kuishi miaka mingi duniani alafu uhusiano wako na Mwenyezi Mungu hauko sawa tukiangalia ndugu yetu Newborn hakika iwapo kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kusimama aseme kwamba huyo jamani nikosea kunaye kweli kunaye wewe jamani kwa wakupendwa hata kutoka penye mimi nilitoka kuna marafiki ambao waliniambia peleka rambi rambi zetu kwa sababu walisoma hii maneno kwa gazeti wakaona kwa tv kweli wakahuzunika sana hakuna aliyefurahia kwa hivyo tunaangalia kwamba hata ukipewa siku nyingi duniani kama uhusiano wako na Mwenyezi Mungu hauko sawa hiyo kazi yote ni ubatili Mungu anaweza akakupatia siku nyingi katika dunia heri akupatie siku chache lakini uhusiano wako na yeye huko sawa hivyo ndivyo tunaambiwa alafu jambo ambalo ninataka kutoa pale ni kwamba tukiishi katika hii dunia hatuwezi kusema uhusiano wetu na Mungu uko salama iwapo uhusiano na ndugu zetu tunaoishi nao ni mubaya inastahili sisi na ndugu zetu tupendane kwanza Uwezi kudai kwamba unampenda Mungu ambaye hujawahi kumuona, hujawahi kusikia hata sauti yake. Alafu ndugu yako mwenye mnaishi na yeye kila siku mnapita mnashughulika na yeye umupendi. Huo ni ukora ama uongo mtupu. Biblia inasema mupende jirani yako kwanza. Kwa hivyo ama kuna mwenye amewahi kumuona Mungu atuambia na valenga nguo kala gani? Hakuna kumaanisha huyu mwenye unaonanga kala mbaya ya nguo huyo ndio unastahili kupenda kwanza na ndio sababu Mungu akamweka akakuwa jirani yako hata kama hako na tabia ga... yani umupenda jinsi alivyo kuna wengine tunaangalia tunataka kujichagulia sura tunataka kuangalia rangi tunataka kuangalia mavazi hayo yote ni ubatili vile ambavyo Biblia imesema kisha tunaambiwa wewe kijana sasa wenye tumebaki hapa wengi ni vijana na hapa nikiangalia umati mkubwa ni wa vijana sasa tunaambiwa hivi ufurahie ujana wako na moyo wako ukachangamshe siku za ujana wako ukaziendee njia za moyo wako na katika maono ya macho yako lakini ujue wewe kwamba kwa ajili ya hayo yote Mungu atakuleta hukumuni yani kwa ufupi ni kwamba zichangamukie siku za maisha yako kuzichangamkia ni kufanya namna gani kutenda mambo ambayo ni mazuri yanayompendeza nani Mwenyezi Mungu haijamaanisha kujipendesha ni kwenda kufanya vitu ambavyo vinapendeza mwili wako Mungu alikuumba kwa sababu ya utukufu wake kwa hivyo anachotaka kutoka kwako ni kufurahisha yeye na kumfurahisha ni kutenda yale ambayo yanampendeza ama ambayo yanamkasirisha yanayompendeza. Kwa hivyo tujikaze siku baada ya siku, muda baada ya muda, tukue tukifanya nini? Tukifanya yale ambayo ni mazuri. Mazuri ni kama yapi? Jirani yako anaweza kukuazima kitu ambacho uko na uwezo wa kumsaidia. Msaidie kwa moyo 
mkonjofu mahali penye unaona unahitajika utoe msaada sio lazima uombe msaada toa nini toa msaada mahali penye unaona unaweza kutoa nguvu zako zitumike kuokoa hali lazima ufanye nini utoe hiyo ndio hali ambayo Mungu anasema wewe kijana ufurahie ujana wako hata wakati umetenda mambo mazuri wewe unaondoka ukiwa na furaha ama ukiwa na uzulika unaondoka ukiwa na furaha kwa sababu unajua lenye nimetenda nyuma halitaniletea nini dhiki bali litaniletea nini furaha kwenda mbele kwa hivyo ni vema tufurahie alafu akisema fuata mahitaji ya moyo wako yaani ukaziendea njia za moyo wako moyo wako Mungu wako kuumba ukue na moyo wa kutamani vitu vya duniani Mungu aliumba Adamu na Eva akaweka katika shamba la Edeni akiwa na lengo waishi milele na milele lakini kwa sababu ya upungufu wakaanguka baada ya kuanguka ndio sasa wakaanza kuwa na tamaa ya vitu vya wapi vya hapa chini lakini wewe sasa kwa sababu ni kijana mdogo you are growing unakuwa jiongeze 1 plus 1 inakuwa nini? 2. Lakini kuna wengine wanaongeza inakuwa 11. Hiyo ndio shida. Sasa usiongeze 1 plus 1 ipo 11. 1 plus 1 ni 2. So ukipiga hesabu yako vizuri hata Mungu atakuendeleza njia yako salama. Naam na ambavyo alimwendeza huyu ndugu yetu. He was a friend to everybody, si ndio? Huyu hakukuwa na bagua. Alikuwa anapenda kila mtu hata hawa watoto wadogo ukiwauliza kwa nini wako hapa huyo jamaa alikuwa rafiki wa kila mtu na wewe je sasa jiulize swali wewe unafaa kila mtu ama wewe unajifaa wewe peke yako sasa hapo hilo ni swali ambalo utaenda ujiulize usiku ukiwa melala utapata jibu ukipata jibu i think you will do what is necessary si ndio itakuwa sawa alafu mwisho tunaambiwa hivi kwa hiyo ondoa majonzi moyoni mwako nawe uondoe ubaya mwilini mwako kwa maana ujana ni ubatili na utu uzima pia kwa hivyo hakuna kitu kizuri ukue kijana ukue mtu mzima hiyo yote ni bure what hiyo jambo ambalo tumeambiwa la muhimu hapa ni kwamba tuondoe majonzi moyoni mwetu majonzi na maanisha huzuni tuondoe huzuni katika mioyo yetu kweli ndugu yetu ametuondokea tuko na huzuni mwingi sana hakuna aliye na furaha hapa Hakuna ali hata mwenye alikuwa anajitai kuwa adui yake saa hizi penye yako pengine anaendelea kutetemeka kwa njia moja au nyingine kwa sababu hali ambayo ilitupata sio ile ambayo ni ya kawaida kwa hivyo ondoa majonzi moyoni mwako huyo ni biblia inasema na mwenye anasema ni mtu ambaye alimwomba Mungu akampatia hekima kupita mtu yote duniani so yeye yeah, anaongea kutoka experience alafu pili wewe ni mtu alikuwa anatawala anajua mambo vile ilikuwa kwa hivyo tuondoe majonzi mioyoni mwetu tutaondoa namna gani sasa hilo ndio swali tutaondoa namna gani ni kumtegemea Mwenyezi Mungu huyo ndiye mfariji mkuu alafu nawe uondoe ubaya mwilini mwako sasa ubaya mwilini mwako sio kitu kingine tutoe mawazo mabaya katika mioyo yetu tutoe fikra mbaya kwa mioyo yetu tuwapende jirani zetu zi vile ambavyo tunajipenda tuwaangalie wengine vile sisi tunajiangalia sisi wenyewe enda uweke kioo ujiangalie uone jinsi ulivyo hivyo vile unajiona we uko sawa mwenye unamuona pale mwingine pia muone yako sawa vile wewe ulivyo usiwe mtu wa kubagua tukue na upendo hizi ni nyakati za mwisho dunia inaendelea kufanya nini kuisha Tukisoma ishara ama dalili za siku za mwisho tunaambiwa kutatokea na mambo mengi ya ajabu ambayo yatashtua wengi. Hili jambo zilimeshtua wengi. Kenya mzima watu wangepewa nafasi ya kufika hapa kuhudhuria mazishi ya newborn wangefika. Wangepata njia ya kufika hapa. Hawangekosa kufika. Lakini kwa sababu ambazo hatuwezi tukazielezea tunampatia bado Mungu utukufu. Tukumbuke ndugu yetu Ayubu vile aliteseka. Paka watoto wake wote wakakufa. Lakini kwa yote tunaambiwa hakuwahi sema lolote lililo kuwa baya kwa nani? Kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Hata sisi tusiseme lolote baya. Kuna maswali mengi ambayo tunajiuliza sana. Lakini haya maswali hatunajibu Mungu mwenyewe yako na majibu. Na hatuwezi kukalisha Mungu kumupiga maswali. Mungu atatujibu haya maswali atakaporejesha ufalme 
wake na wangapi pamoja nami wanasema kwamba huyu Mungu ambaye anatuwezesha huyu Mungu ambaye anatupatia nguvu huyu Mungu ambaye anatubariki huyu Mungu ambaye anatuimarisha atuwezeshe tuondoe mwili mchafu uchafu au ubaya ndani ya mili yetu ni wangapi pamoja nami Unajua ukinua mkono inamaanisha umeapa. Ikiwa ni opposite wende ufanye kinyume, Mungu anatuanga kiboko na kiboko chake sio hichi chenye mtu anachukua hapa kwa miti anakuchapa inavunjika. Ya Mungu inakuanga kali. Na ionekani lakini utakapokuja kugundua ni kiboko ya Mwenyezi Mungu that is when you will realize. Si ndio? So tusimame kwa sababu ya heshima ya huyu jamaa wetu. Tusimame. Tunataka kuomba tukiendelea kuomba tunaweza kuwekewa wimbo mzuri yule ambao unatuandaa mawazo yetu kwa maombi hiyo muda ya dakika mbili hivi ni ya kuondoa haya mawazo mabaya katika mioyo yetu ni ya kuondoa fikira mbaya katika mioyo yetu ni ya kujiombea kama kuna kitu chochote kibaya katika maisha yako kifanye nini kiondoke hizo dakika mbili ndizo hizo tumepeana tuwekeka wimbo kamoja Sing thy wondrous love of Jesus Sing his mercy and his grace In thy mansions bright and pleasant He'll prepare for us a place When we all get to heaven Won't our day Rejoicing that will be when we all say Jesus will sing and shout a victory. Asante. Tunaendelea kujiomea kisiri siri usonde kuna ubaya utoke katika maisha yetu. Asante. Naamini tumeongea na Mungu, tunaambiwa Mungu anaona kwa siri na dhahiri. Kwa hivyo lolote umemwambia kwa siri analisikia, lolote ambalo umemwambia kwa dhahiri anafanya nini? Anasikia. Tunataka kuomba sasa. Tunataka kuomba. Baba Mungu wa mbinguni, jina lako litukuzwe. Ufalme wako uje iwe hapa duniani kama ilivyo mbinguni ni wakati mwingine tumesimama kwa miguu yetu tukiomba msamaha wa pekee kwa dhambi ambazo sisi tunafanya siku baada ya siku kwa maneno yetu kwa vitendo vyetu kwa mawazo yetu baba tunaomba msamaha uwe mwelekezi wetu kwa kila jambo uwe mwelekezi wetu kwa kila wazo uwe mwelekezi wetu kwa kila neno baba wewe ambaye unashinda vyote tunakualika sasa hivi Simama pamoja nasi na uweze kutushindia. Tupatie faraja ya kipekee. Tupatie nguvu za kustahimili magumu ambayo tunashuhudia. Baba tupatie moyo ambao utakuwa ni wa kukimbilia kila wakati tunapopatwa na magumu kama haya. Jina lako baba liweze kutukuzwe. Asante kwa sababu umetuwezesha tukutane na asante kwa sababu baba umetupatia nafasi ya wakati huu. Angalia hali ambayo tupo kwayo Hakuna ajie na furaha hata mmoja ni kwa sababu ndugu yetu Nimbo ameondoka duniani. Baba tunaomba kwamba utakaporejesha ufalme wako itakuwa vizuri kwetu tupatane pamoja naye tukikulaa kimawinguni. Baba tuwezeshe kila mmoja. Fungu la Biblia limetuambia baba tuondoe mawazo mabaya katika mili yetu. Ubaya tuondoe katika mili yetu. Sisi wenyewe hatuwezi. Tunakualika Yesu uweze kutusafisha kwa damu ya mwana kondoo ili tufai machoni pako tutende yale ambayo yanakupendeza ili baba tujiandae kwa sababu ya ufalme ule ambao umetuandalia na si kwetu peke yake tukitembea katika pembe nne za dunia mahali pengi baba watu wanaomboleza wanalia kwa kuwapoteza wapendo wao tunaomba pia watembelee unapotufariji nao pia uwafariji Tukumbuke sote na uandike majina yetu katika vitabu vyako vya uzima wa milele. Baba sote utuandae kwa kila hali na kila njia. Iwapo kuna mmoja mingoni mwetu 
hao wawili ambao wanatamani baba kukufuata milele na milele wameinua mikono wamesema kwamba wako na hamu ya kuondoa ubaya katika mili yao baba wawezeshe kuwatie nguvu kuwapatie nafasi ili wasikose nafasi katika ufalme wako usiku huu tunakualika ulale pamoja nasi uendelee kutufariji hadi tutakapomaliza sherehe yetu ya ndugu yetu baba tumechachilia mikononi mwako utubariki vile ambavyo umekuwa ukitubariki tangu awali ni kwa Yesu Kristo toaoma na kuamini amen thank you so much Gideon for that encouraging message and uh, prayer at uh, this time allow me give uh, two three people uh, give their tributes and uh, I'll start with uh, sister John kindly I mean it to pay your tributes good evening na chukua wakati huu anakisema ya kwamba tumempoteza newborn but plans za Mungu ama mipango ya Mungu kwetu hatuielewi lakini Mungu mwenyewe anajua i know that god has plans so that sisi ambao tuko hai tuweze kubadilika katika maisha yetu na tuweze kufanya yale matendo ambayo ni mazuri kulingana na vile mwanzangu amesema kutokana na message ya this evening tujitayarishe kwa sababu anytime we are dying and what i know is that one statement ambayo mtu mmoja alisema ni ya kwamba everyone is old enough to die yani kila mmoja wetu ni ni akwatseme ni mzee enough to die right like uh, hata ukiwa mtoto mdogo na wana kama wana kajia rasimi ni sometimes unaona mtu anazaliwa na anafanya nini anakufa so meaning that everyone is old enough to die so let's all be prepared be it you are a very young child be it you are maybe a youth we when maybe uh, an elderly person just let's be prepared we prepare our ways by doing that which is right but what i know is that newborn uh, alikuwa mtu mzuri sana very kind yani kijana baya hana mambo mengi actually kifo chake kilitushtua sana and that shock see you in kama wengine baada waja heal but god is there god will comfort us thank you thank you so much newborn that lives newborn alikuwa mtu wa watu newborn was a go getter akitaka kitu you should go for it uh, allow me also to give a chance to uh, our brother mamani to say our brother mamani good evening uh actually i don't know where to start especially when i'm given a chance at this time uh for me newborn was like a brother and especially when i i imagine imagine that newborn is no more it hurts me than anything else can hurt i know anyway i know god god has plans god has reason for reasons for anything that happens when i was growing up uh anyway when i was growing up uh, a family of two where i only have a sister i i could uh, actually go to the to the new one's place at amabuko if many many people you know know, know it so uh, at least i could feel that brotherly love we could go play together amabuko secondary school there we played dance there we could go do many things together newborn really became a mentor to me at a very young age uh i can't imagine that newborn is, is actually gone it's a dream it's a dream that maybe one day i wake up to find it's a it not uh, it, it being a dream anyway but if god anyway decided to take newborn at this time he had seen that newborn had done enough to listen I can say one thing that Newborn was a God-fearing person. 
and this is what I, I want to encourage uh, my brothers and sisters. Let's stick to God. Let's always ask God anything in prayer. Let's learn to make friends like newborn men. Newborn was a man of the people. Uh, we can see it from every 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 news that comes from every part of the country. People eulogizing newborn from various parts of the world. Let's learn to live with a, a good heart. Uh, let's let's actually emulate what our brother was at a very young age, 25 years. And someone has gone milestones ahead. Someone has the art of some of, of a, a old person. Someone who can assist, who can, who can get to give you even advice. Who can advise someone older. We've lost a hero. We've lost a young man whose ambitions were yet to be accomplished. But God has, God has been there for us. God has never ashamed us. But in this one, it's a painful one, but God has a way out for us. I know when we all get to heaven, as the song goes, we will meet new one. Yeah. Thank you. Allow me also to invite our, our brother Eric to give his tributes. Brother Eric Karibu. Thank you. I'm Eric. First things first, I want to say sorry. Um, God knows why the thing is too hard. One thing I remember, newborn, we grew together. Newborn was a good friend a good neighbor. They are Tamabuko. I don't know how to say, but our home is on the right or on the left, and their home is on the right or on the left. We were just an immediate neighbor. Every morning when I wake up, when we were young, we used to say hi. We used to play from little boys, little guys. Until now, education separated us, but we were used to meet holidays, outside and everything. Newborn was a dedicated man of God. And God knew why he made a choice to take him to her like this, leaving behind a young family. But God knows the reason why. I don't have much to say because it's... I can't say a friend, but I want to say Newborn was like a brother to me. Because we grew together, playing games, riding bicycles. Because I remember when we were riding bicycles at Amabuko, uh, that street before it grew up, there were only two guys who have a bicycle. It was Newborn and another guy there. But now Newborn is no more. We have to open a new page. We have to accept and move on. But I want to give you a verse. Go and read. It can help us. Revelation 14, 13. It tells us that, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yeah, send the Spirit that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. May you rest in peace. No one will love you so much. Continue flying high and high, no one. Allow me also to invite uh, Osborne to pay his tributes. Osborne. It's a bit uh, <coughs> overwhelming in my heart because uh, newborn, if I can remember when he used to come out of our place, the first thing he could ask for where is uh, Osborne, where are the my cousins? At least we, we were we used to go to this is a place we used to play football. Before he leaves, he used to come over there. We play after that. At least 
He used that sense of like, we as last bonds, because newborn was the last born. And that our family, I'm the last born to both. So he used to say like, Mokogoti, usione like, we went on, we should have a kusema kwa i familia. What we should do as a family? Try, at least we strive in one, at least in that lane, we all being comfortable to be cousins, to be brothers, to be last borns at large. But now, this tragedy, uh, tragedy, it's like a shock to me. It's quite overwhelming. In my heart, I'm really tormented. Like, my question to God is like, how did he accept newborn to leave us? during this time when we needed him the most. If God could, could don't answer that question to me, at least, this dream of newborn leaving us, it will turn value to me, at least. It will comfort me. But right now, it's quite bad. If I remember from the quote I used to, to use in school, that is on Isaiah 4210. Fear not, for I am with you, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will uphold you, strengthen you with my racial right hand. That one at least keeps me close to God. But the fear I have, if newborn left us, then nobody will not live in this world, because newborn was like uh, an iron mass. Someone who was focused, Someone who had that heart, that heart to move on in everything that seemed to be that difficult. But now, what can we do? We have to prepare ourselves. Because newborn is like our marching skin. If, uh, if God allowed newborn to leave us, then we all, we are on a journey. That's what I can say. Sorry, brother. It's difficult. Ngumu sana, pachaya yote tunamuachia mungu. Uh, kuna mze na rafiki yetu sana hapa kwa kijiji. Uh, mze Benjamin, karibu sana. Kengisi ya wa. Amuchamba nyote. Amuchamba tena. Kumajina na ito Benjamin. Kwa roko, amuchamba kwa nyumbani. Yupen, mtoto yetu, hapa nyumbani. Baba ya Yupen. Amini, imandu. Kuyo naambia wa weni wetu, nikuwe free, hapa ni mbani, kuwe kama kwenye. Mishikuni wazi wazi, masema karikuni. Asante. Mishikuru sana. And uh, lastly, uh, allow me to invite our sister Sharon, so that uh, she also gets to give her tributes. Sister Sharon, welcome. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Sharon. Um, growing up, I did not have a sister, so I, I grew up with my brother Amon, and his playmate was newborn and the rest of the friends. So, <coughs> the, this incident has broken us really, and we have so many unanswered questions that we cannot, we don't know how to go on with life without him and it's so sad that just the other day some few years ago to Natembea Kona Memora, me, new boy and the rest and now that he's he was very close to achieving his dream he's not here it's really not fair but we leave it to God uh, Eric had uh, some condolences. Eric, thank you. Thank you. I have some condolences from our friends that we grew together. Some didn't manage, but some will come tomorrow. Others are behind. We have come with them, with Jim and Joshua. They are together. That was our group we used to grow up with people. The group that grew up with newborn, including Christmas. I can see Elphas was also our mentor. Elphas is a little bit above us. 
but our members are, will come tomorrow, but let's be together. Let's keep that spirit that Lubon had. Lubon was the last born in their family. I'm also the last born in our family. So let's grow together. Let's grow that spirit of living in church and believing in God the way Lubon used to. He used to love God and trust in God the way God gave his life in church. And that's why we always believe in church because God is always there. May rest in peace from our members. There are 12 of us. We'll see them tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks so much, brother. And that's crown it all. Allow me. Oh, sorry, sorry. Our brother, the, the brother Lord to your body is here. Kindly allow me also to give him some time to pay his rebuilds. Can the son say also in please? Thank you so much. A good Good evening, family. Uh, my name is uh, Christmas Moseti Orori. Uh, uh, foremost, before newborn became uh, more closer to our family uh, in terms of being an in law, uh, he was my friend, my family's friend. Uh, the way Brother uh, Eric has put it, he's a person of whom we've grown with. Although he was younger than us, but he was in our group because the kind of uh, ways he used to carry himself, the kind of ideas he had, they were a bit mature. Even up to this moment, uh, to this moment when he rested, there's much, as far as, as far as I was older than him, there's much that I, I really liked and picked from him. And I also I would like to share with you because it would be very prudent to have him uh, light our hearts always. And these words were very key. They've been pushing me and pushing his mountains in my way. One was first impression is the last impression. I remember that when he told me when we were going to a given office and the way he tackled, he represented uh, what he wanted for, from the office till we were able to break the ceiling and reach the top management of the institution, a government institution, the, the words were really correct. And if you use that the same way that one of us had put it before, that he was a fearless man, he was a go-getter. So in life, have it like the first impression you make in everything. Be good, it's because of the first impression he made to us of being good, of being smart. That he became likable to all caribers of people, both young and old. Two, be kind. Sorry? Be kind. Be kind to everybody, irrespective of the social classification irrespective of the age, be kind, be good. Lastly, be prayerful. Be ready to assist where you can. If it's somebody you know or somebody you don't know, but if you have the ability to assist, assist. Thank you so much. May you continue resting in peace. But I believe he's watching over us. And you'll be very happy that we continue his ways of living, ways of living. Be like Inyongo, mtu wakiwa na shida na kuambia pa ni shida, rekebisha, tusonge mbele, kuna Kinyongo. Thank you so much, God bless us. Santa Sala. Uh, lastly, let me give uh, our brother Mbati, I mean, and also to the students. <coughs> I know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to give only give only Mbati so that we start another process, another program. Karibu. Thank you. At times, it is difficult to see when I want to lose somebody in your life, to lose whom you share and everything. 
newborn. We have grown together. Despite that he was somehow younger than me, newborn is more than a brother. Newborn could skyfold your mind and newborn could tell you what you are supposed to do. I wish we had one of our brothers by the name Obed Kite. Obed will tell you that one day newborn told him if you want to be successful in life, you must get out of that kiosk. You must get out of that kiosk. Obed is an entrepreneur. So newborn used to pass along and pick some calls. So newborn told Obed, if you want to be successful in life, you must get out of that kiosk. If Obed knew what Yuba was saying, he could get out of that kiosk. Newborn had told me we start doing farming and in particular poultry. Tukona mbata, tukona bata mzinga, kuku, efitu zingine zinye tulikuwa tumefanya na newborn. Newborn, to some extent, during maybe his last moments, Newborn had called me and told Albert, lazima tufuge panya. Let me put it in the first language. Newborn called me and told me, Albert, agacha, igesumu, kwa agacha turu, and enta itutubichi mbewa. Some of you will not understand the importance of that thing or how that thing is being done. Little did I knew that newborn was the departing. I could have made him early. We have shared more and newborn had set standards. So it is up to us kindly to share from what he had done or what he had achieved in life so that we can also make some strides from where we are. At this time, I'd like to say that newborn had set standards and for us to be successful in life, we must get out of that kiosk. That is the motto that newborn has left me with. Have a blessed evening. May the soul of newborn rest in peace. Thank you so much. Once again, I appreciate you so much, brothers and sisters, our neighbors and friends, for coming to consult with us. We are so much grateful. Um, allow me to, uh, I think we need to move to the same stage, that is uh, candle lighting. And uh, before we go to that uh, stage, I wish to invite the DJ to play for us the song. Um, yeah,
will have a closing prayer. Mom, give the photo of thanks. Okay. Thanks so much for giving me this opportunity to be amongst you, our children, and all the visitors who have just come to condone with us. First and foremost, we thank our Lord so much for his love, care, and protection since that time. Our beloved son, Nyopon Mokayo Mote, passed away through that tragic aircraft crash. Here we are today. You have come and lit the candles. Our children, how wonderful you are. Let this union continue. As, you, as long as you continue living in this world, our children join hands together and make this light continue, lighting and comfort our your uncle and aunt and your cousins and all the relatives who have just come this way so far since he passed away. Many, many people have come to console this family and we do thank them and hope that tomorrow all will be well. As we go, let us continue praying for this family till the time when Jesus will come and take us to that glorious home where we will stay forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much, Mom. Um, before I give a chance to Brother Gideon, hopefully that tomorrow, we meet at a rigoma so that's a uh, we say bye to Leobon. We can be sure to tell to put a rigoma for that last ceremony. Uh, Brother Gideon, you can lead us uh, through that song. Iga is a yoke that we pray for us. Tera wai tu tu nalete, tiga kera eta ya yoke, oh sun ten ho cha ore, mo sun te wen se o mo ne ne, o ne ne na tara cha, ro sia chita. Nanya sai, alion sai itu arolire, 
Hanya saya tu asal milik orang se umur orang itu awat itu nak kejiga, pokoknya ni dia buat tu itu dia, mui kau macam tu, abu mual mui tu kerja kerja. Tu asal beri ni saya kerja orang mula iya, itu ni ayo kan dia kau iya kya, atau sihir ni saya singin jin tu na balau, tu ni ada buat cik kita aje itu, cik aku buat kono muka so, buat itu asal beri kau ni dia, buat itu asal kau ni ana, buat itu asal kau ni ni, no aku masih kenyur ni saya, na aku ni saya. Tu abe kiri abang tu orang si abah ada se umu sanggiri kanu ega abah umu mati dengan saya betul betul tiom malembe okey ni rekom malembe tiom mana nasi cincor itu abu cincor ke cincor tu jadi tu kan eh kemu beri kalian dah semua ikan yang saya tu boyo tu bawa tu asal beri yang saya eh keroa ini ni urut ibu aku keroa umu rasa umu rovel itu ikan yang saya tak macam aku tu kasih kita aku keli kau gimana yang saya abah ibu lewat itu Abang abang minto, na balik ni saya bawa si abang ni rekomen ni asal ikut kau ni se, tu asal beri kerja orang mo, orang ni rekomen aku kuliah, baru setinggi cerita ciao, cikgu ni re asal guru tiba aku, ni saya tu itu kita asal, aku koru orang cakap kuasa sama gimana itu, tu asal beri asal beri kerja Kristus yang orang mo boleh itu. Amen. Thank you so much friends, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you, God bless you. We meet tomorrow. Namani 
Ure oyo konda Ase nyancha Eme chando Eme rindo Eme chando Yesanda e On simbu ya
come to the end of life's journey And perhaps we'll never meet anymore Till we gather in heaven's bright city Far away on that beautiful shore If we never meet again This side of heaven Hearts we struggle through this world And it is tries There's another meeting place Somewhere in heaven Somewhere in heaven By the side of the river of life Where the charming roses bloom forever And we separations come no meet again this side of heaven I will meet you on that beautiful shore They say that we shall meet by the river Where no storm clouds ever darken the sky And they say that we'll be happy in heaven In the wonderful sweet by and meet again this side of heaven hearts we struggle through this world and it is tries there's another meeting place somewhere in heaven by the side of the river The charming roses bloom forever And we separations come no more If we never meet again This side of heaven I will meet you on that beauty show I've stopped it on a journey to a land far away I feel like going home and I know I will reach there some glad day Awa <laughs> Be your mano.
Tafadhali tunatangaza tunajua kwamba idadi ni kubwa lakini tunataka tu kutangaza kwa unyekevu mkubwa kwamba kwanza karibuni lakini hata hivyo tunasema kwamba familia ile nuclear wanakaa hapa na kwa sababu sasa vile hali ilivyo tunaomba tu kwamba wengine ambao wanataka kuamkua wasiwaamkue saa hizi wawaamkue baadaye hivyo basi tutoke hapo kama wewe si nuclear family tafadhali tu tunaomba nenda utawamkua baadaye tunajua kuna majonzi kuna mambo mengi ambayo ya woga na kwa sasa watu waache tu watulie hilo ni tangazo la kwanza tangazo la pili ni kwamba hatuoni mwili hiyo basi wote tutulie kwa ajili ya vipindi vinavyofuata nilipotangaza mwanzo nisema kwamba program hii tutaiharakisha kwa sababu ya usafiri ambao uko mbele zetu kwa sasa wenzangu ambao mko pale na waomba tu kwa unyekevu mkubwa kwamba najua ninyi ni waimbaji wetu tutulie tutulie kwanza tutawaita baadaye kule ni Homa Bay County hapo uh, hema hizi mbili ni za Homa Bay County hapo ni marubani wetu na wote hizo hema mbili zinazofuata na wote ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi na aliye lala mtoto wetu Newborn na hizi hema zingine ni za familia familia mnajijua nyote hapa ni nuclear lakini hapa ni familia ile kubwa ile pan alafu hapa Homa Bay wataungana na kikundi cha 1990 wale waliosoma na ndugu yetu uh, umote hapa ndio nuclear family na wachungaji wachungaji watakaa hapa wote hiyo basi kama we ni mchungaji na upo pale fulani njoo hapa tutakutafutia kiti na sehemu hii yote ni ya kwaya zetu kwaya zetu viti vitaletwa na baadhi yetu ambao tumesimama tutapata hivyo viti kwa ajili ya kukaa kwa sasa ninawaomba kwamba that's why i say that we sit na waomba kwamba tumuite mchungaji wetu atulete neno devotion summonate my dear pastor welcome
Tusitoke hapo tusitoke tafadhali tulikuwa tumeanza kwa ombi wakati ule mkutano wa mwanzo mwanzo na sasa hivi namwalika basi mchungaji aombe rasmi tuanze mkutano huu mkubwa tafadhali mchungaji na mtaimba tunaomba utulivu tuombe baba yetu na Mungu wetu uliye juu mbinguni Tunakushukuru tena tunakushukuru sana asubuhi ya leo kwa maana safari zote zilizokuwa zinaelekea mahali hapa katika uwanja huu baba tumefika tunaomba utulivu katika mioyo yetu wakati kama huu wa manjozi na machozi na uzuni na uchungu rohoni tunakuhitaji baba wewe mufariji mwema Neno lako ambalo linakuja kutufariji wakati kama huu mwanadamu hana, hana neno la kusema kwa sababu sote tumeguzwa lakini wewe Mungu ukosi la kutuambia mtumishi wako anapoleta neno litufikie mahali tulipo katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini amen Wapendwa kwaya ni nyingi na uimbaji ndio utakuwa mwingi. Hiyo ni kusema kwamba mchungaji ambaye amefungua sasa tutaanza nyimbo na vipindi vingine. Kwa sasa naomba kwamba kikundi cha Omo Busuri. Omo Busuri. Waje waimbe. Haya. Asante asante mfawidhi mwenza uh, kundi lililotoka hapa ndilo la Omo Busuri na Arifiwa naomba tupate matangazo mawili matatu yataka tusaidia kabisa katika kuelekeza mkutano wa leo tangazo la kwanza ni kwamba tafadhali ninawaomba kabisa mtapata muda wa kutosha 
kufariji familia. Tunapoendelea na mkutano hautaruhusiwa kusalimia wanafamilia kwa sababu mkutano huu umewekwa rasmi kwa sababu ya kuwafariji na hivyo tunavyoendelea kutoa maneno na mawazo yetu na nyimbo na fungu ni mahususi kwa sababu ya familia hivyo hautaruhusiwa kwa sasa kuzungumza na wana familia tafadhali kama unania hiyo utapata nafasi hiyo baadaye kwa sasa haitawezekana tangazo la pili hatutapata muda wa kupatia kila mmoja wetu kuzungumza muda mwingi tulio nao ni wa kuleta nyimbo na fungu na ombi hivyo ukipewa nafasi tafadhali fanya lile ambalo umeulizwa kufanya tunao takriban uh, ni sali mbili hivi ili tumalize mkutano huu kwa sababu una ratiba iliyo uh, banwa sana hivyo tusaidiane kwa uh, sehemu hiyo tutakuwa tukitumia lugha ya Kiswahili kidogo sana na lugha ya Kiingereza kwa wingi kwa sababu kuna ndugu zetu marafiki wanao uh, fuatilia mkutano huu kupitia kwa njia ya mtandao ambao hawaelewi wala kufahamu lugha ya Kiswahili hivyo kikisi hakitatumika haki kwa leo tutatumia Kiingereza na Kiswahili na sana sana tutatumia Kiingereza wale mlio karibu na wana, wanaoelewa e, kikisi peke yake tukiongea Kiswahili tafadhali muwasaidie kwa kufanya uh, tafsiri hiyo nadhani hilo liko sawa sawa heaven targeters mko wapi mje upesi na wanapokuja na naomba kutambua uwepo wa washiriki wa kanisa la Amabuko mko wapi kama mpo pamoja nasi Amabuko mkia maoko iganga mwacha ruge iteri kuigwe kando dhati kusioka hao walioinua mikono ni wanachama na washiriki wa kanisa la Amabuko uh, tukipata muda tutawapatia tusipopata lakini jihisi kwamba mmekaribishwa asante sana wanakwaya na wash, watu waliotoka Nyamira marafiki wa Aunt Anne watu wa Nyamira ngai morekorango iganga mwacha watu kutoka Nyamira hawajafika kae eh mchungaji matitoko rotarabo goli kocha maega nya sai tabe gete maiso a karibu sana na asante kwa kuja kutu fariji a Muna uhuru wa kuimba nyimbo mnazotaka lakini kwa ombi langu na amri na mamlaka niliyopewa naomba muimbe wimbo unaosema Emerindo It's a song that uh, resonates so well with this uh, very occasion Oh, 
tete Goseme Yokuya nyachate Gotomera Bonene na togo Nyere merindo Matera, mungu ye nyancha Wirumbeli kosira, mwarebe oko irana Nimtere ongo gano, wawawo iwa ye Nimeno mwago ko ema mbya engia Naigure ya matera, mungu ye nyancha Wirumbeli kosira, mwarebe oko irana Nikere ongo gano kwa wangu iwa ye Nimeno mwago ko ema mbya engia Korwa ikoro tuwa ikure ryogi Yomo nende yeso otwa nchete Goseme yokuya nyachate gotomera Mwanende na togo nyere merindo Korwa ikoro tuwa ikure ryogi Yomo nende yeso otwa nchete Goseme yokuya nyachate gotomera Mwanende na togo nyere merindo Korwa ikoro tuwa ikure ryogi Yomo nende yeso otwa nchete Goseme yokuya nyachate gotomera Mwanende na togo nyere merindo Korwa ikoro tuwa ikure ryogi Yomo nende yeso otwa nchete Goseme yokuya nyachate gotomera Mwanende na togo nyere merindo Asante Heaven Targeters for such a wonderful performance. I call upon uh, Aunt Lucy. Aunt Lucy, where are you? Aunt Lucy, where are you? Kindly come. As uh, she speaks, I call upon all relatives from Ekerubo, from the Mathanos uh, side of Newborn. Watu wanao toka upande wa mama yake ndugu yangu Newborn. Mje, take a photo and then Aunt Lucy will speak. We shall have closed that part. Kindly come and do it in, uh, in haste. Inchumwe nsi sobonge bueno. Mwa kwebicha Aunt Lucy ya kwane. Take up the stage. In choose of Ongebna Mwacha, Evicha to Waka. After they are done, we I request uh, all the relatives from uh, the Fatano side, what water work took a quack in a newborn. Uh, aunties, uncles, cousins, you're taking up next, and uh, Uncle Mwale, Lamek Mwale, will Mwale, speak on their behalf. Yangu ya wakovu. Niliteleza na hata kuanguka dhambini. Katika utaifu wangu, siku weza kupiga hatua yoyote maishani. Na kumba, walio nezunguka walikuwa wanafiki. Wenye nia za kuniangamiza. Masoli mengi. Uh, kindly 
show me that you're done. Or pick a picture by the show of uh, if you're done, then that is okay. To Fanya Evi, thank you so much for coming to condole with us. May the good Lord comfort you as well. Uh, Auntie Lucy will speak. Then later the chairman will have his chance. Chairman Utaongea Mda Wako Kufika. Sokoro. Let me take this opportunity first of all to say hi to everybody, although we are in tears. Can you salute? God is good. All the time. Yeah. Let me take this opportunity to thank our Almighty God for giving us this precious time to be here because of the death of our son, newborn, who passed away through. <laughs> Tragic aircraft on 50 at Wilson Airport. I stand on behalf of my father, Wilson Yangueso, and the family at large. Friends and relatives who have come, we praise thee and thank thee so much for joining us together. In fact, we have no language of expression because we really loved that dear son who passed away while he is very, very young, we wish he could stay and then he continue doing his work as a star in the family. We wish that something may be taken, something may be done so that we can know really what happened. What happened? My dear friends, we are crying for the Death of our beloved son, Newborn. Newborn was a lovely child in the family. We loved him. He was a person who can bring people together. Why did they were in differences maybe among the cousins? My dear Inilo, my dear sister Lois, we pray that God may condole you during this time when you are going to stay alone without that child. And I pray that God may help the young lady, Immaculate, and that son who remained so that they can make the family of newborn continue shining and be remembered forevermore. And for all who have come to pray, and to pray with us and to console us, as you live to your blessings kindly, remember this family of Omot and my sister Lois in God's hands so that they have strength to do the work of God. And then we wait for Jesus coming when we shall see our beloved son, that heavenly home where we shall never depart. For my father, my beloved father, he has really mourned this young uh, grandson of his. We pray that God may strengthen my dad and give him hope beyond the grave. We shall meet when God comes the second time. All of you, we praise thee, we praise you all, and thanks for coming, and may you go well, and then remember us, and remember that Jesus is coming so that we can join hands in that heavenly home where we shall never depart again. Let God's will be done, for this is my prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Auntie. Uh, this was a good start, but if you give you, we give you a chance next, kindly take the shortest time possible. Uh, Omogako, your current star, Omogaka Nyangweso, is the surviving grandparent for the late uh, newborn. And uh, we have a group that we normally call him the chairman. So the chairman 
is speaking. Angagonancha Nyamuancha by Jukurba and Aba, Barabara Chas in Da in Dinkuan and Nayam. About Jukurba in Bara Mochega, Mubere Gas in Da and Kuan and Nayam. Kovaguna Wocha, it done an interview to Quaker and Yasa with Tunga and Biamono, Kurumo Sanyo and Naka and Dete. Uturi indiri, kuhikenga kia lero. Bono, na batu watu mwichano. Lakini bono, umuchu kuro yotu nyori de. Anya muachiri mbujamono, nchuo nchuo ngomo etana na iga iga. Umuano uzinasawa mkoni de, konyo oru hiki de. Wakoreraban to once, Una Conora Chileva Mosiga Tevanga, Mavera Tikit del Cupuchua. It doesn't know the Cuba Kira Mensi Pia, Mamma Kira Sumoyo, Ocorea Nemuka Ya, who you already know Sangari Jimagan, then make a good chins and make George, Jintan and Josie Piva Kira, as in the Jumoyo Monene. Ya saba se sinya se muar muensi e kiagera oyo no mo jega bo mo chokorone o mo jega bo kumina ndori bo mo eryo ike nare go saba o sabe ro tikiru mo rugyo ye o mo sabe ro mo no mo acha mo sabe ro mo no mo ke o mo no mo ka ki ne buya ya sa mo ki nie Aba chukorwa ane mwe si puna mwa orokira mwe si mama nyenga mukaya yun yun tayo tadiya tadiya bono le ro mwa edigo akwa ndi nyumba ya yebuka bono tuwa digo sabai gana digo sabai na mabira manene msa birin kedia yomano mute kaya mukaya kora ya ne. Nainde orade te no muano yo korera nainde na roka korera nainde orade te bono te yu wanja weito ekera ari kurara nyasa ina arenge intu bono ko tokonya korera ekiagera nyasa ina manyete sabere enke limono bana bali bareme na mo sabere pamiria ri amoka yengi mane pamiria bombati Abang tu beker ibu bapa orang si pian seri yang gimana abang tu orang si wajib muda. Ya sabab konya muen siapa kalau naik rumah jiwu jora ayer. Toko sokak kurua. Ya sara ikiru yomo. Mui kecing kecing ino buaya moga sabanga. Ya sara tokonya amat tu kaya nama be. Yesus ngoh cari. Tiga tu hari gani. Timbu ati amang ini ada ukuran kuitan ya ya. Abang abang ne. Abang abang ne. Ya saba konye more me e kiagera ko tu ata buri tuwe taya konyo yo kire wona ya retu musunte ande nya sai na na akora manene aina arumura tu sabere na ba jukura ba nya sai na ba sin mwezi pi ina ni mokora manene buno ya rego takokora so bwenga na tebire byamono a seri bageli ga timbu atia man kubwa yo to sabira ne ne kero moyi wo ko era kero yo mai ke jinga ji abo biya ne ne nya sa tu ari ani nka ya igoro ne ri to ra dikoro na nu mwanu yo to nyori de biya mono biya mono sokoro the members you can go sit the chairman has spoken on your behalf thank you so much abanto wa mwa mokaya Ngai mule. Mwensi pi.
Kwa mulege ka geta na tikeri geta kire. Wini. Jo njo upesi tafadhali Safari ni ngumu majaribu mengi lakini tutafika nyumbani salama duniani hapa sisi tu I am working on assumption that uh, everyone is here and so I am starting uh, I'll start with abajukoroba mukeira banya sito bango abantu bonzi pinchwa egendo mokonyo ri na kinkumeti eruge ibantu bande baigweti All right so I'll start with uh, this group. Anya koroyo mwabo mwanto yo njugo jomusi. Chugo jomuoka. Chugo ango kamaranche. Okay, kwini. This that have taken the front, uh, the front line, they are the aunties and uncles, that is brothers and sisters to James Omote. Korango yege songe kina kwa na ne kia bangeres. Biyamano, you go take your seats. Kenda mo karanse, omoto go tigara na no yobweka. Anya ko koroyo mu abo montoyo oseyo yo mumaidi obedi njugoja cousins okay elfas ya yoko ando chimaiga when others are coming up front we una rudi kwenda nyuma eh uh, stand where you can be conspicuously seen because we are taking a photo and this is the group where I belong <laughs> yes this big group uh, Madano uh, the Fadano cousins that is from the father's side water to find Evi. Thank you. We may not have a chance to speak. You take your seats. Thank you so much. Uh, now there is this group. No. Eman, Gabi, nephews and nieces to Newborn. Simama up, 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 Gabi Simama this side. I mean, more. Oh, Simama, Ivi. Wapi Wengine, E group. These are our sons, the grandchildren to James Omote. Gabi, you, you, you took forever to come. I am assuming you're done, eh? Yes, so you do like this. Thank you. Take your seats. Then there is this group. Susan Dorcas, where are you? Uh, 
these are the brothers and uh, the sisters to newborn because they are few i can say their names that one is sister susan bosibodi this is sister dorcas kemunto this is uh, brother job moturi actually nyangwechi and uh, this is Elphaz Nyabuti, the elder brother to uh, newborn. You can take your seats. Thank you so much. On behalf of this uh, group that has been uh, taking photos here, we give Uncle Lamek, a brother to Uncle James Omote, to speak just for a minute. Thank you, MC, for this opportunity. My name is Lamek Mokaya. I'm uh, uncle to Neoban Mokaya and brother to James Mokaya. Uh, this is um, a sad moment to everyone. And I'm sure each of us has lost something. We have lost something as a community, as a family, and as a, a society. I don't have much time to tell you about Newborn. It might take a long time. But allow me to say a few words about him. He was an obedient boy. He was punctual. He was neat. I mean, uh, neat like his hair, dress, shoes, and uh, somebody to rely on. That's a summary I can give about him. I can go the list too long, but because of a lot of activities for the day, I will take an opportunity to thank everybody from the school, the Chitago family, church communities from Siokmao and their neighbors, and uh, all the people who have come here to see him being read to, to this final rest. If I don't get an opportunity to thank you again, take this sincerely from the family of Mokaya, that we love you all. And as you go, please pray for us, especially for the young family who just been left behind. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle, for such a, a brief one. We are running against time. I now call upon uh, Ria Sierra Church Choir to come for an item. As they come, I recognize the presence of Ria Sierra Mkwapi. Okay. I recognize the presence of uh, Homer Bay County team. These are colleagues, who are Uncle James. This is where he works. So after this choir, kindly Homer Bay team, get on your feet. You come for a photo and uh, we'll give a chance to one of you to give uh, his tribute you are good people i have interacted with you before i know how timekeeping you guys are so home bay team come Okay, Homer Bay team, as you come, the yes, Sierra is doing an, an item. Oh, oh, oh. 
kufanya toka uzoni kimnyonyoni swali tujipuleza ona ukayaruhusu tumekosa tumaini ona tukirimia faraja za korema twaita jitoka mbinguni kwa ko kweli ni machungu Fanya toka uzoni kimnyonyoni swali tujipuleza ona ukayaruhusu tumekosa tumaini wana tukirimia faraja za korema twaita jitoka mbinguni kwa ko kuni machungu yetufanya toka sununi kimnyonyoni Tumekosa Tumekosa tumaini Wanda tukirimia faraja za korema Tuaita jitoka mbinguni kwa ko Kweli ni machungu Ya tufanya tuka uzoni kimnyonyoni Swali tujipuleza Ona ukayaruhusu Wanda tukirimia faraja za korema Tuaita jitoka mbinguni kwa ko Thank you. Thank you so much, dear Sierra. That is, uh, before you is uh, part of uh, Homa Bay uh, group. Uh, there are many other people on their way coming, but because uh, of time, and uh, we may not know what time they'll be here, we'll give them a chance. We've agreed on what they do, and I hope you, you stick to that. Uh, to the church presiding over the ceremony, to the family of uh, Mokaya, uh, Deputy County Secretary, Homa Bay County, to the county team of the government of Homa Bay County present, and the entire family, 
the people of Abagusi, uh, Hamjambo. Before you, Isoma Bay County government uh, team, uh, and this is just a lean team, and uh, our people still coming. We've been made to understand they are at Keumbu, and because of time, we couldn't le leave this time to go. Uh, before you is the team led by one of our ministers, uh, Waziri Dr. Peter Ogola, is with us here. We also have uh, chief officers, that is the PS Ministry, Lands, chief officers, sports, culture. We have directors, we have members of the staff, and uh, we have friends as well. Uh, we are not going to take much time just to say we are very much humbled. And of the uh, also, Bwana uh, Mokaya, take our condolences. Waziri asked the message, and on behalf of our team as well, we know Waziri Grace is also coming, yes, 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 but yes, accept yes, our yes. condolences. Yes, yes, yes. We are very sorry of what has happened, but God knows all. Take heart. We know we cannot, he cannot come back to us, but we'll join him. Yes, yes, yes. So God bless you and the entire family as we are praying for you. Allow me to give Waziri Ogola the mic now to talk on behalf of the county government of Oma Bay. And this presentation is just a forerunner for the bigger team is on the way coming. To the people, the 99 flyers, we are very saddened with you for having lost this young soul and a man who was aspiring to be great in life. So I know God will also give you heart to pass through this uh, because it is not by the formation of man, but it is God who did this. Waziri, have this time. And thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to the Abakusi community. Ladies and gentlemen, as you have been told, this is a team uh, from Homa Bay. The main team is coming behind. The county secretary was supposed to be here, but unfortunately is in a meeting in Naivasha. The Waziri governance is on the way with the team. Uh, to our brother, James Mokaya. James Mokaya joined the county of Homa Bay during the transitional authority, and that is when I met him. A very humble gentleman. We have been with him. We have been with friends, and he has worked in Homer Bay County as a member of the community. He has really served us with a lot of dedication and it is our pole for such a young soul to be lost. It is better for fathers to bury their sons and grandchildren uh, and uh, others, but not a father burying the son. But it is God's plan. All of us, we have a journey. Life is a journey. We are moving. Everybody has a destination where is going to be. As we see all of us here, we are candidates of death. The only thing we don't know is when, how, and what the nature of death which is going to befall us. But one day, one time, we shall die. Therefore, a thank you so much those who have come to condole and say pole to our brother. Mokaya James, we take him as a member of our community. He is our brother. He only comes to sleep in Kisi, but he has been working there. And through his efforts, and this of Ken, Dr. Ken Ongeko, whom they are with, whom they came with from, uh, from Transitional Authority, they are the people who made Homer Bay what it is even today. And we are very grateful for this, your son, whom you lent to us. I know newborn also had those qualities, but it is unfortunate that these things have been cut short by life. We pray for the young uh, spouse and the young child so that uh, may God take care, God take control, put God in everything. And therefore, we thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. And uh, I know even when Our Excellency was here, she would have come because Mokaya is at our heart. But unfortunately, she's in the United States and she could not make it here. 
but please receive her pole on behalf of this team. I know as Grace is also coming with the other team and everything we live unto God, brother. May God take care of everything and the program. Thank you so much for giving me a hearing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Waziri, and uh, the whole th team for such a, a dedication to come and uh, condole with us. Omogaka uh, James Yorori, Kayori Koranch. The man that is fairer than day And by faith we shall see the first For the Father waits all the way To prepare us uh. dwelling place there In the sweet Uh, is my dad and uh, the father-in-law to uh, the late my brother newborn I'm now asking uh, the family the nuclear family you come for a photo kindly before he speaks In the sweet band, by let's sing. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Thank you, thank you. Avanta uh, Bonspi, na neamate yomogaka James. Orori, the father-in-law to my late brother. You have taken like forever to come, but we understand. Kindly let me know when you are done with photos, especially the official photographer. There is, uh, you can take another one. Few, few people have joined. Thank you. Be a monomens P. Navamora and Tavaya. We tani in the Tai Resin and Liba Gatotanora. We only allow Mze Jimmy to speak on your behalf. Kindly, you can take your seats. Thank you so much. Yes, I think it's a bad morning, afternoon. I abarizenu nyote, iko vile ilivo, but tufumiliane. Now one thing, one day, Jesus was taken to task. 
for his Rasaru's sisters, no Jesus wept. They told him, if you were here, imagine your friend has died. But if you were here, your friend wouldn't have died. Jesus told them, I told you to take heart, believe, and you see God's glory. So everybody who's here, believe, and you will see God's glory. My daughter, Kerubo, that is my grandson. Believe and you see God's glory. To Melia, come on, Jesus, Yalilia. That's a Zimbus, you see. In fact, we have cried. You know, sometimes when you have been torn like this one, surely you wouldn't have so much to tell people. But uh, if you look at the Bible, what I've said, believe and you'll see God's glory. They believed and Jesus, uh, sorry, Lazarus came out of death. So one day we shall meet with my son-in-law. Sina mengi sana. Nilikuwa na team kubwa, team kubwa. Kwetu ni Nyabios, my home area. Nyabios, watu wa Nyabios, mikono tafadhali. Good. My believe and you'll see God's glory. Through this one, we shall see God's glory. Newborn's glory. What is we was supposed to do? Thank you, Dad. And uh... Thank you so much, my dear brother Josh, for the wonderful work that you have done. We now want to proceed to the next level. Indeed, from this level, we'll be moving very fast for obvious reasons. That kuna mchungaji ambaye tatuletea neno na tunataka kwamba ifikapo saa fulana ambazo sita itaja mwanzo huu tutakuwa tumepata neno. Where is Philip? Philip from Itibo and the Charana from KU. Where are you? Please run here. I know you are ages. So when I'm telling you run here, I'm I know who I am talking to. Philip and the Charana, I know you are wait, long. but still you can run. Philip. Does Jesus care? Eh, wale watu waliosoma na Omote kule Itibo tafadhali muje. Araka very fast. I am bringing to you a very special team of those that went to school together with James. James, please come along. Ni wengi na wengine wako njiani. Oh yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. When the days are weary, a long night's dream. Aya, ni singa alipenda kuchukua muda mrefu sana kwa sababu ya hali ilivyo. James alitoka itipo 1983. Hawa walikuwa pamoja ingawa wengine tulikiunga na itipo baadaye. Tuko na muungano mkubwa sana wa wanafunzi waliopata kusobea itipo na tumeleta faraja zetu za kipekee kwa James na hasa yule mjane na yule mtoto mchanga ameacho. Ombi letu la kipekee Mungu apate kuwa na ile familia. Nashukuru. Nashukuru sana ndugu yangu Philip kwa usemi huo mfupi. Nashukuru. This is the KU 90 team. Wanacharana you can do the obvious. Ah uh, asante sana mwenyekiti. Waomba research wote mumefika hapa 
kwa sababu ya kupoteza mtoto wa ndugu yetu tu omote mimi nimesimama ama sijui kama kuna wengine wako hapa KU90 kama kuna yeyote karibu ya yeah. uh, tumekuja hapa kwa chili ya kuomboleza kichana ya ndugu yetu omote na bibi yake omote tumejuana na yeye hii timu yote mmeona hapa mbele tangu 19 87-86 at National Youth Service Girigil, huko Naivasha. Diyo tulanzia, tukajuana. Tukasoma na yeye KU. Chusi, tukakuja, tukaungana. Kama KU, kuna hile KU group which is having over 10,000 colleagues. Pia, tuna KU kisi ya Nanyamira chapter which is having over 150 Uh, colleagues wanted to be graduate 1990 tumereta pole setu kwa familia watu wechi tago wote mama na bwana umote mungu ndiye aliwapatia mtoto na ndiye amemchukua hatuna nguvu yoyote mungu ndiye mwenyezi na mungu ameona angemchukua kabla hajapata mtoto ndugu yangu mote na bibi yako mumeachiwa ta na hiyo ta kwa ajili ya Mungu aliyechu itawaka na itawaka na itakusaidia na itasaidia familia yote kutoka hapa kitutu masaba na Kenya mzima kwa wale wensangu 1990 friars nachiwa mumepotesa mwensenu aliyemsuri na alikuwa anafanya kazi vizuri na kulingana na historia yake Mungu akawatapata hiyo nafasi itachazwa na Mungu. Na wa, wa wale wote mmekuja ni nimesema msimame vizuri na hii familia na mkirudi mrudi vizuri. Kabla sijamaliza kuna wensetu wangekuwa angefika. Wengine wamesuka ndeke kizumu wako barabarani wanakuja. Kuna chairman wetu Professor Henry Ondeli anatengeneza graduation ya university sahi akaniambia atakuwa na sisi. Wakini dansa ni Omari huyu mnajua anakuanga kwa redio sana pia amesema pole lakini ameniambia alikuwa Nairobi na aliwaakrisa sisi Nairobi mpaka chini Sagero ako njiani akifika is a politician na vikiri atafika akipata nafasi atafanya Sina mengi mimi naitwa John Kennedy Jarana ule naitwa Oira Choboira uko na juu huyu anaitwa Maliki ni principal ni principal Kennedy Nyakeri ndio wako hapa huyu ni Manyara ndio MC hapa sasa hii next ni Omote mnamjua sana huyu anaitwa Bistris Ikobe ni principal huko Nairobi one of the schools e, Richa oh wow nimesahau miaka mingi sana na my brother Ochomba inasema poleni sana mubake vizuri Asante sana ndugu Charana kwa kazi hiyo nzuri tuna vile mnavyoona tunaenda kwa kasi makusudi Nyamira County Nyamira County Government kutoka hapo kamati ya Nairobi kamati ya Nairobi uh, mwenyekiti uje hapa tunapowaita uh, wenzetu kutoka Nyamira County County Government County Government of Nyamira I'm sure they are here uh -huh. County Government of Nyamira Day. wanapoendelea kuja na wajulisha wale tulio nao hapa mbele kwa unyenyekevu mkubwa kuna Erong Adventist Group pia tuna professor Jared Mose kutoka Nairobi University my brother Jared karibu kuna uh, ndugu yetu director DOD Bogita Ongeri yuko hapa pamoja nasi kuna pastor Kengere and all other pastors present they are here with us in including the one baya atatuongoza siku ya leo uh, pia kuna viongozi mbalimbali wakiwepo walimu wetu wakuu wa shule zote za msingi na pia shule za upili pia tukuna hicho kikundi cha 1990 tuna elders wote aha uh -huh. kuna timu kutoka KCB 
office wako hapa Nyamira County is with us are we Okay bas uh, team ya Nairobi inaonekana watakuja tu kuna kazi pengine ofisini wanataka kumaliza ya Nairobi committee tafadhali committee ya Nairobi kamati yes naomba wale wenzangu ambao tulikuwa nao huko na Rubi tafadhali Susan mmeniruka mlikuwa katika hii kamati mko wapi ndio twenda haraka haraka bwana Menge nashukuru sana thank you kwa sababu ya muda <coughs> tulikuwa na wenzetu habari zenu waombarazi kwa majina mimi naitwa Jared Kerosi Mumanyi. Amwa Kasim Telait. Na sisi ndio tulikuwa tunafanya mpango ya Nairobi, aima sisi. Na shukuru nyote wenye umekuja hapa na wenye watusaidia Nairobi kwa mchango. Asante sana. And the Lois together with the whole family pole kwa haya aliyopata Mimi naitwa Steven Menge Steven Menge I come from around uh, this young man who has slept was very close to my late father eh hata hiyo choose mdogo sana my father had 600 layers kaliona kakaenda kakapanua pole Mungu amefanya mapenzi yako yake. Uh, brother James uh, Craig Newborn was a star. But God has better plans for you. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Elda Joseph Anyange. Uh, Anela at Sukimao East Adventist Church where newborn and his family was fellowshipping. We have lost a fine young man. Uh, thank you. I'm Jambo, naitwa Elda Isa Komeke. Uh, natoa pole kwa familia. Tunaendelea kuombea. Thank you so much. My name is Bogita Ungeri. Huyo ambaye ameaga is my cousin. Mr. Mute is my uncle. On behalf of the committee, the Nairobi committee, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you so much. Um, we have lost, and indeed we have lost. There is nothing we can do as of now, because training a pilot is not something that is very easy. It takes time, it is a process, and a lot of resources are used. Because I come from around, I just wanted to point out to you that uh, in this division, for your information, we have five pilots. We have now lost one. I know we have two from this area, and we also have one from Nyankoba, and this one out from Bocharia. And we thank God for this. But it's unfortunate because this is one of our pilots who, has, who had ventured in commercial. Others are elsewhere. And as one of the speakers said here, you know, it is for parents, it is for children to party their parents, but not parents parting their children. The young newborn was just 26 years, 26 years. And when we were in Nairobi, one of his top pilots, actually he had understood him very well. He explained about uh, what the young newborn was made of, his qualities, and having trained for a period that is required, and he was given the assignment to train others. It is very, very unfortunate we have lost as a community, we have lost as a society, and we have lost as a county and the Kisi community in general. 
Because this is a man who had a vision, a man who was focused, a man who knew what was required for him to move forward. For the young woman who has been left with the young kid, you could see here the young kid was decorated. And that decoration on his shoulders is a clear demonstration that we wish the young one well. And uh, we also want him to become a pilot in the future. We know the young one is like a firebrand. I just wanted to say, in India, there was one mama by the name Indira Gandhi. She was the only daughter in that family. But that family, up to now, it is a force to reckon with, even though she was just alone. So the young one who has been left here, we believe that with God's blessings, he will be something. Let us pray for this family, and let me wish you the best in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Director, for those very kind words. We are asking that uh, as we come here, kindly, uh, as usual, let us summarize. Allow me to uh, the community of Siokimau. That includes the church and other members around there. Please, Siokimau, Siokimau, Siokimau. After Siokimau uh, community, not choir, uh, we will have Chitago Central for us uh, an item. Siokimau Tafadali. We are approaching noon, and only one of you will say a word, not something, a word. Good afternoon once again. My name is Elder Joseph Anyange, uh, an elder at Sokimao East Adventist Church. Once more, I bring to you uh, the Sokimao Adventist Church members who have come to condole with their member, Sister Immaculate, and the young one. Receive our deepest condolences. We stand with you. We will stand with you. We have stood with you. We pray for you. We, uh, we will continue supporting uh, our member in prayers and uh, what we can do humanly. Uh, I'm told that uh, I'm the only one to speak. I have my pastor here, my district pastor. I want him to, yes, one person uh, from the community that is not a member of the church. I've spoke uh, in, uh, on behalf of the church. Kindly come. Bwana sifiwe sana. Mimi naitwa Unyancha Mwindi. Huyu amerara na huyu amerara newborn umete wao ni marafiki zetu familia zetu. Uh, sisi familia ya Mwindi na hata familia ya hawa wamekucha hapa wenzetu wa Siokimao. Eh tuna sema pole the family the bereaved widow and the child pole sana pole sana ni kitu nyancha mimi naokoka na mpenda Yesu ni mwokozi wangu tangu 1972 tarehe ni mwezi wa 10 yesa aliniokoa mpaka sasa bado angali ni mwokozi wangu tunatumaini mtoto yetu ni uboni amerara Mungu ile asubuhi moja Yesu atakaporudi tutakutana pale chuo tukienda kupata uzima wa milele Poleni, poleni, poleni sana familia. Mungu wa sidi kwa fariti. Asante ni sana. Thank you.
Chitago Central, Chitago Central, please. Hawa kitoka kikundi chetu cha nat Kikundi chetu cha nat mwe tayari
Nashukuru sana nimesikia wimbo tumefika kikomo cha wimbo huo. Nashukuru sana Chitago Central. Wenzetu kutoka shule ya 99 wanapojitayarisha maana watakuja hapa idadi yao mnaijua ni kubwa kidogo. So mnapoendelea kuja nataka kualika viongozi utawala wa NAT waje hapa kwa dakika moja vile walimu walivyo alafu tutaalika shule. Tutaendelea kutoka hapa tutawajulisha. Asante sana. <coughs> Uh, viongozi wa NAT walimu wote ambao wako hapa wale wako karibu songa karibu hapa mkuche hapa tuonekane nasi tusimame na wenzetu kwa hachiri ya kutoa pole na kama kuna officials from other sister branches who have joined us here you can also come for a photo atuna mengi ya kusema kwa sababu sisi ndio tumifiwa tunatakikana tupewe pole Karibu, karibu. Walimu wote, karibu. Yes. Karibu walimu. Okay. <coughs> Aya. Maali walimu wote ambao wamestahafu na wala ambao wako kazini kwa sababu muwezi kucha hapa kwa achili ya wakati. Epu fanyeni mkono hivi. Asante sana kwa kucha kushiriki na mwenzetu. Asante. Hapa mbele, tukuna wageni. Na kwa sababu ya wakati na kwa vile ya tumeona atuna wakati na atutaki kwa ribu program Ningependa tu kutoa shukulani kwa wala ambao wamekucha kutupatia pole Hapa kwetu kitutu masaba Na hawa wamesimama hapa ni viongozi wa walimu wa tawi la walimu ya chama cha Nats Masaba branch Na wenzao walimu wengine ambao wametoka kutoka section mbalimbali mbali. Kuna cooperative society, kuna bari and benevolent, kuna retired officers Kwa sababu ya wakati, tuko na mkuu wa elimu hapa. Songa hapa daika moja tavadhari. On behalf of the ministry and the TSC, say a word. Uh, thank you, Chairman. My name is Sigra Philip. Uh, education office in charge of uh, legal Madivison. On behalf of our sub-county, director TSC and the ministry, and all of the education officials in this sub-county, we are very sorry for the loss of our young Newton. Otherwise, uh, for those who have come from far, you are most welcome to Rigo Madivison. Thank you and welcome. Thank you very much. Because of time, I will ask you Nataka mfanya hivi musariuti. Mr. Moyo, tuangwase kwa maombi. Kucha karibu. Uh, tuamini na tuombe. Baba mwenyezi mungu ishie mali baju mbinguni. Tumekuja mbele zako asubuhi ya leo tukiwa na mioyo ilio mizito. Kwa sababu tumemupateza kijana rubani ambaye alikuwa mejitolea kufanyia nji yake kazi. Mwenye alikuwa anasaidia familia yake. Mama, bamoja na baba yake na muke na mtoto. Bamoja na jamii nzima ya kwao na kwetu hapa. Hakuna nalano fanyika kwako kama hajali, najua kwamba unaelewa fika, jinsi ya livyo lala. Tunatoliomba hapa ni wape faraja, familia nzima, na mtoto mdogo ambaye amemwaja. Tunamba maisha mema kwake, umulinde, mbatia kila heki na maharifa, mbaka wakati ambapo atatumikia nji katika wakati wake, itakuwa hombi ambalo tutaliomba siku ya leo kila mmoja, Kwa sababu najua kwamba we ni mungu muaminifu. Utayatenda yote kulingana na mbebezi yako kwa sababu tumeomba tukiamini katika jina safi la yesu alie mwambezi wetu. Asante sana. Asante sana. Sasa muna ya saka. Mukisafiri, musafiri salama. Mwenye alikuwa naongea ni eh, mwenye kiti wa chama chanati masaba Joseph Atuti. Asante. Thank you, brother Joseph. Uh, this is now the 99 team flying team 
led of course by the the the, the, the leadership and now we want to call upon uh, uh, as they line up uh, as they line up we want to call upon the director to take charge director where are you Eh hamujambo. Hamujambo tena. Uh, my name is uh, Colonel Ali. And uh, with me here is the 99th uh, fraternity that is composed of the management, uh, staff, students, friends, and relatives. We are here to console and convey our condolences to the family of Mze James Omote, Mama Lois Omote, our daughter Immaculate, friends and relatives of the deceased. I wish to inform you that we are equally as grieved. The loss of newborn and his student, uh, Mariam Omar, has really hit hard our institution. And in our history, we have never had a tragedy of this magnitude. And therefore, as we stand here, we are at our lowest moment. And because of that, we feel your pain, we feel your grief. And all that we say is, we pray that uh, God will give us the strength, both you and us, to overcome this grief. Having said that, I have a lot to say about newborn, but because of uh, time, uh, I will not be able to conclude. I'll stand here the whole day and talk about him and still not complete it. But all that I want to say is that he was a fine gentleman. And uh, even as we grieve, I think we need to thank God. And uh, say thank you God for giving us newborn. He's been many things to many people. For us as an institution, newborn was our son, just like all our students are our sons and daughters. Newborn was our student because it is us who trained him. And in particular, I was the one who released him for what we call his first solo. So I've had a first-hand experience of teaching a newborn. Uh, that is uh, a stage in training where the pilot is led to fly on his own. So I was the one who signed him off after having, after having found him fit to fly by himself. So I've had a personal experience flying him. And therefore his loss touches me as a person. Newborn was also our instructor because of who he was, because of his dedication, because of his abilities. We found it fit uh, to make him an instructor where he doesn't only fly, but he teaches others how to fly. And it's unfortunate he passed on while doing that. So uh, I think as we mourn, we also need to celebrate him and say, indeed, I think he did. Uh, what he did for the short time he has lived with us. And uh, having since a person, I've had a lot of other uh, things about him that are all good and impressive. It even makes the loss more painful in my view. As an institution, uh, I say it, we are really down in that we have lost a very dedicated, dutiful staff member. He leaves behind a huge gap 
And as he departs, as we see him off, I want to say that 99s will indeed miss Captain Newborn, but will forever remember him as a very fine gentleman. Once again, Poreni Sana, and uh, we grieve with you, we mourn with, mo we mourn with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are done. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, 99 Flying Squad. We have an OCS here with us uh, where this uh, school is uh, located. I want, after the, COs, uh, the OCS, to invite uh, the Kesha team. Kesha, wherever you are, your leadership, please come here, after which we'll go to today's sermon. Please, Kesha after the OCS. Thank you, the committee that has organized this occasion. I want to take my personal uh, condolences to the family, Mr. James, uh, the brothers, and uh, the 99 team for losing such a wonderful pilot. Uh, it's not uh, normal let me start by saying my name. My name is Nathani Ronduso. I come from South Mogirango. So, you see, I'm also Mogusi. I have come to mourn with my younger brother. Newton was so close to me that even when I was sharing some statement with the father, it pained me most. Mostly police officers don't mourn because of the experiences we undergo. But for this one, Newton was a role model so close to me. Even the father wondered how would Newton be a close friend of a police officer like me. I therefore I share this moment with the family, the community, the Omo Usi. I also took my time from Nairobi because that school is merely 10 meters from my workplace. So at times we used to have good moments with this young gentleman. He mentored me, we shared more, some of which even the parents didn't even know that I used to guide through uh, uh, Newton. Uh, I want also to thank uh, the director. We've shared more, we've uh, planned for the assistant and the send off together. Uh, that school is a very, uh, can I say, disciplined school, as we are disciplined, because I do not end most of the cases that is emanating there. We were the first responder at the scene when that aircraft uh, crashed. We did everything humanly possible, but by the time the aircraft was landing, the souls, uh, are parted with us. Otherwise, the mourners, let us take heart. If we have anything that we can do, let us to the family so that we replace a newborn to that school. I know the school also will uh, at least give us some redemption. Otherwise, I wish all mourners a peaceful moment as we mourn and we see through the last moment of newborn on earth. Otherwise, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Officer Wetu. Kesha, where are you after which? We will, uh, with humility, with humility, uh, we'll allow the Eronga team where, where newborn was learning, Kanyawanga team, if they are here. And which one, my brother? Yeah, to, be, to come after Kesha. Kesha, please be coming. Where are you? Uh, thank you, MC. Uh, this is uh, Kesha team. Kesha is Kenya Secondary Schools Head Association. Uh, my name is uh, Job Oira. Job Oira is the chairman of Sec Kenya Secondary Schools Head Association, Nyamira County. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to invite uh, all my colleagues who are here kindly. Because we are given one minute, I wish that uh, we come. All colleagues, principals, wherever you are, 
Uh, it is apparent that uh, a number of uh, the colleagues who are here are uh, uh, classmates to James, a number of them. Uh, James was one of us. Uh, yeah, we have Kesha from everywhere, not only Kiss, not only Nyamira. Uh, these are my colleagues. These are my colleagues uh, who are heads of schools in uh, our counties. And um, on behalf of all these that have come, I'm sure others are on the way, we want to pass our message of condolence to our brother James and, uh, and the family for loss of newborn. Newborn was a youngster. We had a lot of anticipation about him, but it's unfortunate that he went ahead of us. Be consoled, Brother James. Be consoled, uh, the mother, uh, because I know you are deeply affected, but we want to pray that God takes care of you, takes care of the family as you go through this hard moment. Uh, with me, I have uh, the chair lady, Kisi County. I'll give her the opportunity, but uh, before I do, let me introduce the one that I present so that uh, she speaks a word uh, on behalf of the rest. Um, uh, on behalf of Mungoni Principal, Omoyanga Evans, Gaoga Ekerubo, this is uh, Moseti, that, that is uh, Amasege, Onjuru Obson, Bruce Kerage, is Nyakeore, Stehela Mangenya, classmate for Mote also, uh, Lona Raboso, Gideon Nyakundi, Nyankoba Secondary School, Ericha Ochomba, Omabei, this is Nyangena Samuel, uh, uh, this is Itumbe, and my, my neighbor, uh, Getonto, a classmate to Mota as well, Riakwara Secondary. So on behalf of, the, of all, let's wave and uh, wish the family well. Madam Joyce, Prince Ponyabururu, uh, will speak on uh, behalf of the rest for just a minute. Karibu. Thank you so much, Brother Weira. Uh, to our very dear family, family of Omote, who was also my classmates in the university, the 90 group, uh, the larger family, our friends, relatives, and all those who have joined us. God is good. Inua Mukono Ju, God is good. We are here to console and comfort and encourage each other because this is the most difficult family time, especially to the family. But in all circumstances, we believe and we trust and say God is good. We have come to witness and encourage the family not to lose hope. On behalf of my colleagues and the Kisi County Kesha, where I'm the chair, we are saying pole. To everybody and especially those who have come to encourage the family to Waombe. We have been hit. Because Konyore pilot in a community is not one plus one. Giato sunire, lakini nyasai. Na pugate family, nyasai. Na to yolere chinchera, nyasai. Na enikareche family, egere mbalus hope. Tiga to basavere asichinga kiech chobo kendu, na ande to gendere kosaverana. Mungu wa bariki. Orioki joy so gutu, e principal nyabururu, kesha chair, kisi county. Thank you so much, Sister Joyce, and uh, my dear brother Job Oira, for those sentiments. Kanyawanga, Eronge, and where uh, our dear daughter was learning, Immaculate. All those, those categories that I've mentioned. Please come here. Just be here. Uh, be here so that we see how to, yes, Poleni Sana. I'll start with Kanyawanga, Eronge. And finally, where our daughter Immaculate was learning. Kanyawenga, welcome. Uh, for the interest of time, kindly, you can just wave, take a photo, and we'll 
greatly appreciate. These gentlemen are from Kanyawanga, so we take uh, the photo in turns. I think you can do this. Thank you so much. Uh, this group is coming from uh, Eronga, I want to believe. Yes, you can uh, wave. Thank you so much for coming and uh, may God bless you. You can take your seats. We are now calling upon uh, the group from Nya, Nya Bururu Girls where Immaculate, the wife to Newborn School. Yes, these are ladies from Nyabururu, former students. And Amabuko, where are members from Amabuko? Kindly come. Immaculate, you can, uh, you can come and take a photo with them. Over many as they are coming with no abiding city here. to believe uh, the camera people you are done that is uh, so nice you can wave I'm informed there is a, a former teacher actually a teacher to to immaculate and uh, I am not sure if we have time but kindly just move forward. We humbly recognize you and we ask you to wave. Mwaka Koraiga. Biyamono. Biyamono sana. You can take your seats. Biyamono Kigima. Thank you for coming uh, to mourn with us. May the good Lord bless you. Aba Ntumbali wa Kurukuwa. Bo Mote, the larger Omote family, Omote from uh, Tombe. Where are you? Just stand wherever you are. Tenna Smole. Eh, Ogo Tennaiga. Shem na Korodere. Kindly wave. Biamono, we recognize you. Kabisa, Kabisa. We may not have a time to give you a chance to speak, but feel. Uh, most recognized. Thank you so much. Thank you, my dear brother Josh, for the wonderful work, especially identifying and uh, ensuring that we are on course. Tunapoka, uh, chief of this area. The chief of this area? Ministry of Education members, where are you? Those working with the Ministry of Education, where are you, wherever you are? Wherever you are, I'm sure the director is not here, I'm aware, but wherever you are, please do this. Wana chief, after Wana chief greeting us, nitamualika mzungumzaji. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies, today. Kwa majina mimi ni Thomas Mumanyi Ndege, sinia jibu wa hii. Kwanza kwa familia ya Bradomote. And a friend in Nasema Pole Sana, Kwajarambayo Yaritokea. Sincerely, as the rest have said, to get a pilot in a community is not an easy job. Kwaivo, as a community, as a county, and as a country, we have lost a person. Kwa Pole, Nari Kugania. Chief's present, Motegoja. I'm the area chief here, but the area chief where uh, Newport comes from is Madam Petris 
na ya ataongea jambo moja ndio tuende na kipindi karibu madam asante mc kwa nafasi mungu ni mwema waomborezaji wote mungu ni mwema na kila wakati tunataka kuleta rambi lambi zetu kwa familia ya umote mimi ndiye chief wa newpon anatoka kutoka hiyo location ya nyankoba i'm the senior chief there nataka kuachia the family yote ni waachie mungu awafariji na wapenema neema ya bwana iwatoshe katika hii familia Beatrice Mwango Murwa senior chief nyankoba mbarikiwe na mkienda nyote mpenye mnasafiri muende salama eh na mimi nitasema pole kwa familia kwa kumpotesa kichana mdogo sana kwa machina mimi ni Fred Komawa assistant chief Kenyerere hapa penye tuko santini kwa vile atunda wakati ningeomba our directors please directors nimeambiwa you wave but then kusema jina sio vibaya Kwa machina ni Nelson Mukaya, Obare, Director kutoka Nyankopa Tea Factory, Mabuko Son, Poleni kwa kupotesa pilot. Thank you so much. Asante, under the interest of time, I realize we are quite a number of us around. I recognize the presence of former, immediate former directors in Nyankopa. But for the interest of time, allow me to stop there and register our condolences on behalf of the entire tea growers to the family of Omote. Poleni, and may God sustain you. Asante. Thank you, my uncle, for being obedient to your son. That is not so easy, but it's a good gesture. Uh, kindly allow me to call upon the nuclear family. Okay, I am informed otherwise. Before we call upon the pastor, I humbly ask uh, Bernard Riziki to come do one item. Uh, the, the song is Mambiengia. That is uh, a famous song that uh, consoles us. After that, then we'll have the pastor. And uh, the program shall run and announced. Riziki. One, two. No ña go chande ken se Ninga Mecha toneva Nindem Emechando teri Nindeno Oyo Wevo e okwegen Wevo e winto Tora i kainse
넘어가 거머 네 in a very special way inachukua fursa hii kwa salamia habari ya mchana i hope iko na habari baga motere yumo gako yo i think mamu ali baga otekero gotero kwa stance ya gotebanga eme chando na baki na ya vye menge ningara merase ngo ene rora i think mamu ali baga otekero radar stance I needed it mama tereli. My name is Bernard Riziki. I sing gospel country music. I may a courtesy of a friend to this family. Nani rafiki wa huyu mzee ambaye walisoma na yeye akaniambia nisikose kukuja kwa sababu hayuko Kenya. The best gift angepatia huyu mzee akasema ni kunituma hapa niweze kumwambia. For that reason I want us to do this song. One of these fine days, we shall leave this evil world. Mambingia. That is a song I'm instructed to do. Mambingia. Therefore, I want all of us to do that song. Chande menge mondo Gocha umo salaba Ninde no bomenyo Bomenyo uguya Nyetige ense yembe Mambingia 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 Nintaro moche wedabu Mambingia Kona mwege Sobeka konda koro wancha kwae minyetige ensembe mambingia. Let's do the English version for those of us who are not understanding. Kegusi, I've heard it from the preacher. Let's go. I heard it from the preacher. This world is not my home. My home's across the river. And that's where I belong Christ made many mansions Where milk and daddy flows I will leave this evil world One of these days Let's sing! One of these days One of these days I will walk in the golden street One of these days If I trust in Christ alone if I take care of his word, I will leave this evil world one of these days. Now, Basasa sisi water to inwe mikono, kwa ishara ya kumpigia newborn. Bye bye, all of us, colleagues and friends. Let's raise up our hands. Do you follow me? Mambingia, mambingia, mambingia. Taro moche wera abu mambingia Kona mwege neso weka Konda koro wancha kwae Minyetige ense yembe Mambingia 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 Taro moche wera abu mambingia Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Abang in a room, Mote Mora Mokorega, Bang in a room, Motenga Imore, Motara Renga Majira. I'm talking in Nikagusi. Abang in a rumo mote. Karega Mabari, Abaychirega, but everywhere. A team we are Kitaling, I'm more. The Kitale team, where are you? Wherever you are. Thank you. That is good. 
Kanyawanga principal, my classmate, where are you? The other day I saw you. Kanyawanga, where? Yes, thank you. I love you, my brother. Thank you. That is good. Uh, we will uh, have other songs. Many, in fact. But for now, allow me to call upon uh, our dear pastor, Peter Aricha, to do the needful. He knows what to do. Welcome, pastor. Eldan Tereba, kindly, on behalf of the district. Wa mbole sachi, nataka kuchukua na vazi hii. Kwa niyapa ya makanisa yetu ya eneno hili. Na viongozi wetu wa makanisa, niseme kwamba asanti kwa kuja hili kusimama na familia. Katika wakati huu ambao wana mbaleza. Kwa sababu ya muda, Nataka nile, nichukue na vazi hii ili ni mwakalibise Pastor Peter Licha ambayo ni pastor wetu ambayo tumepukana pamoja uh, karibu hapa, hapa liga na district Ndi atasimama hili atulete mnaji waziku ya leo Kwa hivyo kwa niyaba adisu yutu ya mungoni na makanisa ambayo ya mepakana karibu Nataka kuchukua na vazi hii niseme kwamba pole na mungu wa siti kuwa uh, katika, na, katika, katika familia hii Kwa hivyo pastor wetu halicha, karibu, ili utulete mnanachi wa siku ya leo. Asante sana, karibu. Um, the family and all the mourners, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Um, I take this uh, humble privilege and with a heavy heart to first of all convey my sincere condolences to the family of Omote. Omote is uh, my close re re relative. Aseke uh, usi tunaitana semo because of my elder brother who together with Omote are married from one family. So I want to uh, convey my condolences to the family. Secondly, uh, Semo, Mote, I know sometimes you may lack words and in low lois, but the Bible says in uh, Daniel 2.28, but there is God, a God in heaven. So even when you do not understand why it has come at the time like this, Remember, there is God in heaven. May God comfort and console you together with the entire family during these painful and sorrowful moments. I have a task to invite the preacher, but before that, my name is Pastor Peter Aricha, the immediate neighbor of uh, uh, Mongoni. My district is uh, Regena District. Um... I'm here on the capacity of uh, the station representative, Pastor Stephen Okero, who could not make it because of uh, the meeting that we had at Kemera for all pastors. Even us, actually, we just uh, requested for permission to come and attend this funeral. And also, I stand on the capacity or on behalf of the late pastor, Pastor uh, David Masimba, who rested a few days ago, awaiting burial uh, in a few days coming. So we, this district is mourning because their pastor is rested in the Lord. Um, kwa sababu hiyo, ngebenda at uh, actually the field, Nyamira West Field also, uh, they said they'll be in attendance, but because of the meeting which is going on, so we beg for apology, but in case they come, uh, we believe they'll get a chance to say hi to us. Sasa, naomba ni wakaribishe wachungaji wote. Wache abambele, kabla ya chungaji. Elders from Mongoni, where are you? Kindly raise up your hand or you may stand up. Where elders wote kutoka Mongoni, naomba musimame. Elders wote kutoka Mongoni, naomba musimame. Tubungiane mkono. 
Asante kwa kuja. I know they are in pain. Elders kutoka Keroka, where are you? Keroka, Keroka, elders naomba msimame mtupungie mkono. Thank you for coming. Now allow me to invite all the pastors to come up front. Pastors, kindly as you come, uh, we only request you to uh, speak your name and then where you are working and then the rest will be done by the uh, presiding pastor. Um, allow me to begin from here. Na salimu ya mjambo. Mimi ni Pastor Charles Kerosi Mustafa. Steven Kengere, a retired pastor, a friend, Kumut. Lawrence, Lawrence Omoyo, uh, working at the Redolet Great Rift uh, Conference. Omote is my cousin. Pastor Stanley Machuma Nyandieka, retired from Nairobi. Pastor Kennedy Rubansi, Nyamira East, Nyamira Conference. Pastor Albert Ombiro from Central Rift Valley Conference. I'm working at uh, Temnyota District. Omote is my teacher and also a family friend. Thank you. Bwana Sibigwe. Bwana Sibigwe tena. Tumekucha hapa kitu moja. Matsina anaitwa Pastor Ebenesa. Huyu amelara Mungu alikuwa pamoja na yeye. Na wewe ulise, utaenda siku gani, utaenda namna gani? Mungu awabariki Pastor Ebenesa, Redemption Church. Kusemu ya kisi hapa. Nimebakisha wawili hapa wengine walikuwa wametaja majina nimebakisha wawili Pasta huyu ambaye amebaki hapa uh, alifanya kazi katika district ya Mongoni I'll give him uh, one or two minutes to make a statement and then uh, Pastor Daktari Julius Bichanga will pray on our behalf Mbale na kwamba nimefanya kazi Mongoni I'm the pastor for the Omote family at Keroka, Keroka North, that is. Jina langu ni Safas Angira. Mengi ya mesemwa, mengine ya tasemwa, lakini ya liwa sema mchungaji kutoka kwa kitabu ya Danieli, the Lord still reigns. Mungu anaendelea kutawala, atahali kionekana hivi. Tutaziti kumtagemea. Pastor Bichanga. Uh, to we are the Gidogo. Chief, uh, for just one announcement. Chief, where are you? Mbiyama no no pastor kote ba mbeke announcement. Do you kasi ke gusi? Kuwa sabaku mura ancha ba kenyabaitu ba bujire. Aba antu banga muare ko guanche moto ebirogo. Imbaro uche. Aso guanche na rekwa request. Mokoto kwa njere ebirogo. Toko njaba keni. Mbiyama na so guanche akora boigo. I sing you to a teva so was a book or Rokuya. Wako Mote Mugambi Rebecca Chibu Kerokan or Tabi Pole Nandege. Thank you. One thing I've been reminded of Elder Omote, Pastor Sablo Nyanumba, the Executive Secretary in Yamira Westfield, has sent these condolences together with the entire team. They are held up because of the meeting. He told me to pass. Is a sincere condolences. Biyamano Pastor Aselibaga, Nancherenda family Paul and Sabe. Though coming and Kinakuan Ereke Gusino and Egesunga Nabangukuana, you don't take a daughter of Mote Paul and the family on behalf of my father in law who lives in the US. The entire Wenga and the Bichanga family, Paul, for this kind of a loss. 
that we cannot be able to speak about. I know the family will not stand like our father-in-law all the time. But it's unfortunate that as you say it is not easy. Kusiria na intuwe pairo tia kuiruruka yura. Ndutu wale kote wanga nyasai hawale mi and it gives you a hope beyond this. And it's my prayer that sometimes it comes when we least expect that it's coming. Yes, I have a son. Let us pray. Our gracious Lord in heaven. Sometimes we lack words of how we shall present our petitions before you. We even question God, why, 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 why do you allow such to happen? Father in heaven, console the family, comfort them in a special way, and as a Kenyan citizen, Lord, we pray that may you also comfort us. Some questions can never be answered, but we thank you because you are faithful. That our Lord, regardless of the, the experience we're going through, even now, the plans you have for this family, they're good plans. Yes, how it took to us a bit of Koran, Che, Ovale me, and Obago Semel, Goetani, Kiranye, Kiagura, Senkayaba. Now, Goetanians, twenty years of Amo, Otto in Yulinga, Maine, Korara Tole, Nakero Koran, you that has got no power for your child. Your servant is almost turning to speak and lift you in this meeting. Father, we pray that it, as he stands, may it decrease as we increase. Patiently, we want to hear you, Lord. We want to Amen. Thank you, Pastor Dr. Ribichanga. Now, Allow me to invite Matutu Choir to come and invite the presiding pastor. As they come, the presiding pastor uh, is uh, the pastor to the late from Siokimau district. And uh, that's why he has come all the way. Amekuja kwa sababu ya kumboleza mshiriki wake. Uh, he's a pastor from Siokimau district, pastor to the late, and uh, uh, the latest church is uh, Siokimau East. So that's why he has come all the way, Kwamboleza, pamoja na familia kwa sababu ya mshirika wake. Um, as he prepares to come, we are glad that our President Nyamira Westfield, Pastor Dr. Thomas Nyakundi has just arrived. Um, allow me to invite him directly so that uh, we can be able to. Oh, sir. He has said, uh, let them sing first, and then we invite him to say a word. Thank you. 
Hapo ndiyo dada ya Lois ya Naimba, Sister Lucy. God bless you. Allow me to call upon uh, Pastor John Sauta, Stewardship Director, to invite our, direct, our President. Uh, Wambalezaji wa wote ambayo mefika siku ya leo uh, Nataka kuwashalimu amujambo uh, Vile duu yangu au uyu pasta amesema Ni pasta John Mumanyi Sauta from Nyamira Westfield uh, Tumekucha na kiongozi wa Nyamira Westfield uh, Sine jochote cha kusema lakini kitu kimocha ni kile ya kwamba familia hii ambayo imepata msiba mkubwa Mungu awafariji. Nataka ni murete kiongozi wetu Pastor Daktari Thomas Nyakundi ili acha sumuze alete mnenaji. Pastor tafadhali kuja. My good friend Elda Omote and spouse. They are a family that we are really close to one another besides being the minister of the gospel. He is my elder, but still we have total intimacy as friends. On behalf of myself, and on behalf of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, where you belong, I stand here to console you and the family and the good friends. The good friends and the fellow workers to our great friend, was gone beyond where we can reach. I want to say that uh, Elda, I had spoken to you the previous day and uh, I regret that uh, I did not come in time because our leader from uh, Nairobi is with us and he has a meeting. So that is the reason as why I did not arrive in time. We convey our sincere, sincere sorry to the family and friends to have lost this young, vibrant, dynamic, bright guy who was very critical to many, not one. To the family, to the church, to friends, co-workers. All of a sudden we have lost the great man. Even though I was greatly touched by the sentiment of his wife. Madam Kerubo had given a salute unto her gone husband with the following words, a captain of boundless passion, soared through the skies, his love for affiliation echoed in every fright, every journey, safety and excellence divine you beyond the cock your warmth and unwavering support uplifted us all through your final fright. Through your final fright has come. Your spirit forever souls fry high, my captain. You are our guiding star and I will miss you. Frying high my captain. 
My friends, the reason as why we are here and given this moment to consult with the family is as a result of the great captain known as Jesus. One day we shall have the final fray from earth of pain and sorrow to everlasting kingdom. Hallelujah. Baba Kirvo was Sirilio Musani Uime. Namaene ne captain. Nainde no montomongain. At the age of 26, he's already captain. Very bright guy. Rakini munakwari kana maene. It was a final fright. A final chani. Bono. Ekigyo katogo korano go kolemia. Ni fright yo moerio. Neve. Ekera vigin wons vakurus win say. There will be no an accident elsewhere along the street to the kingdom. It will be a safe trip back home. Tiganya sai akova le mubaba. Tuganyi sabali ye nene. I say, Captain, yes. Where either a technical error that caused the tragedy will never be. Everyone will sing the song of Moses and the Lamb. Going back home. May that give you courage and strength. Blessed be his name. Pastor Gitonga has been and he is the pastor of this family. I want to invite him so that he may console with us through the word of the living God. The word that will sustain our young widow and the child, Adin, and the father, Mokaya, and the rest of us who have come to console with us. May God bless you. Pastor, welcome. Thank you, President. Sante. Wana upendwa na mungu na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Kanisa hili la wana kwaya bwana asifiwe. Thank you so much. Uh, good music from the choirs. I'm grateful for the presence of our president, our ministerial ministerial. Yes, stewardship director, thank you so much. That is a gesture of love to this family. Indeed, thank you. Ten pastors in attendance. You know, that shows the kind of uh, barrier we are having. Allow me to just go quickly and say, uh, we have been condoling this family all the way from Nairobi, even here at home. And we thank God for all the messages that we have done. And allow me to say that uh, before we proceed, uh, Elfa's brother to newborn will be doing uh, the history. That is uh, after, after the preaching. Then dad, together with the entire family, they will be here as the history will be read. Then our colleagues will be praying for the family. And I believe that will be okay and will be right. Thank you. Um, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for this moment. And my question, just a question. Uh, just a question. What is life? Hello? Hello? Obogima Niki. Obogima Nimeitamka Vizuri. Obogima Niki Ninki. Eh, what is what? What is life? What is life? Can we ask the preacher, the Koelet Anaita Solomon? This is a man I like in this barrio. Um, when this tragic happened, I was trying to think, and when the family also approached and said, now pastor, you have to come and share the word of God. I was trying to contemplate on what Kitabu Nichamubiri. 
Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 12. This is where we are getting our study and uh, wakati ambapo niubo na melala hapo hanatubiria. This is the speech and he asks a question. What is life? I thank the family. Father to newborn, mother to newborn, and even the family, uh, mom to immaculate, those who have been close. I'm so grateful for the cousins who have been near this family. The question that newborn is asking, anapolala hapo anauliza, umana wa maisha ni nini? This takes me to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes. Just briefly, Ecclesiastes, what is life? Maisha ni nini? I'm so grateful. Ukiangalia eulogy and even the education aspect of uh, newborn. He was taken to the best school, father to newborn. May you be comforted that you did the best to your son. You give him the best, taking him to the best schools. And even the desire that you had for your son, it was the best. May God bless you. Thank you for that family. Number two, be comforted. That the coffin that you are seeing there, where your son is lying, the grave where we'll take the body of our brother newborn, is not the hand. Mm -hmm. It's not the hand. There is life after death. There is more after the coffin. Kuna maisha baada ya kile ambacho tunaona hapa. Mubiri anajaribu kutu jibia swali ambalo anauliza. What is life? And allow me to read from the book of Ecclesiastes. Now we can be reading now in our language. Eh? Pastor, I request that we can read it. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12. And we are going to read um, verse 1, verse 7, and verse 13. Three verses. And allow, uh, I allow my pastor to read. You can read it in our local language. That is quite okay because I'm going to read in the other language that everyone will understand. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Read verse 1, then skip, go to verse 7, then skip, go to verse 13. Only three verses. Karibu. Inasema hivi? Yes. Inyoromo tongyo, ekeroromo sae, ekerama tukama ve ataracha, na emiake yueme ve etaraika, ange... Ekerura atebe, tindi no mogoko, koba moyo asenga kibune yeiga. Kifugia saba. Elio orotundo irana seli roba, bunarua lenge, na omoika o irane, gochia senya sae, olia o yorwete. Kifugia kumina mbili? Yes. 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 Kumina tatu? Mm -hmm. Amangana onsi aigurwe. Omo elibuwa mangana on sinoyo. Omo hiro kenya sae. Na ubuwa ate ama chiko aye. Thank you. E kiagera yo na araba antobo on si. Bawene rete bakore. Thank you so much. I'm asking what is life? You know somebody said for me to understand what is life. Uh, there are two things I need to understand. And uh, for you to have value in life. You need to ask yourself two questions. For you to know the meaning and the purpose of life. Because we are congregated here because of our son. We need to understand two things. Na kila moja ambaye ya meketi hapa. Haya ndiyo mambo ya muhimu mawili unaitaji kuelewa. Somebody said, for me to recognize the reason as to why I live. There are two important days in my life I need to know. Number one, the day that I was born is very important. Number two, the day that you recognize the reason as to why you are born. That is very important. Tumelishika vizuri. Siku ambayo nilizaliwa. Jambo la pili, siku ambayo nitajua ni sababu gani ilio fanya nizaliwe. You know many of us, yes, we can seek meaning. Katika maisha, nikipata kazi zuri, that is the meaning of life. When I acquire fleets of cars, that is the meaning of life. When I reach at the top of that job, that is the meaning of life. Hata wengine wanasema, yes, you know, ninapo, ninapo ona ya kwamba nina achieve and I have the big building that is life. Newborn is preaching to us, akiwa melala hapo. Hana tuliza swali, what is the meaning of life? Tunajibu, majibu ni manne. Jibu la kwanza. Life is an adventure. Live by faith. 
Amen. Life is an adventure. Live by what? Live by faith. Tuishi kwa imani. Imani inapatikana wapi? Just the believing of what is not seen. What is not unseen. What, believing what cannot be seen. This is life. It is an adventure. Live by faith. I just like the history of this young man. Halitia bidi hata kwa kazi yake. Hakatia bidi. Ukisikia the eulogy of these pilots and the directors and everyone even in the community. If you listen to the Siokimau church and even the community. The history that you get and even when you look at the congregation that is surrounding us. You see that this guy yes had ventured. But above all he had the faith. The reason why we are here is because the dad to newborn came to our church actually two, two years back when newborn came to Sokimau. And he came to church and said, Church, I'm presenting my son to you. Kindly take care of my son. Wow! What a great testimony. I said, You know, this moved me. By the, and we did child dedication. The son you are seeing had in. We did the child dedication on the same day, presenting your son to the church. The best gift that you can give to your son and to your daughter. What is the meaning of life? It is an adventure. Live by what? Live by faith. Tuishi kwa imani. Tuishi kwa imani wapendwa. Hii maisha, the life that we live, we need to recognize that is there is creator and the owner of everything. I remember one of my friends, um, this was uh, uh, my colleague. I was asking him, you know, right, um, from Homer Bay. They were burying their mom who died at Texas in, um, in the US. And so he was telling me there are some things that we normally do. When a person dies in the US, you know, it is carrying while I'm about passengers. So an ingizwa in the Kango jet. Meaning, it is written CWV. Anafungwa vizuri. Na anandikwa CWV. Cargo without value. You know, that one also hits me. Kumbe, hata ni napo si mama. I'm just also a cargo without value. But allow me now to tell you the meaning of life. You know, sometimes, yes, I can say, I'll find meaning of life. Ni napo enda US, ni napo fanya mambo makubwa. You know, but allow, allow newborn to speak to us. Friends. And this is what he speaks. He says this. Unapo ingizu hapo, hata watu wa revenue. Wanapo kutana na kitu kimefungwa. Kwandege, kimeandikwa, you know, CNWV. They don't ask for tax. Iyo inaambiwa ipite. Cargo without value. Scientists, eh? Scientists did a research. Wakasema, mimi kama mwanadamu. Uh, human being and a human person is made up of, uh, you know, um, the, the elements that make up a human being that is potassium, sodium, calcium if a human being could be killed and also those uh, important elements extracted I'm just worth one dollar ani hile ambayo inaiza ika extractiwa katika mwili wangu just one dollar Solomon is speaking to us in a special way by the way, Solomon the richest, Solomon, the wisest. And when he writes the book of Ecclesiastes, he says, all is vanity. Hata ninajua tuko na pressure za kuondoka. Ninajua masaya ya meisha. Hakini unapo sema ya kwa manaitaji kuondoka. Remember what Solomon is saying. Nasema, all is vanity. Mwanaume ambaye aliowa wake wengi. Mia saba. Na haku ridhika. Hawa wengine, wakawa wengine wakafikisha elfu moja. You know, concubines. If you go to the palace of Solomon, you know, every day, 30 cows. Kila siku. Wewe ukijija moja, aki unazema ya kwame mimi ni mepoteza. Moja tu. Kila siku in the house of Solomon, a man, you know, who had reached at the peak of his life. 30. 30 cows. Na siyo hiyo, anachinja, you know, sheep, 100. Hiyo siku kama siyo sheep, anachinja goats, 100. Yani, Kwake ilikuwa ni kamba kambi. Watu walikuwa wanaenda pale. He was a rich, rich person. Anapofikia at the level, he comes to say, friends, all this, nalifrayata, nasema ya kwamba, siku nyima macho yangu kuangalia kilicho kizuri. I'm asking congregation, what is life? 
Solomon alitafuta maisha. Utajiri alikuwa nao. If you are here and you are rich, let me tell you. Hard value to people. Point number two says, you know, we are saying life is an adventure. Sijamaliza Solomon. Life is a gift. Enjoy it and live for the glory of God. Life is a gift. Enjoy it and live for the glory of who? Of God. Solomon anasema si kunyima macho yangu kama ni wanawake. Eh hey, naliangalia. Waliokuwa warembo nikawaambi hata sio kuuliza can you be my wife? Eh hey. macho yangu si kunyima kama ni ra nalitafuta lakini anapoenda katika hiyo yote anasema ya kwamba life is meaningless. It's like just grasping the wind ni kama kukimbiza na kukamata upepo. Friends what is life? Ni yupo na nauliza maisha ni nini? Wakati kijana mdogo anaposoma, anatia bidii. Wakati maisha yake inapokuwa katika hali ambayo sasa, you know, peak to settle, to start enjoying and working. You know, at such a tender age, that is when the life is cut short. Can I ask you, what is the meaning of life? Number three, second to last, life is hard. Get wisdom. Proverbs 1.7. Proverbs 1:7. Can we read to the congregation? Proverbs 1:7. Life is hard. Get what? Wisdom congregation we are preaching together. Life is an adventure. Live by what? Live by faith. Hata Solomon anasema kwamba mimi naliishi kwa imani. Ni kweli, niliishi kwa imani. Number 2 he says life is a gift. Enjoy it and live for God's glory. Whatever you are doing, make sure you live for God's glory. Newborn lived for God's glory. You know, even the workmates can confess on Saturday, Newborn could not go to, to, to work. Used to go to work, to, to church. You know, it's good. Live for God's glory. We don't know about tomorrow. If today could be my last day on earth, na congregation kusanyika, what would be my fate? What is the meaning of life. It's an adventure. Kindly live by what? By faith. Number two, life is a gift. You know, do what? Live for the glory of who? Of God. And our friends, allow me to say that life is hard. You need to get what? Wisdom. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. Inasema namna gani? Proverbs 1 verse 7. Inasema nini? The fear of God Uko moiro komo nene, no romo cha kano bwechi semi, abaliri, ni gobago cha yobo ngaini, na ama oro kerelio. Bwana sifiwe, this takes us to the last word, ambayo inasema, life is short, live for others, and in fear of God. Amen. Proverbs, anasema ya kwamba, you know, just knowing God, this is everything that is required. Je, unamjua mungu? Do you know God? You know, sometimes we joke with life. What to work on a stress in yingi? On a seminar, Lijaribu kutafuta umana wa maisha katika mali, lakini bado, napata watu wanajiua. In the US, wameset rooms where you can kill yourself. Eh, ukisikia maisha ime kuchosha, wacha huku tunakimbizana na wewe huku kwa forest. Ati tunayenda kupata umejianika huko. US, wameweka rooms. Kama maisha ime kushinda, unayenda hapo. Wakona receptionist. Eh, Na kuuliza, okay, umekuja kujua, eh, get in. Unaingia kwa rooms, the first room, ukiingia iko na gun. Kama unataka kujua, you can kill yourself with a gun. Unaenda another, another room, kuna kamba, wameanika. Unaweza ukajua kwa kamba. Unaenda the next room, kuna kisu. Unaweza ukajidunga nduka, ukakufa. Ukienda the next room, kuna mandawa ya mewekwa hapo, uta Nyua, ukufe pole pole, hata ukiwa usiki uchungu. Eh, hiyo unakufa. Ukienda in another room, wanakuambia hivi. If you are fearing to kill yourself, you can hire us to kill you. <laughs> so you can choose, you can choose whichever way you want to die. You know, people are stressed. What is the meaning of life? Can I tell you that as Solomon concludes, and my attention is in verse 13, the Bible says, this is the meaning of life. 
And this is what newborn is telling us. Don't kill yourself. I want to give you the meaning of life. He says, remember now your creator in the days of your youth. We are burying a young man. Solomon said, even high as a youth, I searched and looked for all this, but I did not get any meaning. I found that life and all is vanity. But at the end of it, uh, Solomon writes and says, then the dust will return to the earth as it was, and the spirit will return to God who gave it. That happens during death. Dio maana tunazungukwa na tukona mwili wa newborn hapa. Tunaenda kuweka huo mwili katika kaburi. Verse 13, he says, let us now hear the conclusion of the whole matter. He says, fear who? God. This is the conclusion of the matter. After garnering all the wealth and having all the experience, you know, going with all kila ali ya maisha, na nikatafuta yaani raha zote za dunia, this is the conclusion of life. It is to do what? Fear God and keep his commandments. Brethren, I know there are young men who are also being shocked by the death of newborn. The death of newborn reminds us that as young people, yes, we can also die. So Solomon asks us, he's asking us, what is the meaning of life? He says, fear God and keep what? Keep his commandments. Kama uko hapa, hata kama siku moja ujawe sikia na ukafikiria hiyo, newborn is speaking, fear God and keep his commandments. Na kumbuka siku moja, while just traveling, na mindi bus, gari, wanaume wanakunyo pombe, wanakunyo, you know, they are smoking. Guys, in, in a just a van. Na hii ndiyo nilijua hata wale ambao wanakunyo pombe. Yesu wanawaita leo, muoko lewe. And be just fear God and give glory to him. The meaning of life, you can't take it in alcohol, in cigarette smoking. Because Jesus says in John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whatsoever believes in him shall not do what? Shall not perish but have what? Eternal life. Amen. Amen. That minibus got an accident. Likuwa na walevi. Wanaume walikuwa na vuta zigara. Wana wambia, you know, this is not an environment to smoke. Wana sema wewe wacha iyo. Wana ume walikuwa wamelewa. Iyo matatu. Just after short, a few kilometers, it got an accident. He can roll. Can even recall the way it was rolling, eh? You know, two times, many people wakaumia. Kitu cha kushangaza, sawa. Mangorudumu inaangalia juu, watu anatokea kwenye vio za nyuma pande hii ngine, na kumbuka, at a given moment, nikisaidia mama mbaya likuwa na mtoto. Mana nilijisikia ya kwamba sijaumia. Lakini kutoka inje, nika kutana na wala wanaume walikuwa walevi. Imagine what? The guys were not drunk. They were kneeling down and saying, thank you, Jesus. You have saved our lives. You, you drug men, you pretend yourself to be drunk just to come to church. You know, this is where you belong. Wanaume walio kuwa wanavuta sigara, wanasema, mungu wa sande maana umetuwa kuwa. May you make God a priority in your life. This is the message that newborn is preaching while he is still sleeping there. Make God your priority. Na kumbuka kijana moja, ali, 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 alipo, alipo ambiwa ya kwamba, you know, come and be saved. Akasema ya kwamba, I want to have my PhD, and then I come to church. A true story. I remember after graduating, even during masters, and I said, no, I don't want this. Lakini afterwards, after more convictions, akasema ya kwamba, no, I will not go to any church. I want to achieve my PhD first, and then I start going to church. What happened? Alipo graduate. You remember the Mpeketoni issue? Wakati al-Shababu walifamia Mpeketoni. During the time he graduated, the following week, serikali wakampatia kazi. Kampatia appointment letter. You are posted to Mpeketoni. Akiwa with all the certificates. It is so painful. Hiyo siku walio fika, al-Shababu ndiyo walifika. He was amongst those guys who died there. What am I trying to ask? What is the meaning of life today? As we travel to Nairobi, as we go back to our residence, go asking yourself, what is the meaning of life? Meaning of life, you know, it is not to attain all those levels that I desire in my academics. It is not to attain all those levels that I desire, you know, in my social life. And all this, 
But the meaning of life is just to fear God and to keep his commandments. Amen? To fear, to fear God. And the meaning of life is to live for others. Hard value to others. Value people. Hard value to people. Cherish people. Thank you for coming in large numbers and being still to listen to this message. As we pray and as we have the last prayer, I request this even from all this congregation. May we value God. May we give God a priority. May we know that death strikes. Anyone here is a potential candidate. But thanks to God, yes, the first death comes as a result of sin. But you know, as long as you are in Christ Jesus, the first death has no power in you. You know, siku moja tutauliza kifo. Death, where is your sting? You know, guvu zako ziwapi. Where is your sting? That time we'll be enjoying and we'll be happy. That will be the end of death. Family of newborn. This is the message that the newborn has prepared. Life is an adventure. And all the young people who are here, live by faith. Life is a gift. Enjoy it and live for God's glory. Because there are some who enjoy it not in the best way possible. Kindly enjoy it, but live for God's glory. Life is hard. Get wisdom. Mm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Wisdom, it rotates there. And life is short. Friends, live for others and fear God and give God the glory. Wapendwa, life is just short. Family members, father, come. Dad to newborn. Mom, parents to immaculate and our uh, colleagues, our pastors, just come. We surround the family. We offer a final and a closing uh, prayer. And even as they come, we have our president here who is going to pray for the family. And uh, help us now you can come with the program because from there now we'll be moving very swiftly. Be reminded that the fear of God is the only thing that we can cherish in this life. I thank this man. I thank this man. If it were not God, I don't know where he would be. You know, nilipo uliza na babake newborn. That is a man who knows God and who cherishes God. That to newborn, stick there. But stick there. No matter the kind of frustrations. Wale ambao wanaita newborn. Hanko. Hawa watoto pia tunawaitaji kuwaombea. We need to pray for them. Just to come here. Don't forget. Just to come here. And uh, the elders and the pastors, we are surrounding this family. We want to dedicate them before the presence of God. Sweet our prayer. Thank you. Saheri Yamaombi. Thank you. Sing, yeah. Yugo Saba. Let's do it. Justice stanza one. Stanza one. Then. Saheriya Yugo Saba. Close relatives. Susan and your team, cousins, where are you? You stood with the newborn up to the last moment. Kindly, I want to see you. Susan, you can sing it in your language. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, congregation. We give our president time to pray for the family. Let us pray. Our gracious Father in heaven, we are here because of what you already know befell to this family. You gave Newton time and the age to live on earth. And the father, you were there when you rested. We want to pray the Lord, you may comfort the family that is right before you. That my father, my God, you shall comfort them beyond the human understanding. And that give them a hope beyond what we are experiencing. 
Father, we pray that you may stand with the parents. It's never been easy for parents to bury a young. But we pray the Lord may you stand with them in this particular moment when they need you more. Amen. With the brothers and sisters. And the more abundantly, Father, we pray for the widow that has been left at this age. Your word is clear that you shall stand with the orphan and the widows. Father, we pray that now take the position that you have promised us to Amen. believe on. Amen. From now on, Ebu Christo na weze kuwa tosheresha katika familia hiyo. Amen. Na saidi ya yote uwafariji utembe pamoja nao na sante for the assurance that in that resurrection morning, because your child, your servant, the captain made a decision. The Lord, we shall meet in that morning. Amen. May we walk with this hope from now till that morning. Amen. Be with the family. Comfort them. Encourage them. Give them a hope beyond the grip. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, I Uri Moyo. Go to ensi tuachira nechi nkoro chobwoba. A singi ncho yo mwana ni uboni arahalide. Bono umwancho yo tigaide. Na umwana moke ukuru kwa din. Tato mwabo na mamu mwabo na ba mwabo. Tuwa tiga ire tole moyo. Iko tuwa chako sangane ya mate yo mote. Nga yesae uba obole mu. Kia gera chinkoro cha hiri ya nyekire mono. Wono ba obole mu boli kwa hiri te sobo mariam. Ekero mariam wale kolera. Nga jeso onyo ba mumuru mintu tali kurara. Ukamotevia inche nincho kuboka. Pia mwono mwono ne kia gera linga ne linga na yo kuboka. Na lidiyo karigere teturaba kirisi to. Onde buwensi urari le ime ya jeso. Yohana iga kurandinga so kwege no tumire kuruwa sama kweli go ikobo gima wakare na kare. Wano ngu sabatole. Omwana oyevu na kwa liete hiri anga nore ende chintakana na babora ka omore ende. Ave moyo. Elinda manyenga isega rarete kege nete yesu muno mabori oyevu. Elinde na mamu mwabo li tuko li liya jieso kuja bantu bao kuruense bao umerane no muanchi obo. Bono bao bole mubuwe ime. Na hindi bao gose melia. Bono li etali ya uliba kwe kia gara basani na bahiri na bakristo ba mwabo na hindi chinkoro chito cha chiri nse. Lakini na botu maitili ingane ilimo. Asa manganonsi tevi nyasai ngambu ya mono. Tuakuba kirenga nubu ate sabab. Yageru gatiga umuana niubu ni akarara. And we shall know that one day. When we shall be frying to the kingdom. Along with our captain Jesus Christ. As we shall be singing the song of the Lamb. Great be thy name. Blessed be this family. Blessed be the friends. As long as they trust in our Savior, salvation is assured. Sao <laughs> Kia gira tuwa savira as Christo yoromo bori yu ito. Amen. Kia. President will start from there. Tigomo nena vaisi. 
you greet the family. Yeah. Then Elphas, kindly you. you can make a step forward. Oh, yes, At the same time, you'll be reading the eulogy. After Elphas, dad to newborn, give a speech and then we will proceed. We will proceed. Kindly, we can do that. There is a team that is requesting. They can't leave uh, the body here. These are the team that used to work with the newborn. And uh, it, it will be good, a good gesture. As they are doing it, Mboareki, Eliongi Kenka. This is a very special song. Mlepona Mwili Lipofika Subui. They tried singing it. So it's a very special song to this family. So vile wanapo waombea member. Let's sing for them this song. Mboareki, Eliongi Kenka. All of us, let's do this song. How far from home? Umwendogani Yumbai. How far from home? Let's go. Mwareki Yomikenka Nere Morendi Akairamdia Otuko Oro Waerire Angebo Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ali Faz Omote. I am the firstborn in this family, a family of three. There is me, there is my brother Chris, Crispus, and our youngest brother, newborn. Uh, before I Before I read the eulogy, my brother Chris would like to say a few words. Go ahead. Um. Is 
up the way that we are. Thank you so much for and uh, we hope that go. thing i want to say thank you for to my friends i know uh probably they were not recognized but i know there are, there are a lot of friends so i really want to say thank you to them and uh May God bless you all. I stand in representation of my brother Chris, who is who could not be here. And um, as he said, we are grateful to each one of you for being here. Before I read, before I read the eulogy, allow me to say a few words about my brother, newborn. My brother Newborn was the youngest of us three and the core memory that I have of him and myself is the love that we had amongst us. In my tribute I talked about how I would always kiss Newborn on the cheeks as we were kids so much so that he would go and complain to my parents. <laughs> that I just keep kissing him, so he, he keeps kissing me, mom. As an adult, Newborn was a professional. There are three things that I get from the life that he lived as a professional. The first thing is that love what you do, do it with commitment, dedication, and excellence. My brother em embodied all those qualities. As an older brother who was away for many years, I had little influence over his development as a man, yet Newborn turned out to be an exemplary human being who touched many lives. If you look around you, we are here because of him. To my brother Chris, I'm sorry especially to you, for losing a confident, a close friend and a brother. You shared everything with newborn and such a loss cannot be explained. I cannot fill that void and no one ever will, but I do hope that we can find ways to keep our brother's memory and legacy alive. To my parents, my mom, my dad, Few people can understand your pain and sadness. I have seen both of you weep for your son in, in, in immeasurable pain, and I'm sorry that you've had to experience such grief. I've been trying to console myself over the past few weeks since newborn died, and nothing has really worked. The one thing that I found to give me an ounce of hope was these words in Revelation 1 verse 18, which say, this is John speaking, saying that when I saw him, I felt at his feet as if I were dead. But he laid his right hand on me and said, don't be afraid, I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I died, but look, I am alive forever and ever. To my parents, this is the words I want you to keep in mind. 
Jesus says, I hold the keys of death and the grave. There's no person on planet earth who can wake up our brother. But Jesus says that I hold the keys of life, of the grave and death. And so one day we'll get to see him. Captain Newborn Omote was born on November 15, 15, 1998, in Chitago Village, and tragically passed away at the age of 25, not 26, at age 25, in a plane crash on March 5, 2024. Newborn was a dedicated pilot and, an ins and instructor at the 99th Flying School. He was known for his charming personality and devotion to his family and community. He lives behind his beloved wife, Immaculate, Kerubo Orori, and their son, Aiden Omote Mokaya. Captain Nubon Omote was born in the serene environment of Chitago Village, Masaba County, North Sub-County, Namira County to James Omote Mokaya and Lois Nyakerario Omote. Newborn, his educational journey, he attended Nineveh Academy, where his educational foundation was laid. From class one to four, Newborn attended Nemora Academy. He continued his studies, building, building, knowledge, building knowledge and character. From class five to eight, Newborn attended Erong Adventist Boarding Primary School, and these were the formative years shaped, where he shaped his aspirations. Newborn attended Nyambari High School in Form 1, which is uh, where he, this, uh, he marked a new chapter in his life. From Form 2 to Form 4, doing his KCSC in 2016, Newborn was at Kanyawanga High School, where he, he reached his academic peak. Newborn's pa passion for aviation soared to new heights at the 99th Flying School in Nairobi. In 2017, he joined the esteemed school, and by 2019, he, learned, he earned his private pilot license, license which, which was fueled by his dedication and love for the skies. In 2021, he obtained his commercial pilot license. In 2022, he achieved an instructor rating, which enabled him to become a flight instructor at the 99th Flying School personal life and interests. Beyond the cockpit, Newborn embraced life fully. If you knew my brother, you knew that you loved chickens and just rearing them. His love for poultry, farming, and animal rearing was evident. Fish, fish keeping became more, of a, more than a hobby. He turned it into a successful business with Aquabest Aquarium Store in Nairobi. Music flowed through his veins playing the piano and singing were cherished family traditions. Newborn was an active member at the Amabuko SDA Church Youth Association. He was a Sabbath school member and an active member of the Adventist Men Association of the Siokimau East SDA Church. He was a singer and a lover of sacred songs. Amidst achievements and passions, immaculate, stood as newborn's anchor. Their marriage was a testament to love and commitment. Together they wel welcomed their son, Aiden Omote Mokaya, who, was, who has brought immense joy to their lives. On March 5th, 20. On March 5th, on March 5th, 2024, at 9.45 a.m., Captain Newborn Omote's life was cut short by a plane crash. He left behind his dear wife, Immaculate, and their son, Aiden. His legacy as a skilled aviator and devoted family man will forever soar in our hearts. Thank you all. Thank you.
Ah, uh, kipenda nimkaribishe baba newborn <coughs> elder Omote to speak. All right. Um All my friends from all walks of life I've seen great friends those I was with in uh, high school actually all, all levels so to say then I also saw some of my friends I was with at my A levels I've seen a large number all my friends I was with in uh, university at the Kenyatta University 1990 lot I am overwhelmed with the love that has been brought by my colleagues I work with in Homer Bay I'm very glad to see my boss the account secretary professor Mock I'm happy to see my great friend Waziri in charge of governors Grace Mercy I've seen you I saw Dr Peter who was actually here and the rest of the staff members from Homer Bay yesterday was a day when our members from the Public Service Board was here to see us at our home and the Homer Bay fraternity. Therefore, I want to appreciate you. I want to thank you. Members of the CQ Mao Church, members of my church at Amabuko, members of my community where I come from, Chitago, the area leaders. We have our chief, we have our MCA, who is actually right here. We were visited at our home by the area member of parliament, Honorable Gisairo. We were visited in our home by our women representative, Honorable Jerusha. We have been overwhelmed by friends of all walks of life, as I've said. All mourners may have inadvertently forgotten. Kindly, with a lot of humility, raise your hands to greet me. Thank you so much. The community from Nairobi, which gave us overwhelming support, led by my son, Bogita, and many others. I can't name all of you. My nephews, my uncles, and everybody. I am really very much excited. <coughs> Those who come from where my son is married, led by my great friend, James Orori. I don't know what happened. And I want to pray God to help me not to be emotional at this point. <clears throat> Somehow, I share a name with the, my cholera, where my son has married. Funnily enough, my son Chris shares a name with another son of uh, um, my friend or my, my in-law. So what a coincidence. I want to thank you all for the support of given us morally and spiritually. The great men of God from where my son and the wife used to go to church, the Sukimo church, led by our pastor and the elders, Elder Nyange, and the rest of you, I want to appreciate you. I am not very sure what to say here. 
but uh, let me just say <coughs> that we are a small family, uh, the family of three, if I can say. This young man, I call him young man because he follows me, he's my brother, I follow, and uh, because my elder brother passed on, we are the two of us, and we keep saying, let us keep the bond. I want to ask my family to stand here with me. <coughs> Sorry. Maybe my wife can stand. My daughter can stand. My son, Elphaz, where are you? Yeah. So, um, this is us. I have my son, Elphazia, as he said, is our firstborn in our family. Uh, we don't have what to, expre to, 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 to express the love we have for this young man. But I thank God for him. He has been there for us. He has advised us. He has guided us. And uh, we feel the love and the warmth. My wife, Lois, has been very supportive to us. Uh, very kind. Very straight. And, uh, uh, you know, very motherly to these children. My daughter, Immaculate, is the wife to the late. And I think that is all. My colleague, if you can just come. Uh, this is a very lovely, it's a very lovely man with Madam Esther. Madam Esther, please. These are the parents to Immaculate. Then we have uh, this is the Crispus. This is this guy is this gentleman is called Crispus. He's called Crispus, and I also have a Crispus. So when Crispus was being caught on the other side, I was also getting a Crispus this side, so to say, the end light moment. Eh? This is uh, Simon. Simon is the small. Uh, where is uh, Brian? Brian is here. Brian is um, the firstborn of that family where we are married from. This is us. We have been supported overwhelmingly by my daughter, uh, Susan, please just come over. These are people that we cannot wish away. I don't want to mourn, I don't want to cry because of the love I have for this daughter of mine. But thank you, my daughter, for being there for us. Followed by, we have Dorcas. This is, these are the, this is the family now my brother. Then we have Job. Job is there. That is, uh, that is Job. We have my mother, Anne. My mother, Anne. My mother, Anne. My mother, Anne. But please just come, kindly. Just come. Nyumbon uh, is not going to die twice so that uh, people can see you. It's only today. Yeah. Uh, this <coughs> this lady was married to my late brother, <coughs> and I keep saying that um, uh, I was in class three when she came over, standard three. There are many things I had not known, but now I can confidently say that I know many things because of the leadership that we have experienced from, from her. Thank you. Now, oh, Regina. <laughs> Regina is, uh, kind of Regina, just raise up your hand, is uh, the daughter, there are two sisters in that family, or my in-law, and that is it. Now, thank you. Um, <clears throat> thank you, my voice is becoming a bit coarse, but it's okay. Um, just allow me to say, Two things. The Sikimau Church, you are uh, our friends. As we had started, keep on assisting this young family to come up, to grow up spiritually. That is one. Number two, my son, newborn, attracted everybody. He, I think, was unique in his own ways. Very unique because of what he used to do. 
he was um, so loved to us and um, he wanted to know everything at the same he was just everything just to with because at that tender age being a flight instructor is not something very easy so all my colleagues and friends i think i want to stop there because i don't want to if i proceed a bit i might uh, might break if i'm allowed with the if i'm allowed um Oh, Gideon, my very able in law, kindly, where are you? Thank you. This gentleman has been very supportive, very supportive to us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my colleague. As we're standing like this, if I will be allowed by the leadership, I want to, uh, I want to ask my, my two leaders, Madam Grace, kindly, just come over. And uh, my, my boss, the council secretary, just kindly please come over just even to take a photo with you will be very consoling will be very consoling i don't know who else i didn't see you are the, the yeah yes <coughs> no 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 oh, chief of staff is there kindly charles is he there chief of staff oh yes kindly thank you i didn't see you i just just to take a photo with you uh I, it's so nice it's good to see you Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, thank you, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Abo tiga tu kuani gitu, abo tapa edi, terus jin tujuh tujuh tu kore, tu tak jen tukan rekor lagi, tujuh korat tu kore, ano angguccha, tu tapa edi riba koroce, ikon ngapa koke, ya, gue kato pa edi agara, gue koro siari, eh, ane pa edi gue ba tapa jira bang kesana, watu homa be tapa dali, ino em kono, everybody, everybody from mobile, the whole county is here, the whole county is here, I'm telling you, everybody is here, uh, everybody is here, thank you so much, maybe. Says you want to something so. To the family of uh, our brother James Mokaya, to the whole family, the people of Nyamira. Good afternoon. It's uh, such afternoon that uh, it's so difficult to get the right words to speak because the pain is uh, deep in our hearts. Um, we are here as the people of Homa Bay, who are the colleagues of James. Once again, please allow me to ask the team from Homa Bay to just stand up and wave. Please stand up where you are. You can see by the numbers, we love James. I don't know, I've been with him for the last two years, but uh, I, I, I don't know if there is any who can say he's, he's an enemy to him. I've never seen his enemy. James is always with us. He's always money. He's always encouraging us. Actually, as the senior member, in terms of years, that is here. So, I can't pretend that I, I feel the pain that you're feeling. It's very unique pain. Because no one of us would like to lose a son, lose a son of that son age. Of that age. I've looked at the tributes that people have written there, and clearly, newborn had a future. He had a very bright future ahead of him, but all we leave it to God. There's nothing else that we can say. God knows why things happen, and we leave it to God. May I ask my colleague to say a word, please? Yes. Um, to the church, Mr. Mukaya, Mama Lois, and family, relatives, and friends. Um, we are here from the county just to let you know that we care about you and that we are with you in prayers. Mr. Mokaya is a very special member of our team. This is why there are so many of us here, but for me in particular, he has been a very good friend 
I am somebody who is new to government. Mr. Mokaya has held my hand. He has helped me to navigate many things. He has helped me to find places where to find resources. I am particularly thankful and I'm very sad, Mr. Mokaya. All I can say is that we continue to pray for you and that we love you. Asante, uh, James na familia, wenzangu wameongea, yangu itakuwa ni kuombea mungu, awarehemu, na awafariji, na awape nguvu. It's not easy, it's not possible to say we know what you're feeling, but God knows what you're feeling. And I want to tell you, everything that happens, happens with the divine purpose and acceptance of God. As God's creation, yetu ni kunyanyekea, na kuomba Mungu atupe uwezo wa kuweza kudhibiti na kuweza kuendelea kama inavyohitajika kwa mpango ya Mungu. We also have with us here a team of uh, chief officers. We also have with us here a team of chief officers who have just arrived. Uh, we have from the left is uh, uh, Samuel uh, Owigo, who is the chief officer for irrigation. Ben Amwanda, who is the chief officer for... Uh, Police Obang, who is the chief officer for trade, water. 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 Yeah. Then we have Professor uh, Ogweno, who is the chief officer for environment and climate change. And who was actually working with James. He has been working with James very closely. So you can see the whole team of uh, our country is here. If it was possible, the governor could have been here, but she's not out, out of the country. We say Poleri Sana, Mungo Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kindly, I want to request the 99 team. The 99 team, kindly, you can come for a photo with us. The 99 team, please. The 99 team. The 99 team, please. For a photo, the 99 team. Mwami Abiwa. The mic is free to learn, it doesn't go around. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Requesting with a lot of humility, our great friends, the 99 team, to come and take a photo with this family. Thank you. Omumuro yone abantu bami ndumura nabarenge abarenge buna ba iga iga igambo boroje arenge age no nya sai no muya lakini ka beire we don't want to say anything much um uh okay Napoendelea kwa picha naomba mabuko mabuko kwaya mko wapi mabuko kwaya naomba mji hapa mbele mabuko kwaya naomba msimame oh nimewaona tulia tulia tutawaambia tulia i just want to know where you are
thank you so much. Kindly, the 99 team in particular, kindly say bye to your colleague by just raising up your hand like that. All of you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, kindly take your seats. And uh, I want to request my family also to take their seats. Um, allow me to ask my friend Victor, Victor Momanyi. Naomba tutulie. Kindly, Victor, kindly Naomba please. Tutulie. Naomba tutulie. Naomba tutulie. Program inaendelea. Naomba tutulie kindly. Let's be silent. Kuna fiongozi mbali mbali ambao wamekuja haba. We have speaker of our county. We have a, a, a former MP in this area. And the several other people who have come. Naomba tutulie so that uh, we give Victor uh, time to speak as we go to the other program. Thank you, our pastor and the director of ceremony for now. I want to say no matter the circumstances, good afternoon. Na wakwa ni mbiamole? Mbiamono. Una mwai wa James ya tevire. Elietari anayankoro kwa Victor Mokaya. Ona abuge tama ambia. Na wangu kolega as officer of the president. Na andeo na achire. Again, take a tanga ni James. And your wife. Kwa saiba pole. Sama ngana ya tonyo olire. And also to the 99 school. Tunasema pole. Because... This was part of your organization. Uh, I want to mention, again, I came on, uh, I'm in touch with the department of air accident investigation. We have talked even up to one hour ago. I was going to talk about the investigation. I was going to talk a newborn and uh, the other student and what happened with the, the accident. So I have instructions because they work under the official secrets act, that's what we said. The investigation is not yet complete because Navakora locally we gave a certified again na IATA, the International Association of Air Transport. So Unatokora Iga and I will on Monday Kora nyole wa Timo Kirake will hold a family meeting with Captain Lucano, the director of investigations. Tonyo ora preliminary brief before they walk all the way to Canada. So Mbako Nyara go to Tebia March for now until the global body are called and then to do a common report. So thank you so much, Sogocha. Nandebu na naachire. James just uh, is to give me a minute. Prof. I've come here all the way with uh, a great friend, Professor Oyukombeche from the Department of Civil Engineering in the University of Nairobi, who is well versed with what is going on here. I've come with uh, Chosfat Sagero Legaiga and Kennedy Nyambati, Kuruwase Minister of Devolution, to answer that information into Aigutole Amo. So, Oyonere Nyambati, Chosfat Nero Ikaransira Alia, but Professor Igarueta alia seitelia kavera kuru professor yukombeche muiwete lieta ne lieto rakini aruete kano you are part of us it's an area of concern because you are called from uh, the U.S. up to here so I'll give him a minute to say a word and then we finish sorry moenga mosi orinoara also not only nera as minister of education. As part of the team, Eliego Chakoenda commit the director of investigation, Captain Lucano. Prof, I think we'll give you the chance to say hi. Yeah. 
So on our behalf is Professor who is going to talk, and then the rest of us will sit. Thank you. Na wasalimia wote. Mimi vile nimefika hapa. Ni kusema tu pole. Na sina mengi ya kusema tena. Pole sana. Wasania wa area wa mate wa James Omote. Pola so kala tama gompa na ituna rotu wa letira so mochi o jiga. Inche na fikto yoku wa novelete ego tiembaliri. Dutu wa sonete suti to kanda kala ta ngina maremu. Dutu wa leko machi ali mutu chinga kiecho. Na ndewa ono tu wachira, tiba tu wacha sovu ya, tu wachira sama kombo. Tote banyasare tomo lembe. Na ntuba tigara masabo, wademe, bia mano. Wambole saji ya mjambo. Inchea marieta anjo sifati ya baga sakero. Kurusa utumogirango. Otu walenge kerasi ya kemo. Na chemsi omote e university. Ndiraba ntuba wata yanga tinki etskuru. Abonsi na otu walenge na warabu. Moga minyambati na nge ni nge te skuru. Omote pole. Thank you. Pole. Karona are kolege li omote andao. Ki nkoru Nairobi na are karobo ki itate ya vanga. Omuano li otigarete. Oyo omanya saato ete. Na bako vege nte kene muna indra gandhi. Nchoy onte ni na ano omuano vye ntakana. Tata kaevuru 1927. Ngi naka ku 28. Na isaka ku 29. Lakini na wata ata atolerete baka toka baba antu. Omoto minto no mongina. Mwano li asati kete baka abo mwondo. Ekenege ntege kongu. Na andege kongu. Lakini asaye na ama etenga tasire tibosa. Tika amba tebi kiyo mwali opina andeke tinko bati nteba. Tika otu warenge university. Onyo mwano li ole nge muno omote. Aba anto mba etu wakora anga bata toba neiga. Uyi vikta. Mukaya, Omote, Charles, Charles Manyara, na wanto wande yiku mina wawo mati yangi. Pa arenge kanisa. Waka nye toko cha kwa nyasai 1987. Ntuwa wande katuwa jete university, ntuwa raswa etira. Lakini Omote taswa etira anyo lili tukerimo. Mati yangi taswa etira. Thank you. Viki tataswa etira. Lakini nje rana haka matete. Pa koko tengango tengana arenge. Onyo mwano liyo lenge muno omote. Paede ya bantava ya mbaliko vera nse. Ama uji ni ntutora. Ama antwa tonya kwa kolebi na ntutora. Yesu ga kwe tole 33 years. Bia mwano. Kwe ka jemisi ya lego sirole 33 years. No modio na kabe ilo ngeliba kake gandara. Alirake na araba sani ba na nyoleba tuliba gana rache ni galia. Na roli na galia. Umo vero yu oromo nene tula lakini njenge koliki omote. Omote nyasago konye. Watemile. Na nyasago konye. Na haba antobonsi mwere ga. Elio mo elio. Moko ruwa. Mosa vere familie. Moko ruwa. Mosa vere mosuwati olio tigarete. Mosuwati olio nyasago konye. Akini umuano olia. Abo monto muna tole ga. Asa yama ke. Nyasago konye. Numa nga minyambati mja koko raga. Nde etali nsi age kolia. Ninche nchi obisi ya wenge ntombe ke mono. Thank you. Bia mono. Bia mono. Bia mono. For the interest of time. Biamono, thank you, thank you. Uh, for the interest of time, for the interest of time, Amabuko Tenagocha, Mabuko Tenagocha, Mabuko, Mabuko Ngaimole, Tenagocha, get some containers for the interest of time. Then, as soon as we finish, Pastor Isaiah and Josabe, as soon as we are done with the Ogosangeriero Ngori. Then I'll hand over the mic to the area MCA, Honorable Nyambega Gisesa. It will take us to the next program uh, in a few minutes. Kindly, let us be patient. Pastor Isaiah, now Abu Morandia Uomote, Tiga Tokolerosa. Naomba tutulie tuombe, tupate kusanyo. Kusaba tole, tunaomba tuombe, tulieni. 
Baba yetu uliye juu mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe wema wako na fadhili zingae katika familia hii ambayo kwa wakati huu inasononeka ikiwa imempoteza mpendwa wakati huu tunapoingiza mikono yetu mifukoni kwa ajili ya kuwapa faraja ya kifedha naomba utubariki na yote yatimike katika jina la Yesu aliyemwombezi wetu tunapoenda kwa maombolezo a uh, ngoenda tole tuale rabuna bagusi igobono ngole ra tole mna bagusi tuna tungependa kuomboleza pamoja na familia kwa ajili ya matoleo na ni kwa ihari yako kwa hivyo naomba ama buko muende kule juu hili wale ambao wako hapa mbele labda wataleta kwa uh, we have a container here wale ambao wametumwa na wamechituma pia mnaisaleta uh, kwa sababu tukimaliza then i land over the mic to honorable nyambe agisesa to bring us the, re, the remaining team kwa ajili ya kuomboleza kwa hivyo naomba kama umekuja kuomboleza naomba utoe kwa hiari yako kwa sababu it's our tradition yule ambaye ametumwa singependa tuongee ningependa tu useme yule ambaye amekutuma na ulete matoleo yako Pia mwana uh, honorable Jerusalem Omanyi na ntomela 3000 shillings na alikuwa ba mwananchi lakini gawa held up in parliament and she has been with the family all along since this tragedy happened thank you very much Hizo isi atungependa tufuate mkondo huu Awala ambao mko hapa mnaisaleta hapa mbele wala ambao mko hapa kwa kibanda hichi mnaisaleta hapa mbele tunapokusanya let us give wholeheartedly for those who are willing to give kindly let us give wholeheartedly you can come up front uh, ama mtu anaweza kuja pale kwa hivyo asante elder wala ambao mngependa kutoa kindly let us give wholeheartedly let us give for the sake of the family for those who have been sent mnaweza leta wakili henelo on henry ongeri pia hamjambo ah uh, ana tomirwe na wakili henry ongeri kwa jina ya kisiasa bwakire se amenipatia shilingi 3000 na kaniambia niwaambie hapa getutu maneno mawili tu moja mukae pamoja ya pili msipokaa pamoja mtaanguka nyonyo nyote asante tafadhali hakuna kuongea kama unakuja unanipatia na tangaza yule ambaye amekutuma kindly kindly the honorable cliff gisairo area mp kitutu masaba is away on a an official mission in the US he was with us and he sent uh, his contribution of 50000 to the organizing committee in Nairobi so kindly uh, we recognize him and his support biamono asante kuna yote ambaye alitumwa kuna yote standby who was sent ah uh, kwaya kwaya naomba muingie pale katikati hili mliwese kuleta kama umemaliza you can bring here kama umemaliza mnaisaleta hapa kama umemaliza naomba mlete hapa hili i hand over the mic to our MCA to take us to the next program which will be very brief okay wala ambao mmekusanya kama kuna yote ambao you feel that you want to give kindly you can bring up front tutulie tutulie wengine ambao wamebaki kwa kutoa ni wale ambao wataletwa na mheshimiwa uh, wakati tumemaliza kwaya kama umemaliza naomba mlete hapa nabo mkabidhi kipasa sauti 
uh, the area MCA, Honorable Nyambega Gisesa. Kama umemalisa, naomba mlete haba mbele. Kwa hivyo, kwa wakatu huu, uh, Chief atatuelekeza. Mbijamona, mbijamona aseri baga. Nari kosa baiga. Kumura anche. Walimu kukwa nani? Mari, mari, madam. Excuse me. Excuse me, tabadari. Yatutu liya kidogo, because the program is on. Tote kere. At this juncture, I am giving the area MCA to take over the program. Nakina asa bilanga kumura anche mote kere. Our dignitaries are here. Honore Monyambati is here. Ogura is here. Other chiefs have come here. Now we are going to be able to do it. With due respect, take over the program. Piyamon. Nonya Tora Sama Venkwa Nigam Piyamore. Keme Chando Erago. No more soon then. Rora bora buboko bara bora bu wa serio bora. Ngara sore. Aya asanti sana. Tuamalizi hapo. Na mi niwombe tu kitu moja. Tuataka tu daika tano. Tutulie. Alafu tutamaliza. Nilikuwa naongojia kwaya. Imalize kulete rongori hapa mbele. I think you wamemaliza. Nitaita, nitaita chiefs. Ni wa introduce. Alafu niete weshmiwa wenzetu. Alafu ni malizia na speaker. Hata mi mwenyewe sita ongea kwa sababu ya muda pasta. Na najua kuna pilots wana style wende kwa graveside. Halafu pia warudi kule Nairobi. Machifu wetu walikuwa kule Nyamira. Chiefs wote kindly kujie ni hapa mbele. Assistant chiefs. Chiefs former present kila mtu. Kindly muje mbele. Kindly muje mbele. Sijui nita... Ndwa pia musema mba ni waseme. Uh, Richard Masese, Assistant Juvi Teacher. Mahali muko. Umuenga Rebecca, Senior Assistant Chief Wocharia. Mahali ambuwa po mwote walikuwa naka. Pole kwa familia. Eric Marando, Senior Assistant Chief Nyankopa Sublocation. Susan Momanya, Assistant Chief Kebuko Sublocation is on location. Gene Dindega Nyagaka, Senior Chief Wan Keroka. Waja ni chukue chuku muhii ni seme bole sana kwa familia ya mwarimu. Na wale watu mmekucha. Tunawamba munga wafikishe mwari munaenda. Asanti. Aisa Kozinya Anasi, Senior Retired Chief from Nairobi. Aya Asanti. Chichibu ya chukua chukua retibu ya? Aya kwa sasa, siju kuna wanasiasa wa wata hapa, likuwa meva MCA. Ama any sitting leader MCA. Hakuna. Sasa ni muite, ni muite, mweshimiwa Clive Ogwora, umano itoko rungaga harike mera, aje mbela wa salimie. Kaindili karibu sana. Mweshimiwa naande na harikoru maya ganeere, naande nganaba informu, tukona wageni kutoka Nairobi, kutoka Siokimau, ambao wanarudi sahi, lazima wende kwa graveside, pia tukona pilots wa 99 flying school, Pia wanarudi. So daika tu moja moja hivi. So ni wapetu daika moja. Natufanya araka. Nga kwa wate rungori na wako nga gocha. Asante sana. No nya ama kweli ya tobe yire. Aba nchobo monene nya nchire mba kuwa ni mwensi. Mbuya mwere. Mbuya mwere nande. Ditanga ni kabisa tiganda rete ngora ya negocha. Senkeye. Asenge nchoya ya banyolire. Pole na ende pole. Mariga ali muare lera tigaire lerons piare moita benga niupo ni ochire nero ra tobwa tereli baka moina ali ekera ta koira na nche nkoro kubwa ya junior nche no yomo bwa bariba bolete kero koki obo mpi bwa kitutu masaba 
kurenda diri tu abu atasha drak mose koma koba isiko engo kega tu ake chenge kairuka gochi obisi kagwo wana ninche mbwa tereto bochuti taba sako iruka tiga magena kago kuba igongorua ro gongorua manga nande kerona regocha na nyore kiranga chibu mo kwanchi ranti genge ye beti nyeri amariga biya mono nande mose seniwe. Aya Santi, Mwishmiwa pia metupia Sadaka, o Mwishmiwa Ovoya Junior. Ni mwite sasa Mwishmiwa Clive Owora. Eh, the family ya Omote, na wakendibon, Sivacha, Kurupore, angu bakuwa ni Biamore. God is good, all the time, Biamono. Nchewe na mwegua, Samori ya Tan Clive Owora, inkaye ilipo getutu ya mate, alike mera. Na achira na nje kurupole ya ne to the family. Na so mirege tavu yeke. Na na reke le ringo mumuroyo yiga rengo mokemono. To the father and the mother, the brothers, the brother. Kwa wate pole sana. Na renya sanya ala kubabu wate siyaba ovore mwa senga kie. Yetingo kuwa na mange na retingo kuwa na siyasa senge ncho. E family ya areli le mono. Kwa wate hii na nje. Na wana atika tu kendoe entakana, laki na atina nirango kuwana. Umuano oriyoti gara. Nyasayango mwabuate siyare, nera cha atine ne, mwotu wa kuwane na wanto. Tika ntike ravu, biya mwono sana. Nanche tika ntike rongori ya ne, ya chiringi chirivu sano. Pia nyasaba sene. Na hirati mwako matenga mbiya mwono. Umu ishmiwa Clevo Wora, ametupea rongori ya 5,000 shillings. Pia kuna representative hapa, wameshmiwa James Kemoni, ambaya navaya ugava na ujumu, uwobo governor, wanya mira account. Useme tu jine yo tu yungine tumemaliza. Ando tuwe rongori ya ya santi. Bia mwana siri baka. Pole sana senkeye. Una mwishimi waiti ya kireko teba. Nchekona atomiruwe na governor. James ongera kemoni. Nero tebi le pola senkeye. Nero ngori ya ene ona letira higa. Bia mwana siri baka. Aya Santi, na ere tumoko matainga ambi ya mono. Na Santi sana, oto ire rongori ya ye elfu mbili, yomo ishmi wa kuburu wa gava na wakurunga James Kimoni. Kwa sasa pia, nite mze wa kazi, umoga ko ito kabeiru mojumbe oboge tutu, na anda gava na aspirant, na ande chairman ya Jiotamo, umo ishmi wa Walter, Osebe, Nyambati, sipia mumu karibishe. Asante sana mwishmiwa, karibu mbele. Asante sana MCA. Awa ntuwa mintumbu ya mwore. God is good. And all the time. I know we are tired. But ntachukua mda kidogo tu. Uh, aso mwaka umote um, James ne family ya um, um, na Lois uh, no mwana immaculate and the entire family aba pastor white wale gaiga aba ange led by our own president Dr. Th Thomas Nyakundi na aba pastor white na rira aba ange uh, speaker ya ito gaiga our Ibarra MCA and say mayor. Ah, now I want to amend. The idea we are living I want to take this opportunity also to give my condolences, my heartfelt condolences to the family for losing this very young person. To a city of Mwana Moke, Wengencho, Mwana. When our prince was choice, he had a very young man, a captain at 26 years. This young man had a bright future. You can begin to imagine what kind of a person he could have been if he could have been 50. Paul Asana, as a family, as someone immaculate, Paul Asana, he has sometimes we wonder, we question. Why Nyasai Aguanchere in the Munek will take a coppin? But the people who have to question Nyasai to answer a ne because he knows. If you go out and get a Yamona security in Anna, the very Yarebeki, 
live. So we want to thank God for the years, very few years, he gave the, us this very brilliant young man. It's so sad. As a county, we have lost a star. As a community, we have lost somebody very important. I want to know what I'm saying, Captain. I want to say that I want to say that. So, we are very sorry about that. Igo Mwaka, take heart and the entire family. Um, our value, our lives must add value. And that's what we expect our leaders to do. When you are a leader, you must add value to your people. So I think uh, I think between me, Kenya University, between me. Na solicitor general, ne ngoko, we must make sure nyo lirega. Sio sama no kaki. Ukunda kuwa kwa adi value. Na kipa kwa tayarino musacha nyamba. Tari kende. Osama no kaki. No wanya ninja weka, ega asieri ruta nga, tinko muli kekas. E, atole endre umuano yotika ire. So mwaka omote, you will now deal with me to ensure that you are not to be able to get the money. You are not going to be able to get the money. You are not going to be able to get the money. You are not going to be able to get the money. Now, I want to be able to get the money because we are tired. Number one, I want to be able to get the money. I want to be able to get the money. You saw what we did. We worked very hard to do what we did. Mwango mboka wanagaiga Gisea sabo ya kambuate na nanyaribo baka nyewe la jikura Lakini ya toko te nyasae Nyasae nama nyetime pango ya talibo Leadership is extremely important When I keep saying Ina yuguwa mwaka Mwaka nyaribo na renga yaga muisonde Akataya na amuro kilo muibi Kana atea wanga chiva ya siye chigo cha nyamira In terms of billions Kai chigo cha Mario kwa tali nyakitari, para ntompu hati, mache tayo, basa linchiyo, kaichi gochia. That's the question. Tali mwa higo. Eke na mwoja kwa mwaji kwa 2027, mwora mwana toko chenji nyamira. Tali mwa higo. Mwumanya ti omo saja ningo. Tinda higo. Omo saja ningo. Tevye nyari iba mwanya mangana ayu. We are not going to lie down toko gochia account ya iteko chandeka. Abantu bami into. Gante to kora ngote abambi yamono because you are tired and it's not a political day ngote abambi yamono. Omo solista oito omwano inogaiga okorokwa sharra ka mose. Na support engineering ngo kiagara ncha I lost my brother ambassador na nyamba timbono na Ruel Doret na otwa mo enetie I could have been with you in Nairobi. Ambassador Nyambati, my mother, my brother, and my sister, no one could worry. But if Shadrach was with you, as a man of Ions, I'm sure they're going to go. Once in a while, they're going to go. But if you're going to go, you're going to go. You're going to go. But if you're going to go, you're going to go. You're going to meet in the President's State House, and you're going to go to the report. You're going to go. You're going to go. You're going to go. You're no mong in oye, mwaso metiamo, you are good friends. You could have wanted to be here. Lakini yonga 10,000 na ende, mbae nga kimo kotewa. Yomu ila liri kia, mbae nga kimo kotewa. Na inche, I'm entertaining, yiko nchiko wabu ya. Chime 20. Tia wano nga yagi, siesta 20 ya ichyo. 20, 10,000 shillings chia solista, ne chia ne 10. Yiko chia 20,000. Yiko kora yiga. Ama ntowa mintu. Chisemi. Mechike nteke nene. Umuano yotoko lera. Gasa omete ubiya. Chisemi. Chia wana vaitu. Mechike nteke nene. I want to congratulate. Eskure ya itu na jagiti. Yaba iseka ya ingari wama. Asega okoro. Asega ngeche ya konete very well. Ya koli huya. I want to thank our schools. Nyambalia. Nyambalia nje na nyerete kome national school. 
Maroja na ya tanga nete. Ntori juu wanchi na namanga na hariba. Bago tena bana wa itongo ibera bali na bana bara banga ini. Bago heta ba mnyo kule mto 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 We are not going to accept. Na majogo kare ministry education. Tigare ende chisemje tu kiagu si toki ni chisemje tia bana wa itongo sema noa aki. Tengo na inti kera iko aki. Moja kwa ngachi kuna twenty twenty seven. Na endo na moja kwa. Oborai. Obora inege nte kia maana. Na one kwego te vanga. Where there is no vision. Awa ntuma nyasaya bago chandeka. Vision is leadership. Tobu wate nyamira. We must change that. Kisasa na ikuwa ikuwa mangana higira nkukuwa na ikuwa. Na ntuma kwa nkukuwa 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 nkukuwa. Biyamu na nyasaya wa sasenye. Tosa wero mchiyoyo. Awa umuano ya achabu umbe. Achakora osiege sata kukia Newton. Mbuyamu na mwako kwa nyasaya wa sasenye asante sana. Aya san, timo teo mwishmiwa nyamba tinga ambi ya mano Na ande mumu sabere kabisa Mwaka ambi mbago sabere Na ande 2027 yota iberu Aya, mwishmiwa Okachiba ward Mwemsie obu aya Na anga irongori aya 1000 shillings Na ero na arure Na mi nilikuwa na familia Alafu pia ndatumwa kwa mpesa 2000 shillings Nikimalizia ni washukuru kwa kusimama na mwenze tu omote. Na andi mba kiraba antoberi igoma na wale wote umetoka siokimau na Nairobi. Asandi sana kwa kuja. Nimalizie ni kimuita, awa speaker, honorable, ena kuokero, aje ya onge, akimaliza. Ae pasta, riva geri ya rinde tokore e function. Nima ite principal. Kwa sumaita kwenye orure rongo orivu wama sake. Aya Santi, wacha ni mpe Onero mospiko ito Asi assembly ya ito ya Nyamira Na anendelea kutapot sana Na hindi ito kogo saba, kwanya goto arastore Kwanya goto ikange Karibu sana, speaker ukimalizo pe pasta na fasi Bia mwono mweshmiwa Vasani vachira Koleroyo mintoni upon Noeto rase Ebirero nkolero koboko igango Mabu, bia mwono sana na inche ase nchira yobu ororo na wana achira ntenenene familia yoyo minto mote. Umuano yosire teno umuano moke na kuwa nikonde wensi kuwa muiboli. Nko linga toki ni habana wacha goto tindeka. Lakini ya itenya aleka neti ase umuano ni upo ne familia yoyo mote. Lakini ndo isa kwa somege tabu kia ayubu ikomi na inye isano. Kwa 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 teabu ya iganga matukamu anyaba Antoni Gabali la sobo iko buense. Na boi go, neme tienye ya enya sao nye chikire Na kubu wa mono, tuwabeke iruchi mbebe tuta anyarego yetani Kwa na boto taete tuanchera ne, ngogo tumoga koyo minto Newborn, oro beberu wa eno oro ige tega iga Kwa lenda asenchira yubu ororo na atabire ntene nena inwe Na inde, oise kwa saomege tabu kia barumi ikomina ibere, ikomina isano Kwa yago teabu ya ngogo, kena uwa akogoka, olire na uwa akolera Kona nche na achire, ndere ne familie ye, asi chinga kie chichiobo kendu, wa asiriri oyo mwabo. Ike nteke nene, nyasao raba tinyi ya maiso, kuruwa sama liga inu. So mege tabu kia, oko mano kaishiri na mocha inye. Nyasao gote anga ninti, nye kera liriga kuruwa sama liga inu. Makweli taa kovo ona inde, na wanyano ukwe umia. Na vorotibo kovo. Eki aira makweli, aikire kwa etanaba yeli tangani. Kona nche ase nchira yobu ororo, mwenye ole ama sabane, No mole mbe gocha se nkeye asogo siri o mwano minu. Tingo kuwana amange na monta ete korikoga na isi ya wana ba minto gaiga. Wuno mweshmi wa Walter Nyambati. Oyo oyaneta kwa kolega asie ngi ya sana. Ase esere kari ya ito. Na eni na watu wale kuko sabe romo eshmi wa. Tu wako sabe irama ya aega endrago tiagolia. Mirobeli ya nyasae to iko nye manyantu mga nyawanto. Ege ntotora kole na masabotora kubekere. Ega rego chimotua na enya saa kuwa mbukeli. Iko lende na alego tigera abuo. Chenero ngoli na aleko leta ya nega iga ya 3,000 shillings. Ega re totene na inu bune familia. Mbia mwono sana asama lieta nenoku. Uyo buo keronde. Ndomo spiko nyamira. Ndomo eshmiwa na otawo kolega asibu ya no montomu yale. Na hene na watu wabuga tira na asenchere ndonge. Toka lete municipality iga iga. Toka nyeachi senta chia ekeroka. Wono iga e subcounty ya masaba. You will be receiving more than 300 million every financial year. Puna wano yachi Park Street. Chire worth 1.5 kilometers. Nchia bege tuwe. Chie ramu. Asenge ncho. Yoko leta the status of the municipality. Nebinto binde binge.
tiga tu buat terane, tu kini apa antu bayi tu, na sobora ibu robu ya, antu tiba anak kue umia. Ya saya mesti seni, na inu mumu buat tesi, buna anda tak kubar uang neraga, tuan sebagai tu tu ya itu kini. Ya saya oh yo, na otoramu, omo LDP. Na ye o bogi ma buane, bo buye to buense ye, oroge ndoruane se ye o motoria tare na ye. Benaye, 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 benaye. Orogen doruanen se ye o motoria tare na ye. Tiko wuya wuya nya saibo tika da senke ye. Bia mono san. Tumefika tamati, ningependa tu simame wote kwa ajili ya maumbi. Tote nene tusabe, hili tuende kwa maziko. Uh, the 99 team, kindly as we pray, will proceed to the cops and uh, you'll do the necessary. Tukimaliza. Labda mnaweza tembea pale tukimaliza mtajua ama mnajua kile ambacho mnahitajika kufanya tuombe tuombe tunaomba kindly ba ngina mungu na saga kitogo saba ma to sabe baba muumba wa mbingu na inji na vyote viliomo Bahari na chemichemi samaji na viumbe vyote watambao warukao na wote wa majini nasi kama binadamu tuwashukuru na kuliinua jina lako milele na milele tusamee dhambi na makosa yetu ambayo tumetenda kiume na mapensi yako kwa kunena kwa kuasa na kwa kutenda na utukumbuke katika ufalme wa mbinguni Tunaboomboleza kifo cha mtoto mdogo newborn baba na hebu uingie katika mioyo na roza wazazi wake ndugu jamaa marafiki na watenda kazi pamoja naye na asa mke wake mpendwa na mtoto baba tunaomba wafariji wakati huu mgumu wa janga hili ambalo limewakumba baba tunaomba faraja zako siwafikie hili uweze kuwatuliza wape neema zako na rehema hili waenene katika njia zako na mapito yako wanapokuwa na maswali jungu nzima wajue ya kwamba kuna Mungu mbinguni anayejua kila sababu anayechua kila tendo anayechua kila waso anayechua kila tukio baba tembea pamoja nao wanapomlaza mpendo wao baba tunaomba wape matumaini licha ya kwamba wanaomboleza kuna asubuhi moja wakati kifo kitapiwa pigo kuu na wakati wafu watafufuka kwa pamoja tuende mahala ambapo ulienda kutuandalia tuishi nawe milele na milele na hebu neema zako sitoshe wale wote ambao wanasafiri tuombe usafiri mwema santo kwa sababu tunaamini ya kwamba umesikia ombi letu wote ambao wali uh, walitoa msaada na mchango wao wabariki ni katika jina tukufu la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mokosi wetu kila mmoja aseme amen Uh, ninaomba tupatie familia nafasi kindly wasindikize mwili wa newborn tutasalimia baba newborn na the brothers sisters wala close relatives afterwards so mc kindly guide us tunataremka asante mchungaji sasa tunaelekea nyumbani kwa ajili ya maziko wale wanaohitajika kuweka huo mwili kwa gari tafadhali wafanye hivyo 
Hata hivyo kwa njia ya kipekee tunataka kuwashukuru wote tuliyoungana kwa ajili ya sherehe hii ya kumlaza mtoto wetu mpendwa Newborn mavumbini alikotoka. Mbarikiwe na asanteni sana. Naigure kore buku na indena manyire Mechande menge mondo gocha umo salaba Nindeno bomenyo bomenyo uguya Ninyetige ense yembe mambingia Mambingia, mambingia Taro moche we dahabu mambingia Kona mwegende yeso weka Konda koro wancha kwae Ninyetige ense yembe mambingia